I think this is hilarious. A whole big bunch of fun. The greatest show on satellite radio today. This show is like the box of chocolates that Forrest's mother was talking about. You're a no good son of a bitch. Fuck you, you motherfucker. We're so much fucking better than you. Absolute lunacy. If you're giving me the hook, fine, whatever. Well, what's I, going I on? do what I'm told. I'm completely out of control. It doesn't get better than this. Come on, it's shocking. But enough of this palaver. Let's get the show on the road. Ah, uh, the sound of wake the fuck up. Love it. Uh, wake up, everybody. I'm glad I don't listen to this show. This would be the most annoying fucking sound coming out of like a clock radio next to your bed. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Hi, it's the Opie and Anthony program. Good morning. Uh, Opie still infirmed, as they say, infirmed, sickly, has uh, has a uh, strep throat. I think it was. I got a few texts yesterday <laughs> as Bobby Kelly tries to get Mars to blow him. <laughs> uh, got a few texts from Opie yesterday, and. Uh, yeah, he's, he's got like a strep throat, sore throat, no voice, just a wreck. But rumor has it, manana, as Mars says, manana, with that little thing over the end to make it sound like nyeh. But, but, I'm joined by the lovely and talented Robert Kelly today. Robert what? Kelly, star of stage, screen, hmm. and television mm. uh yeah. bobby was louis ck's brother on an episode of uh, louis last night last night last night did you see it no <laughs> <laughs> i see in this age of dvrs <laughs> what am i doing it's like did you see it because everything yeah you used to have to watch everything when it was on now you don't no one does when do you watch a show when it's actually on well, yeah, <laughs> when I'm on it. When you're on uh, it, yeah. When my I, friends are on it. Oh. Like, like Joy Behar. <laughs> that makes sense. Joy Behar. Joy hey, Behar. It's Behar. Wow. Is it Behar? Behar. Is it Behar? Yeah, there's no heart at the end of it. Uh, it is to me. It's just Behar. Behar. But uh, I didn't even watch it. <laughs> you didn't watch your, you were honest. No, I know. I didn't even watch it. I just checked Twitter to see if I did well. <laughs> that's what I. <laughs> Isn't that what, what you do? You go, eh, maybe I could catch it like at a later date. I didn't go home last night until eleven thirty because Ooh. I didn't want to watch. I just wanted to. Chill. I didn't want to go in and watch it with my wife. You're wandering around like Rupert Pupkin did, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not looking at the Jerry Show. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you what I did. I'm oh. married. No, I'm, oh. I am. Um, oh. I, I stayed out. Yeah, and I actually was because I wanted to go. I didn't want to watch it with her, and if it did suck, if I blew. To have her go, oh, baby, you know, it's okay. Yeah. It's, um, you know, uh, my real. wife can't lie to my face. Yeah, you don't want to do that. You want to, uh, you want to first test the waters. Yeah. A little bit of uh, electronic uh, media there. You, your Twitters, your emails. You want to get a little reconnaissance on your, uh, on your performance. And then you can get in and, and watch it DVR'd with somebody. Right. Especially these fans. They'll fucking. Oh, oh they, as soon as they you. They really as, soon, <laughs> as soon as you suck. Good job, faggot. That's what it is. I, I think uh, my performance last night on the Joy Behar show garnered four blocks on um, on uh, Twitter. I blocked four people for their for their uh, <laughs> critique of me. I, didn't, <laughs> <laughs> I, I will block a motherfucker in a second now. It is the the best thing. The, one of the best feelings ever is fucking hitting that block button. But I'm such a sensitive. Twat. Yeah. That I, if I read one bad one, I'll start going through them all, and 
I'll anything I see, I'm just frantically blocking. <laughs> and I block people who actually complimented me. Like I'll go back and read the tweet, and it's like, dude, you didn't suck. I just saw suck. <laughs> you block them. You, I really Screw love you. you. Yeah, I just block them, and I gotta go back and I bring people back though too. I just, I, I don't think I've ever brought anyone back from the uh, the Twitter dead. <laughs> I've really? Never, never bring them back. They, they, I block them. And then if somebody, because this happens too, you'll get the friend. Of the person you blocked yeah. will Twitter and say, dude, why'd you block my friend? And then you know where that gets you? No. <laughs> blocked. Wow. Oh, yeah, You're yeah. fucking Gestapo. I'm fucking insane with it. That's what I am. I am a blocking Gestapo. Yeah. Twitter Gestapo. I fucking thumbs up, thumbs down, get in the Twitter boxcar and off to Twitter <laughs> Auschwitz, you motherfucker. I don't need it. I don't need it. After years of, of being a slave to message boards and things like that. Where you just had to look at a post and go, you cocksucker. And there was no re real recourse. You could just, like, get on and, and then post a fucking 20-paragraph answer that, that is concise and fucking uh, uh, th well thought out, run through spell check, <laughs> grammatically correct. And then at, after, it's just like, faggot can't take it? <laughs> and you're like, yeah, yeah, why do I bother? Now, block. Don't need it. It's fucking, it's great. Yeah. But I, I, I unblock people. Like, if they send me an email, I'll be like, dude, I'm a big fan. I have rules, though. You have to put a smiley face. You need a good begging. <laughs> no, I, I need a begging if I block you. But if, if you're going to fucking smash me, I need a smiley face. Yeah. An XO, hugs and kisses. <laughs> hugs just, and kisses. Just one each. Yeah. Not fucking XOXO. Or I love you, Bobby. Just so I know that you're a fan of, you know, especially this show. I'll know you're a fan of O and A. Because uh, if not, it's just the, the people who fucking hate you. Back in the day, that's what it is. If you hated a fucking star, you had to climb a wall, <laughs> fight security. You had to get by cameras to get to that mother. You had to fucking write a letter yeah. and lick an envelope. <clears throat> yep. To Th tell them how much, and they'll never see it. Maybe they'll read that shit. Yeah. Now they can just f write in your phone on the way to a gig when you already feel a little insecure about the show. Yeah. And you're reading, you fucking faggot. I hope you die. It's like, what? Yeah, right on your own phone. You're you reading shit like yeah. that just is bashing you. What? How did we get to that point? Because <laughs> we're low. Are we insecure enough? Or we're just pieces of shit that just want to be told as by as many people as possible how great we are so we can wake up another day and do this shit job. <laughs> and plow through this shit one more time. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't, yeah. know, I don't know how you fucking do this fucking six, it's five. I, you must get up at four. Now you know. <laughs> you saw me walk into the elevator at five to six. That's how, that's how I do this. <laughs> I, was, I put my Fuck cigarette it. out. I, I still had a, half a cigarette. I was like, ah, I got to get up there. Maybe Anthony wants to do a little show prep. What? I'd walk in. What's that? <laughs> You're walking behind me. <laughs> I, I was walking in. I got here after Bobby. <laughs> I was staying at the uh, at the hotel. Oh, that is so um, Kenny, <laughs> so Kenny comes by and gets me. Really? Yeah, I don't know why. It's it's nice of Kenny. Believe me, I do appreciate that Kenny comes by and gets me. But it's a it's like a one block walk. It's not very far. I I I, I do like the fact he you know he picks up the little uh, the suitcase. He will not let me roll my own suitcase down the sidewalk. Uh, Kenny. Uh, I do appreciate it, but why do you do that? Oh, my greatest oh how about a mic there, Sam? I like the way Kenny grabs the microphone like it's his turn on the cock in prison. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Ken? You know what my greatest fear is? What, Kenny? Not being there. Really? Yeah, like, for instance, that, that terrible shooting yesterday in Connecticut. Yes. If I was present during that exit interview, yeah. I probably would have saved lives. I would have wrestled that gun away from that guy. You would have wrestled or just made sure he wasn't letting off any more rounds? <laughs> I would have done what I had to do with what I got. <laughs> I hear you. Kenny's also very bored because he doesn't have a lot to do. <laughs> oh, Especially damn. with only you here. He doesn't have to take care of Opie. He was sitting here in the down there at like 5 o'clock when he got in and just sitting next to Troy who was trying to get work Aww. done and saying, well... Got to call Anthony in two minutes. <laughs> Got to call Anthony in three minutes. Got to call Anthony in one minute. 
and just looking at his phone and waiting just so he waiting could call to you. call me. Yeah. Aw. That's very sweet of you, Kenny. <laughs> I'm diligent. He's got he is nothing diligent. going on. He is diligent, and then he's waiting down in the lobby of yeah. the uh, uh, hotel, yeah. and and then I I barely get out of the elevator with my little rolling suitcase and my backpack, my backpack, as Sam says, and uh, and he's got it in his hand. Yeah. He's very diligent. He's uh, but see, here's the thing, Kenny. Yeah. This is just a little thing, and I think you know where I'm going with this. You're a grown man, and you don't need somebody to carry your fucking suitcase. <laughs> you can go to the very, bathroom by yourself. That is very good, Bobby. And and that is probably number two as to why um, Kenny really it's not necessary that he does it. I appreciate it, Kenny. Appreciate it. Right. But it's not necessary. Here's why. If by chance I am walking here and the proverbial shit goes down, don't you think I want a piece of that? Don't you think I want to <laughs> jump in there and fuck a motherfucker up? <laughs> yeah. He don't you think he wants to use some of those bullets? <laughs> <laughs> that he spent fucking millions on. No, he shouldn't have to. He he's a very important person. Yeah, but he wants to use a couple rounds. It would be kind of fun to just you know protect yourself, feel like a man. No, you know, I regardless, Bobby. I'm not even talking that. I'm just talking maybe of a little martial arts. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did you <laughs> you threw an upside down punch yes. to the sternum? That was when I came back with the other hand. It goes upside <laughs> down. I saw it on a movie. Yeah, yin yang. <laughs> You'd break your fucking wrist if you threw an upside down punch. Okay. Little do you know. Okay, look, I probably wouldn't. <laughs> I probably wouldn't use my fist, but okay. <laughs> but uh, I, I understand why you're there, though. So just in ca just in case. Yeah, it is. It's very it, and it is appreciated, Kenny. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I gotta justify my job. <laughs> All right, that makes more sense at least. That, that you and everyone ar else around this joint. <laughs> yeah, the hardest job here. Yes, staying awake. <laughs> oh, oh damn, he didn't. No, he didn't. Sam's just jealous because he sucks on the radio. Every morning, oh. every morning since I started on Hits One, Kenny has come into this building. And pointed out a break that he didn't like. <laughs> he listens to my Hits 1 shift every morning on the way in here. Isn't that every break, though, Kenny? And tells me he doesn't like it. They only let him talk three times an hour. That's uh, It's four times an hour, and that's the standard. And you know, do you give out your Twitter address still every single break? Not every break. Oh, only you when got it's, over that crutch? Only when it's relevant. No, I, he, it was a crutch. He doesn't it. have to <laughs> give it out anymore because the pad data says, Tweet Sam at Not Sam. I don't control the pad data, God, Kenny. You, you want to be famous so fucking bad. He really bad. does. You want to be a what, fucking uh, just a hit. Of course he I do. You, you know what he said ahead. yesterday? <laughs> this is one of his breaks yesterday. Hi, I'm not Sam. I'm... Not, no, it's not. That wasn't one of my breaks yesterday. Uh, well, I'll, it's, Can he I'll tell the fucking joke? Jesus he was wrong Christ. already. Hands down, the worst break ever. Yeah. He <laughs> goes, down. Katy Perry got her fiancé, Russell Brand, a $200,000 ticket to the moon. Talk about bang zoom. That wasn't it. Holy shit, even if it's close to that. Though, it was close. That's pretty <laughs> fucking bad. It was close. But I'm also, I explained to Kenny, he's a man of a certain age at this point. He's older. Mm. I'm targeting a different audience than Club Soda Kenny. Yeah, but your audience doesn't wasn't even alive when the a, honeymooners were on. Yeah, Bang Zoom is... Bang Zoom to the moon is something people know, though. They no. might not know where it's from, but they know the phrase. Uh, Danny. Maybe they know it from the Honeymooners remake. Exactly! <laughs> With Cedric the Entertainer. Maybe Cedric Ooh. said it. Oh. They know the Honeymooners. It was in theaters. Did he say it in uh, the uh, remake? Yeah, Do but you he really. I would watch that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he did. Do you think? He did. He actually hit her though. At the end. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because you know. <laughs> That'd be great if he actually just wailed his wife in the face. <laughs> no. So, uh, Sam, the the show, you do four breaks an hour. Yeah. You do things like bang zoom. Sure. Uh, any any uh, I Love Lucy references? <laughs> no. Or uh, My Mother the Car? <laughs> no. Only no? I think I thought bang zoom to the moon was well known and relevant enough that even the kids today would... At least sort of get it. Do you know he never said bang zoom to the moon? I didn't know that. He either said bang zoom or he went to the moon. No, I said bang zoom to the Separate. moon. Separate. Never, never, 
one right after another. That's what I said. I said she bought him a ticket on the spaceship. Bang, zoom to the moon, indeed. Into the song. Boom. Hit Ugh. the post. Ugh. I'd listen. Who listens Thank to that? I'd listen with a mouthful of yogurt. <laughs> I'd listen to that shit. <laughs> that, fucking putting on the utter, pops. Utter crap. <laughs> hey, it's Sam. I'm putting on the pops. <laughs> you, you know who's really good on the radio? Who, Kenny? Troy Kwan on Liquid Metal. Is Troy good? Oh, yeah. He knows what he's talking about. Does everyone have a fucking shift around here? Well, Troy's been Is on... Is that what happens? He's been on yeah. Liquid Metal since even before we got here. But he he's good. But, like, he's got another job, doesn't he? Yeah. Like, everyone's got five jobs around this fucking place. Well, serious is still motto. And poverty. Serious motto, do more with less. <laughs> do more with less. <laughs> <at least. laughs> they do. Yeah. Jesus. Everyone does yeah. an air shift. Yeah. yeah. What, are they going to hire jocks? <laughs> like, apparently not. Hopefully oh, not. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Jim Norton's got two other shows Jim now. Jim Norton's got two other shows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're doing a show. Troy does a show. But then I see everybody that has the shows is walking around doing, like, fucking clerical work. Yeah. yeah I mean, they can't just hire a DJ. If, you're, if they're going to hire you for an air shift, they also got to make you do something I else. I have a but show, too. I, I Do you? Yeah, he's a yeah. co-host. Oh, All yeah. right. You're yeah. a co-host. Oh, but that. And then I have uh, uh, tech tech hits. And I do all the techs. No, you don't. I do. I have the tech hits with Bob Kelly. It's on every Thursday, every, every other Thursday of every, wen of, 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 of every, every Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> of every flying, leap year. Flying sack of shit. <laughs> that should be, though. We were talking about you yesterday. And how, I, I, I heard. How, uh, oh, yeah, that's right. You called. <laughs> we were talking, and uh, uh, you are the tech guy. And Patrice has said, it's okay, because you, you owned it. And if you want that. It's yours. I'd like to claim something else. I'm hey. also the massage parlor guy. I know what every massage parlor is don't you think, in the country. Don't you think Jimmy is that, that guy? Yeah, no, nah, he doesn't like... He's not a big Asian... I'm, I'm talking Asian. They were Asian! <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're not a big Asian uh, I am. Yankee cranky? Oh, I, he's no, not I, a big... He's not a big... You know, he, his place, like, I could go in... I've been into basements. Like, oh, really? Oh, just a basement Dingy, musty. with uh, five-gallon buckets they're sitting on. <laughs> they cook. I've been in places where they're actually cooking, like, fish on a, on a skillet, like a hot plate. No way. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, I've, been to, I've been to some why, bad can places. Can I ask you why? Why didn't gonna, you just pick a... Because they're going to jerk <clears throat> me off at the end of it into a paper towel. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> that's why <laughs> there's not too many there's not too many options but isn't there a better place you can go no, not in some places no, back in the day around 15 years ago mm -hmm. uh they actually had i remember in new york they had hot chicks i mean regular broads were in massage parlors like, like your normal american fucking girl that wanted to be a star you can, ran off to the city <laughs> absolutely met by the fucking guy at the bus station absolutely <laughs> that guy dude there was a place up you on look a little hungry <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy you lunch. <laughs> okay. Where are you from, baby? And he Oklahoma. And he strangles in the back of a fucking cab. Oh yeah. All good all nice and good to her. Gets her lunch. She feels good. And then gets her in the in the cab and then just looks over at her and clocks her in the fucking face. <laughs> just belts her. <laughs> Did you do that? Cause I love you, babe. And the white cabbie's just looking back and just. <laughs> I love those '70s fucking prostitution movies. <laughs> They're always like that. Eve Plum and her dramatic role after fucking Eve the Brady Plum. Bunch <laughs> ends up getting pummeled by some black guy in a fucking Cadillac, <laughs> and then he turns her out. What that was, was great. That was Dirty Harry. Dawn. No, Dawn portrait of a teenage runaway, and it was Eve Plum as Dawn. The prostitute. A prostitute. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it, and it worked out just like that. Like every fucking movie was that. The girl came from some small town, either running away from parents that weren't that bad. <laughs> they were just like, oh my God, you didn't make your bed. <laughs> and they're from a rich fucking family. I can't take this anymore, mother. And she runs off. Uh, usually some, some shady friend at school talks her into it. And uh, she gets on that, that Greyhound bus, pulls into the city, the second she steps off the bus. Like, it's like fucking Neil Armstrong's foot hitting the moon. <laughs> the second her foot touches fucking pavement, a fucking pimp is all over her shit. You look lonely, baby. You want to be a star? Yeah. And then, by 
15 minutes later, she's sucking dick. Pimps are gone, dude. I know. The there's internet, no pimps anymore. The internet killed CDs and pimps. Killed the pimp. There's no street walkers anymore because of it. Craigslist. You got any kind of internet fucking uh, hookup yeah. you need? Where Where's the pimp? Where's the furry-hatted, huggy bear-looking pimp? Done. Some nerd that knows how to do fucking... Yeah, the new pimp. Fucking internet stuff. I yeah. actually... I, I like the Asian places just because it is it is what it is. You, and you get a massage. You get you go in, Ooh. it's usually 45 bucks. But back in the day, you used to walk in and it was regular broads and you get to pick them. Like, there was a place that used to have to hold a newspaper up. You couldn't be in the lobby. Every guy had a newspaper. What was that? Like a fucking... Uh... I don't know. A little message that you were there for for Yankee no, Cranky? No, you could, they didn't want people. No, you, they didn't. People didn't want other people seeing them. Oh, seeing them. So you had to hold the newspaper up in front of your face, and uh, the whole time you couldn't take it down. If you took it down, the lady would like you'd get kicked out. So <laughs> it's just all guys holding newspapers up in front of their face. Like in what kind of place was it? It was um, it was a built like a like a building, just a regular apartment complex. And you'd go up to the fourth floor and into an apartment and like, hold a newspaper. And up. you'd be, and they'd made a little lobby, and you'd have a newspaper. You'd walk it. Everybody had newspapers, and then when it was your turn, that you, they'd uh, go, excuse me, and you'd walk up. You'd go into a hallway, and around nine girls would come down and do a spin, and then go, that do a spin, sexy. and then go, and then you pick the one you wanted. You could you do whatever you want with them for like a hundred and maybe a hundred and fifty bucks, maybe Ass whatever you, anything yeah. you wanted, dude. Wow. And anything you wanted, but now you uh, you didn't have to fuck them with the, holding the newspaper. Did you? Yeah, she did. Yeah, <laughs> just pound away <laughs> reading about how Mayor A. Beam is breaking <laughs> New York City. <laughs> a. Beam, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Who the fuck? Is it a I was going way back, see, because it was back in the day, so you're holding an old newspaper. I actually, I like the Asian places now, because a lot of them have shitty breath, and they smell, but it's really massage. I actually, this is fucked up, because they what they do is they tease you the whole time. Yeah. They give you a regular, you're on your stomach, they give you the back rub, and then they go to your legs, and then they start going, reaching in, and then they'll almost reach, up, like, very at the end, like, you get a, an hour massage at 46 minutes. Oh, they start shit. tickling your sack, and then they graze it, and they'll giggle, like, oh, sorry, I, sorry. it's okay. I actually <laughs> hurt my back in getting a massage, trying to lift my ass up in the air. Oh, you're doing the cat in heat move? Yeah. Well, you have to take your foot and hit him in the ass just to watch. <laughs> I, I, I picked my asshole up because they jerk you off from underneath. They start grabbing your cock. Wow, so you pick your asshole move. and then they... They'll like tickle your asshole. So I picked my ass up and I got on my knees. I'm literally in fuck me my now asshole you're just style. Like, you, your ass is sticking up in the air. Right. But I'm not used to getting fucked in the ass. So my back. Oh, you should work here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so my back, I, I pulled a muscle in my back. My back knotted up after getting an hour, like a 45 minute massage You're, on my back. You got I, a backache from a massage. Yeah, from trying to take it in the ass. So she <laughs> sticks her little pinky finger in my asshole, <laughs> which they very rarely do now. They, yeah. Yeah, very rarely do they give you a little asshole rub. That sucks at like zero hour. They just start fooling around with you. You should do it more at the beginning and, no, and, that's and the hook, best. hook you up. That's the best. No, oh. you do it at the beginning, then you, it's just a massage. Fuck that. No, I want a massage. I want like a fucking jack job. I oh. like the, uh, what is this? Cock a, milking. <laughs> Danny brought up some cock. Yeah. Is that your position? Yeah, that's right. But I hurt my back doing that. Dude, that is the best. I want that right now. The, the, some guy is just naked looking hysterically silly on uh. all fours. Um, on a wooden, an old wooden table, and this uh, regular-looking girl has got his junk like pulled out from behind him. I like how it's a two-camera shoot. It is a two-camera <laughs> shoot. Yeah, they're going back and forth. Actually, maybe three camera. This could be a Desi Arnaz. That was actually the close-up of the the cock. That was the cock's close-up right yeah. there. Yeah, and she's just milking away, and she's talking. Could she possibly be saying instructions? Sam? <laughs> what could she possibly be saying? Let's listen in. I call that the Doveman Pincher. Yeah, it does look like a dog when a dog and uh, when two dogs are fucking, oh and it kind of they get hooked together, ass to ass, <laughs> and look silly. They just look silly. 
He does look dumb right there. I bet that feels good, though. It feels tremendous. Yeah. If you're in shape and your back doesn't nod up. <laughs> you don't get a back spasm. Is that what she was doing, though? That backwards That's jerk thing? Exactly. See how it... Exactly. That might be a little painful. No. No, with that fucking wedding, wedding ring on, she's fucking doing it with. Yeah. She turns it backwards. <laughs> Just cuts diamond cutting into your fucking head. How do we get here every day by this time? <laughs> what time is it? I don't know. Six thirty-three. Some already... sm some smutty thing is always on. She uh, uh look at know. her face. Yeah, she. Uh, what is that called? Uh, the cock milking. I'm fucking, I'm getting the app for that right now. That just looks a little. It looks a little gay. Oh, it's definitely I, I, gay. And it's a girl manipulating a guy. But there's something about it that just doesn't look completely hetero. How do you think it feels? Probably feels great. When you're on your... No, dude, it's... it's <clears throat> you gotta get past the getting on your knees and arching your back. Yeah, because you're kind of... Oh, wait a minute. She's uh, going in for... No. She just does strictly a jerk job? Would you be able to keep a rod like that? Because at, at some point in time, it's... I would just be like, I feel ridiculous right yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It feels silly, and I, I know it looks silly... I'm I, I'm getting fucking crazy. And then pulled back like that can hurt if yeah, you're really like raging. You know, you you can't pull it back. You can't hurt mine like that. No, no, it's not fucking. <laughs> it's you're not, not like 14 where it was just like fucking a like a flagpole. No, I haven't gotten <laughs> I haven't gotten a, a fully hard in around eight years. <laughs> <laughs> a, one of those ragers where it just like yeah, it hurts. Like ricochets off your stomach. <laughs> <laughs> you can feel your heartbeat in your your dick shaft. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God, Jesus. Uh, this guy's making his own fucking uh, crazy glue. <laughs> crazy <laughs> That's glue. amazing. <laughs> all right, when's the money shot already? They already Can't had do it. do this all day. That wasn't a money shot. That was just dripping a little fucking lube. To you. <laughs> uh, all right, Look at she, that. Now she's just it. using two thumbs. Very oh. talented. That's fucking if you great. Could, if you could get a guy off with just two thumbs... I've seen a few of these videos. Yeah, look. Oh. What is that? A little oh. slow motion fucking... Oh. She's barely doing anything. Oh. She's singing. What is she singing? <laughs> she's saying, I want it all. Nice little pile you made. What? Who sings oh. that song? I mean, you don't need her saying things like, nice little cum pile you made. Why not? Girls can say some shit that take you right out of the mix. Right out of it. Oh. All right, he left a little. What an anticlimactic climax! He just left nothing. Oh, thank you, Sam, for turning the volume up uh, right. on my uh, on my accord. Shit! All right, oh, enough she, of this. She's drawing with his cock. <laughs> yeah, she's drawing in it. I thought you guys um, just wanted to watch a little cock milk in this. I'm morning. watching it. Yeah, that was uh, that was it. The backwards thing. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, uh, that looked that looked a little gay. I don't like my ass sticking up in the air. <laughs> It with is, anyone behind me is fucking I'm like just I'm not I'm not into that I'm such a faggot when it comes to that I don't mind I don't mind the uh, the ass play on the on the you know on the girl yeah doing that I'll do that in a second like anything but uh, just steer clear of mine and it's no no fear of anything it's just just I, I and I love like you know making sure everything's squeaky clean all over me but just that is it just seems silly I don't it think is. I'd get very excited because it would just make me feel gay. Well, you know, these some of these massage parlors now, they're legitimate places. Like, you'll have some fat lady from England in the little thing next to you. It's like they take, a, like, a, a one-bedroom or a studio, and they make, they, put, they make five, they put, like, five massage tables in there, and they put little curtains up. So, so some people are getting legit massages? Right next to you, and you're just... <laughs> <laughs> you gotta keep quiet. Oh yeah, you gotta because some you can hear some British lady like, "Hey, can you do my calves?" And I'm uh, just coming on a paper towel where some <laughs> guy's gonna fucking lie in around ten minutes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you were the guy lying there though. Ten minutes after uh, some other guy. It. That doesn't bug me at all. No, no, I could. You could put my face in a wet spot on one of those things. I don't care. It's disgusting. I don't care. Jesus Christ, is that disgusting? Uh, it's, it's awful. They're terrible places, but the it, the the fact that she's giving you a regular 
massage. And then at the end, they always pretend like, you know, is this they okay? They go in and, and oh, yeah, go it's in just, for that. A massage is it the natural buildup to a massage is, is coming. Yeah, that's the, well, that's the end product. Yeah. You ever get a regular massage and they're rubbing your ass and they're doing your cheeks and your inner thighs? The natural progression is blowing a load at the end of that. If you don't get to blow a load at the end of a fucking really good massage, you're going to kill somebody. But you, you know something? That is also a sex move that a guy will use on a girl if it's the first time you're with them or you're doing something and you're not quite sure of how far something's going to go. Right. And, you you know, maybe a little back rub, a little this, that, and the other thing. And you start you start delving into areas that are a little more sensitive. You just, so, yeah. so, and, and then, and then you, you look very diligently for the reaction, anything, a little twitch, an ass raising, yeah. breathing in some, air. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> a, a deep breath, a, a, a little ass wiggle yeah, that, and your hands go. And then you're like, uh, all right. All right. But now you can't just go right in. So you got to go a little closer. And again, constantly assessing the situation, right? <laughs> Don't you do that? Yeah. Until you, your finger brushes a lip. <laughs> and then you know, if you don't get a fucking punch in the face, you're good. Yeah. You're if, gold. If you feel a, her pussy and it's like a, a camel's mouth after he ate a banana, it's, it's just... If he's angry and spitting at you. Yeah. <laughs> spitting camel. You, when, you, when you rub the thighs, the inner thighs, and then you just create, you just go from one thigh to the other, but via pussy lips, it's and like, they go... <gasps> The lips, the lips are getting like a, a horse after you just fed him an apple. They're, they're just going, <laughs> <laughs> and just things, stuff running out. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. I like nice wet panties. Oh, God, that's fantastic, right? What is that? Is he spitting at his Not face? Not the goat. <laughs> the goat is <laughs> Sorry. spitting at a guy. It's great. Good. There's nothing better, girls. Nothing better. And I'm talking to both of you out there. <laughs> There's nothing better than sopping panties. I like, like sopping I, panties. I like, I will make out with sopping panties. Oh. <laughs> What's the matter? No, no, I swear. Oh. It's great. Oh. Wet, you give a little, you know, you give a little action to the, to the, 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 the tummy and the thighs and things like that. And then when, when it's just sopped. You just go in and and fucking just make out with wet panties. I I do like Great. the the dry. It's a little dry on the outside, and then you break the seal. You well, know, like when you touch a tent inside when it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, the drip won't stop. Yeah, why? Is that? What is? Why does the tent leak when you touch it? Why do the panties get wet? You know, when you're fucking abroad and you push it in and it hurts, it hurts. It's like, oh, fuck. You get that head, you get your head in and then you push yeah. it and then all of a sudden. It's like breaking through the atmosphere. <laughs> you feel that fucking warm cake sensation. Of course. Warm oh. Uh, uh, but it's the half of your dick is still dry. This, why is this the same conversation I had with my friends in our tree fort when I was <laughs> fucking like 15 years old? <laughs> Not Richard, no. <laughs> it's the same conversation. Uh, did like you a fucking kid. suck a guy's cock in a tree fort? No. <laughs> what happened in the no, tree fort? No, Rich, Richard wanted to suck oh, my cock. Oh, you suck your cock, yeah. Sorry, and sorry, I, sorry. I feigned sleep because <laughs> he was my best friend for like three years. <laughs> And it's hard to, you know, go fishing and hang out and horseback riding with your best friend and then have him want to suck your cock. <laughs> it does put a damper on the friendship. <laughs> or it takes it to the next level. Or, yeah, depending on uh, anybody's frame of mind at the time, it can take it to the next level. But, um, yeah, that was that. And then I saw him many years later when we were both adults. <laughs> he had kids and, and a wife? Creepy. No. <laughs> was it his fucking flaming? Oh, oh, flaming. Really? Went hunting with uh, me and... Uh, we went out to California to see my dad. And it was me and uh, Plankfoot, and uh, that's Joe Curry, and my brother, and a bunch of our friends just tore out to California. And we all gear up to go pheasant hunting uh, with my dad. We all got shotguns and shit, and we're heading up into the hills. And uh, Richard's there, and he decided to go curtain shopping with <laughs> Corey, my... Uh, my father's wife. We're all ready to go hunting, and he's going curtain shopping. I was just like, "Yeah," and it's very effeminate voice and stuff, and and it was all awkward because we were adults now, yeah. and and still, when I looked at him, all I thought was like, 
the tree fort and how he tried to blow me. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just before like before your uh, cock was tainted. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and before he, and then I find out he moved to uh, Lake Elsinore, uh, California, where he uh, died at a very young age of of pneumonia. Onia. <laughs> get it yeah i don't yeah. get it but yeah i yeah, get it yeah, yeah i hope i don't get it yeah <laughs> i don't get it so uh yeah that 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 is the follow-up ending to that story that's three fort richard wound up getting the hiv and fucking uh dying at a very young age wow yeah is anybody dying from the hiv Adios. anymore uh oh it's still you know they still got the uh epidemic status really africa does anyone die here anymore? They just give them drugs and you get like they have the cocktail, right, Sam? I <laughs> Sam, what are right, you taking Sam? for the AIDS? I don't. <laughs> Sam, what do you right, got for Sam? your AIDS? I don't have that. <laughs> you get the new strand of AIDS, the Twink AIDS. Ooh, <laughs> he can't bear to lose any weight. He'd die in a day of AIDS. <laughs> you know how people <laughs> hang in for fucking years? Magic Johnson and shit. They're all in shape. Sam has no leeway with his weight to have even a cold. <laughs> I'd live till I was 90. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've had AIDS for 50 years. It's wonderful. I don't, I don't even feel it. Oh, I'm finally at the weight I wanted to be. I'm at my goal weight. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Sam looks like fucking like uh, in, in Philadelphia when they had the uh, oh, party. <laughs> you oh, should get him a sandwich. Sailor suit. That's, that. <laughs> Sam would look adorable in a sailor suit, oh, wouldn't he? God, with the make him salute. Mm, yeah, not a, like not Shirley a Temple. not a crackerjack. The actual the the, the a real know, one. The whites. Yeah, and... yeah, the end. Like R R Richard Gere at the end of fucking oh, officer, officer and a gentleman. Yeah, yeah with oh, the hat. oh, like a naval aviator. Yeah, like Tom Hanks had in the yeah. fucking Philadelphia movie. That'd be cool. You could fucking pick up Bobo from Queens and. <laughs> <laughs> You go, girl. <laughs> I don't have AIDS. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, no. That's something you never want to have to he say. <laughs> but Sam does have AIDS forehead. Oh, what's AIDS forehead? It's just, you have a thin forehead. It's like your forehead needs to gain weight. Like the skin on your forehead is uh, thin. Yeah. So. It's almost Klingon-like. Yeah. <laughs> uh, because your hair is pulled so far back. You almost have a Klingon forehead. And not the original series. I'm talking, you know, Next Generation. Next Gen. Worf. Oh. You have a wharf head. <laughs> he could be a fucking Klingon. You're absolutely right. And his <laughs> upper lip, he has that, he has that cat upper lip. <laughs> What's cat a cat upper lip? lip? <laughs> hey, wharf head. <laughs> you have wharf okay, head. I don't know about that. <laughs> well, you don't have anything. Any, you pulled all your hair back for so long uh -huh. that you wound up getting a wharf head. I have a big forehead. <laughs> well, I think I look wharf. handsome. <laughs> oh, well, you do look handsome, but Thank you. you do have some type of wharf head going on. You do have a huge, it's those two fucking lines that the bones, you have two bones that protrude out of the, protrude, protrude, out of, protrude, protrude, <laughs> protrude. protrude. <laughs> they do, dude, dude, I say words, dude, and I fucking, you know, I just dude. say what I, you know what I mean, dude. <laughs> Oh, uh, what the Jesus fuck is that? Christ. What is that? Worf wearing a fucking leprechaun That's outfit? That's Worf from one of their terrible holodeck episodes, which I, I can never fucking sit through. the holodeck episodes I don't mind Star Trek Next Generation. Next Generation. It's, it's not a bad Star Trek series, but the minute that they were, like, they just had nothing and it was a whole holodeck show, I'm, I'm like, I gotta tap out, dude. I, I don't give a could, fuck. I wish we could holodeck this show some days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the holodeck shows are like, oh, come on. Right. I don't want to see the crew in the 1800s. They're like, dressed like fucking <laughs> pirates. They're dressed like fucking ancient Rome. Well, yeah, you're it's a space show. Hanging out with Shakespeare. It's like, be in space. Is that Picard? Yeah, yeah. Captain Jean Luc, Jean -Luc Picard. Picard. And Computer, Earl Grey. Hot. That guy? <laughs> yeah, I've never Number heard one. him order tea. Make it so. I never really, Make it so. I never really watched all the Next Generations. I, I, I'd catch, like, every time I tuned in, and I hate when this happens with the show, uh, it was the same episode. Like, sometimes you only catch three episodes. Yeah. There are a thousand episodes of certain shows, and every time I tune in, it's like, I'll give it a try. All right. Fuck, I saw this one. TBS does it with Seinfeld a lot. It's yeah. like they'll rotate the same eight Seinfeld episodes like over and over fucking, again. Like, what were there, nine seasons, something like that? Of, and, of, it, of what, Seinfeld? Yeah. Yeah, I and, think so. and, and they play like one season's worth. When, when would it Star Trek The Next Generation? When does that take place? What year? Way in the future. That's it? That's it? Just way in the future? They I, don't uh, give a year? 23rd? 2300s? 2300s. 
I don't know. I when was the regular Star Trek? That's a good question, Bobby. 60s? The 60s? No, yeah, the 60, <laughs> 66 to 68, I believe. 2364. 2364? Yeah, 2364 through 2370. Oh. 100 years after the original. Have uh, you, have you, so the original was supposed to be 2264? Oh, that came a long way. <laughs> That's yeah. 100 years. That. And then you watch, like, the. It takes you out of the mix, but you watch the redo, which was fantastic. I loved the newest Star Trek that they made where they got and recast it. But it's supposed to be a prequel to the original. And the equipment is eight million times better than the original equi show equipment. Right, right. But it's supposed to be the future. That kind of takes me out of it. But they can't have shitty cardboard sets. It's not just a red, green, and a blue yeah, button. Yeah, yeah, it's the, the stupid <laughs> fucking digital readout that would just spin. Time is going backwards, Captain. And it's like your old flip digital clock, it's, it's alarm just clock. Just a fan. <laughs> it would just go back. The numbers, boop, boop. They'd have one sound on the bridge. When they had radar too, they would just be that that circle. Yeah. Yeah, With, then, like an outline of the exact animal that's coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, their radar just ruled. Just had a rhino coming down. And when they go into orbit of a planet, the planet had no clouds or anything <laughs> or an atmosphere. It was like they took a globe and just shoved it in a dark room, <laughs> put a light on it. <laughs> Stunk. What uh, show is what show isn't there has to be a show that did the future back then, but it was now, and we haven't we haven't done it oh, yet. Oh, Space 1999 was one of those. Uh, wow, was that with with a moon? Ba they had moon bases, Who's and then the moon that? blew up. Oh, that was uh, the guy that was also in Mission Impossible, and he was in Ed Wood. He played Bella Lugosi in Ed Wood. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Martin Landau. Yeah, Martin Landau was the big star of that one. He goes to Space. the IHOP in West Hollywood every day. How do you know? Because I, when I was there at last for three months. I'd go to the IHOP every day. That fucking guy would be sitting there every day. That's him right there. Yeah, see, man. that's him but every that's, day. That's him young, and that's IHOP. his wife. That's so cool. Barbara Bain was his wife, and uh, he had to work. Imagine having to work on a show with your wife all the time, like fucking Voss and Bonnie do. <laughs> that's the Voss and Bonnie of nineteen fucking sixty six. That <laughs> show stunk. Space 1999. That sounded so futuristic. I remember that show. I don't what the fucking what was the what was the oh yeah. This is the big theme. Very dramatic, and their ship just sucked ass. It looked dumb. It looks like a bone with a cockhead on the end of it. <laughs> yeah, cockhead. <laughs> uh, damn. And then they completely. What's with the disco <laughs> thing? What year was this? What Space the fuck? 1974. What year did this come out, Danny? Because it was a <laughs> shitty show. Uh, that was a horrible show. 70, oh, 75. No way. Yeah, 75 to 77. I don't buy that. <laughs> Two years. It's a. Ah, uh, that's funny. Space 1999, a British science fiction. Oh, that's why it sucked too. Anybody get into Doctor Who? Doctor Who's big now. Why though? Doctor Who's big because it's coming. All right, it, it shut back. that off. They got new. Uh, they got a new series on. I think BBC. Does he still wear that shitty fucking jacket? That brown jacket with the turtleneck. But it's so stupid. Like he's a a dumb fucking looking typical English guy. And is he in space? And what what is that? I never got into it. I never got into it either. It just looked so dumb. And people try to get me into it. And I'm like, no. I'll tell you what was a good it. show. Uh, Firefly. What was that? That was a good show. <laughs> never heard of it. Look at that guy. The theme was the best, though. With his dumb afro. Yeah, see his stupid jacket? He always had dumb clothes. With a big scarf. Who is your doing? Who is your favorite doctor? Because, you know, they change doctors. Did they? Yeah, that's like part of the whole gimmick. So there's like always like a new doctor. A new doctor? I guess it was this guy. No, I oh. hated this guy. <laughs> yeah. Is this the oh, theme too? Yeah, it's rock so hard. Doctor Who. It rocks so hard. No, it doesn't. Oh. Yeah, play that theremin. The Moog synthesizer. <laughs> this stunk too. God, there really was nothing to watch uh, back then. And this was on like PBS all the time. Please send your contributions in 
to TBS, uh, or TBS, what am I saying? TBS. Why some new Seinfeld episodes, why, please? Why am, why am I an asshole? Dude, fucking, PBS. Because it, it's seven, that's why. Yeah. I'm fucking exhausted already. My eyes are shutting. No, PBS always had, like, Dr. Who on, and, and well, you'd be like, why, why, I don't want to watch this. Was it you? Because occasionally they'd show a tit on PBS. <laughs> <laughs> like, Monty Python would come on, and you'd see, like, an animation tit. How great was it back then when we were weren't desensitized to tits? Oh, well, you'd back see a tit in and just uh, fucking, Benny Hill. You'd get like uh, that feeling. Your breath, breathing would would kick up. And, Remember Benny Hill? Yeah. They never showed anything, but the the it might happen that he might just get yeah. his cock sucked. <laughs> you'd, oh, you'd, fuck one of these chicks would be running around in fast motion. <laughs> you'd see you'd see a lot of cleavage, yes. a lot of big English broad tit. <laughs> Benny but, Hill was the best. What a <laughs> fucking pedophile. Just the <laughs> creep in that little old man. The little old man running uh, around yeah. chasing fucking young girls. Benny Hill eyebrows oh, wait, were the me. funniest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was uh everybody in school would talk about Benny Hill. But again, that show was even kind of just silly. And For back then, dumb. it was all right, though. Yeah. When you were a kid? Or maybe I was to, a kid. You had to go to PBS, though, for uh, for a little bit of tit. Maybe they'd do a National Geographic thing, and you'd see some tit. Yeah, like skirts were always blowing up, and you'd see panties and things like that. But, but yeah, we weren't desensitized to it no. at the time. So you're yeah. breathing, we'd get like... <sighs> Yeah, that back in the day with the skirt up and the thigh highs. Oh my god, and there was always that. Uh, we're gonna f uh, last episode of the season. We're just gonna rape yeah, five yeah. chicks on the show. I had to, I had to go see a uh, uh, Barbarella in a drive-in with my dad and and Corey, his wife there, and sit in a fucking a pickup truck, and I was in the in between the two the two of them, and the beginning opening sequence is pretty much her naked. Spinning around through space, kind of a kind of a James Bondish thing, right? And it was almost a little in silhouette, but you could see her. I started breathing so heavy in this truck, the windows <laughs> were getting all fogged up, and I'm sitting between my father and his fucking wife, but I couldn't control myself, <laughs> like I couldn't breathe normal. It fucked me up, <laughs> like I was trying so hard, just a big raging kid boner <laughs> it was so embarrassing just pulsing through your tiny oh, it was whities. raining it was raining <laughs> inside the fucking truck the 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 condensation on the, on the windshield i've never seen barbarella yeah she does this and then she takes that space suit off and she's all fucking like naked yeah you know how hot this was to a to a, a kid she takes a dumb fucking futuristic space, you know. And when was this supposed to take place? In the future of 1985? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's floating through space, getting naked. She was hot back then, huh? Yeah. You see her now? She's a Before fucking she mess. Old commie. She's the a plot says that it was in the 40th century. Wow. Okay, that's way in the fucking future. All right, they, they bought themselves a little time. <laughs> I like when they buy themselves a, a lot of fucking time. 40th fucking century. There's Jesus. not even going to be a copy of that left by then. Because <laughs> some things just, uh, they really fucked up. 2001, A Space Odyssey. We don't have a space station like that. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Where, what? That's 2001 where they fucked up. We don't have that. It's 2000. The year 2000 made a lot of things that, that fucked up because people in the 60s and 50s when they would make these sci-fi movies always thought the year 2000 was going to be holy shit. I was sitting in a diner once and, and it's like 2000 something, whatever. And I'm sitting uh, with my girl at the time and I just, I had to bring it up. I go, I go, look outside. There's still wooden poles with wires on them and, and fucking lights hanging in the middle of streets so cars can know when to go and stop. I go, you could look at the 50s yeah. and see the same fucking shit. They look better. They work a little better. But it's still a wooden pole with wires on it and tar on the street. Yeah, but if you go stand in, in front of Forever 21 in Times Square, they have a huge screen that you can see yourself on and a girl will come pick you up by the head. Yeah? yeah? Is that what's going on over there? <laughs> I was there for fucking two hours yesterday. I would go there for, for the girl other with the reasons. Book. <laughs> but, <laughs> love Forever 21. Oh, yeah. oh it stores great. Oh, my you God. Just stand outside there and jerk off <laughs> <laughs> until someone else takes you away. It's not the girl with the little purse. 
<laughs> security. Uh, security. You go jerk off. I'll stand out in front and stop the girls that shouldn't go in there. It's not forever, honey. <laughs> it didn't work just out. Just a saying. I do that. It's, it's the, they don't mean it literally. Yeah, yeah. it's not forever sizes. <laughs> Beat it. <laughs> I do that too, but I do it at Claire's Accessories. <laughs> Is that at Claire's, Claire's Accessories? accessories? <laughs> Nothing more embarrassing than taking your girl into Claire's so she could buy little fuzzy feather hair clips. <laughs> For her pigtails. <laughs> yeah. You know. Back to there, school. There are some embarrassing moments I'd love that to do happen when you're a fucking. Gotta fuck them in something. Pet arrest. I bet you have a. <laughs> I bet you have an easy button for fucking <laughs> pencils and pens and rulers. <laughs> <laughs> that is terrible. Uh, what are you going to do? Come on. Help me out. No, I'm um, you know what we're going to do? It, it's been an hour. Did I get my sandwich yet? Oh, no. It's usually here by now. Well, Kenny. Because some people were uh, bitching yesterday. Oh, my that, God. Oh, Jesus wow. Christ. He <laughs> burst in like Kramer. The door is stuck. <laughs> now the door is stuck open. I'm going to eat my sandwich. So I'm not, I'm not doing it on the air. And then uh, when we get back, oh, my God. Bobby Kelly. You're going to cock milk me. I'm going <laughs> to cock milk Bob. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you asshole. Uh, I'm going to cock milk Bob. I was t uh, telling Bobby earlier about um, the wonderful and talented Jimmy Norton. Yes. Uh, he sent me a text yesterday, <laughs> and it was, uh, he goes, uh, Anthony, check out this chick I'm fucking. And I'm like, what? So I, I click, and it was a picture of his ball sack <laughs> so close, and he's holding his dick up. Like pulling it, and it was taffy dick. He didn't even, he didn't have a heart on it. He just like pulled taffy dick. So his nuts were pulled up and just snapped a picture at like macro focus range. <laughs> I just started cracking up. I'm sitting at a bar looking at a man's ball sack on my iPhone and just laughing. Jimmy is hysterical. He'll, uh, Jimmy should be joining us at some juncture here. Uh, I know his plane's late. Kenny, info, please. His plane just landed and is taxiing to the gate. Oh, good. Oh, very cool. Right. He has a driver standing by for a curbside pickup. Fucking A. Yeah. So, uh, That's uh, great. we'll be ready. Uh, looking forward to Jimmy Norton joining the show. Good. With uh, Robert Kelly. Bobby, where are you going to be? What I'm gonna, are you doing? I'm going to be. Do your own fucking plug. I'm going to. I'm fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I love the <this> show. <laughs> <laughs> your own fucking plug. All right. Uh, off the Hook Comedy Club. I fucking hate listening to myself on this show. Why? I fuck. I'm just. I'm okay. Oh, the listeners uh, love you. Yeah, I'm. Uh, you know what? Occasionally, a, a real. I'll give it up. I do, but ugh. I was um, on the way <laughs> yeah. here. I was just like, shut the fuck up, <laughs> fuck. Off the hook comedy club at uh, Captain O'Brien's restaurant. Captain O'Brien or Captain Brian? Whatever he is. All right. Well, you fucking all whipped up. <laughs> Whatever he is, Captain he, Brian. You have. He's, I don't. I'm not. I'm not calling him fucking Captain. But he owned a no, boat no. in Boston. Yeah. He insists like he was, on so now it's Captain. Yeah, he insists on calling himself Captain. It's not happening. It's like the maestro. I can't have enough fucking Seinfeld references today. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, he's Captain Captain Brian. It's Off the Hook Comedy Club, August 19th through the August 22nd of this month. Nice. And then at the end of the next week, very next week, Anthony, yeah. I don't take breaks. No. I'm bringing my comedy caravan across this fucking beautiful nation of ours to because we need jokes we need laughter yeah, we need to laugh during these yeah. trying times now you're not going to pay 70 dollars a ticket to no. see me you're going to pay 10 see, to you, 15 you understand people are unemployed things are tight you're giving right. them a little break a and little i'm kind later. of famous <laughs> <laughs> i'm hoping last night's episode will fucking shoot me to the top mm, come on uh oh he'll fucking you know louis will fucking just have a new brother just to be weird Oh. I'll just be a. You know what? I want Todd Barry to be my brother this year. Oh. Every year it's a new brother. Why would they? Why would he do that? I'm to you? kidding. I'm kidding. That's just my brain. I suck. But it is kind of something Louis would do. <laughs> <laughs> he is crazy. Uh, Richmond Funny Bone. I'm going to be there August 26th. Mm. Yeah. Through the 29th. <laughs> 
Are you going to hang out with your friend Buzz Barton and sing karaoke? Oh, fucking Buzz. Please fucking get Buzz on the internet. Is Buzz good? He sings karaoke. He's my way is his claim to fame. Uh, fucking, it's on the internet, and I watched it a hundred times. You got to have a bigger repertoire than just my way. Oh. It's uh, He lives in Richmond, Virginia. My karaoke repertoire is getting quite large, thanks to uh, Danny over yeah, here. But you're talented. <laughs> but you, Buzz, is, Buzz is good. Is he good? Yeah, yeah, have you heard it? Ex cop. No, I'm gonna. Have, I'm gonna have to hear. We'll, we'll find a little during the break and uh, maybe uh, play some of that because uh, I love karaoke. Oh, I can't get enough of it. I've watched you at my, fucking uh, three in the morning. I'm live from the compound with <laughs> Danny drunk with a cowboy hat, fucking <laughs> sleeping behind you. <laughs> I've lived the life of foal. <laughs> Suck my cock, you 18-year-old hoa. <laughs> I, I don't know if those are the Sam ones. getting milked by, <laughs> by Travis. <laughs> getting, I'd, pay, I'd pay for that. Getting jizz in his shitty beard. <laughs> uh, yes, 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 that's, um, <laughs> that's a wonderful rendition. Uh, dude, you look brilliant. I, I got to do another one of these. People are clamoring for my... Uh, uh, my karaoke with guns. I like the 50 cal sniper. Yeah, the 50 cal one was was very good. This is the one that made it. This got a lot of play. A lot of play. <laughs> See, the trick is to sing seriously and look ridiculous. <laughs> Very dramatic part. I have an AK-47 and a Desert Eagle on me. <laughs> and a Nostromo shirt from Alien. <laughs> what a psychopath! I, I can't even watch this and I'm thinking, why did I do this? <laughs> you point with a gun. Yes, I love uh, you and you point with a gun. Thank you, Sam, uh, for the God volume. Damn. Uh, yeah, that you was that was fun. I got, I got to do that again. You sing, but you sing great. Voice you have like such an a angel. gentle voice. Voice like an angel, Robert. Oh, my God. I try. I guarantee you, you're going to be, like, huge on those fucking, <laughs> those websites. That one like, kind of like, wound up in, uh, in a few places. Like, uh, what are those fucking, those goddamn gorillas? What are they called? What are the fucking rednecks in the middle of the country now? They're not, oh, they're, they're not, gonna, uh, they're not the, KKK. Militia. Militia, yeah. The militia guys. They switched it up. Yeah, look at this man. He's got some good weapons and... And good make, chops. And he can sing so yeah. he can entertain the militia. We should try to get him for the next barbecue. <laughs> I'd love to see you at a rally. Oh, so middle. would I. <laughs> <laughs> they, wouldn't, they wouldn't have me. I'm a little too Mediterranean. <laughs> that's, how, that's how I like to put it, Mediterranean. Just shave your head. <laughs> <laughs> you know how hard it was to hold that gun during that entire song? <laughs> it's got to be like fucking 100 pounds, Thank right? Thank God I've been training. <laughs> That gun is very heavy. Um, yeah, that's all up on my uh, uh, YouTube site. It's a O P A N T X M. That's my little site to check out my videos. I'm gonna work on my radio voice for this. The rest of the show, I'm gonna talk. Yeah, a little, I'm gonna talk a little different, a little deeper. Yeah, my my voice. See that? It's a little. Uh, you don't want to be nasal and squeaky. I'm on gonna the radio. I'm gonna try to uh, slow it down. Okay. And uh, you know, bring it a little slower. Mm -hmm. and uh, be more precise with what I'm trying to say and when I'm going to say it. And a little oh. a little deeper. A little deeper, and I'm going to try to pronounce my R's inside of the word. Oh, so it's not so accent-wise, yeah. like New York. Yeah, well, it's not going to be as nasally, and it's going to be uh, more precise. That's good. Use uh, this show to train for the radio. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. This is a little training ground. Instead of maybe doing it in a studio somewhere where no one's listening and it's not a kind of an important program here uh, on the platform. I'm, I'm sensing <laughs> frustration in your voice, Anthony. Well, that was very articulate. <laughs> you really did yes. pronounce every syllable. Yes, All right. I well, did. We're going to take a break. We'll get back. And I want to hear about uh, what you've done to your goddamn iPhone. <sighs> That's it. Don't say another word. We're going to take a break. Be right back. And now picking up where they left off, the Opie and Anthony show continues. Did 
Detachable penis. Ding, ding, ding. Detachable penis. Quite the staple song of the 90s. Bringing you right back to the 90s. Hi, Opie and Anthony show. Uh, Opie's out. He's sickly. He's sickly today. But um, he is hinting uh, that tomorrow he's coming back. Tamara. Me and Nina. So uh, hang in there. Hang in there. I, I, I guess he talked to Dr. Steve, our resident physician. And, and he wound up getting strep throat or something. Ouch. Ow. You don't want that. Especially with a baby around. I'd be scared shit to get sick and then have a baby around, because then it's like, oh, my God. If I get the baby sick, that's got to make you feel a little guilty. Poor little guy's like, oh, uh, oh, uh, you did this to me. Oh, uh. <laughs> Would you do it come fucking... Did you just come sprinting back after a cigarette and now you're breathing like a marathon runner? <laughs> yeah? You okay, Bob? <laughs> you weren't even sprinting. I just ran. Oh, it was just walking. No. It was just a walk. <laughs> yeah. I, I ran from the door to the seat. Oh, okay. <laughs> I did a jump. Try to make it look like you were running the whole way. Hmm. Yeah, I was Friendly Bob on the elevator today again. I yeah. hate Friendly <laughs> Bob. Unfortunately, Friendly Bob was friendly with Jeremy Coleman, who was in the elevator. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I'm friendly. I'm yeah. just friendly. Was Jeremy friendly back? Yeah, it was a, a good exchange. Jeremy used to be our boss down uh, back at uh, NEW, or one of them. Oh, really? Yeah. He was under uh, Ken Stevens. Nice not, guy. Not under Ken Stevens. Well, like, with. Uh, all right, look, I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> He was there with him. <laughs> yes, exactly. All uh, right, got no problem with that. Mm -hmm. So how uh, how was uh, very friendly back? Yeah, he yeah, was. very friendly back. That's nice. I could tell Sam was very he's uncomfortable. A, he's a slight man. He's nice, nice guy. Yeah, yeah. Very nice in the elevator. Very sweet. Yeah, people people like friendly Bob. No, they don't. No, the people people are uncomfortable <laughs> with friendly Bob. When you pulled friendly Bob on the elevator the other day with those two girls, I was mortified. <laughs> I couldn't get off of that elevator quickly enough. Because you don't stop. Like, like anyone will say hi to you on an elevator just to be courteous. And then when they turn their head away and start looking at the numbers ticking down <laughs> to see what floor they're on, it means I really don't want to have a conversation. But you keep asking questions and, 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 and commenting on things, and it's uncomfortable. You know what? Someone once told me there's no such thing as a dumb question. <laughs> You have to, you have so to, uh, you, 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 have you heard the show with Voss on it? <laughs> <laughs> As those are dumb answers. Yeah, both <laughs> questions, answers. Anytime his mouth is open. <laughs> How did you make your, your DVD? What did you do there? Did you burn something? I heard you could burn movies. Is it too hot for my computer? <laughs> Adult. <laughs> When's he coming in? I'm sure soon. <laughs> Sorry, Rich. <laughs> it's like whenever whoever's in here gets to beat up whoever's not. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yesterday I it was you. Oh God. Yes. Now, we uh, yesterday we were talking about the iPhone versus Joe DeRosa's uh, Evo. Evo. Mm. The Evo that he was um, so so very proud of. Last one in town. Yeah, last one in town, and he was so very proud of it, and no one gave a flying fuck. Now, we're pretty much all, look at us, we're iPhone people. Oh, yeah. Yet I feel left out because what I have found out is Primetime Sam Roberts mm -hmm. and even Bob Kelly. Yes. Now, when Primetime did this, I just blew it off as, all right, Primetime fucked up his shit. He's just a, a kid. He's like, he, he broke his toy. You know, one of those things. Mommy will yell at him. But now Bob is the tech guy. We know this. We talked about it yesterday. And Bob, I found out now, did the same thing. Jail broke your phone. That's but right. this is the best part, is you can do it from your phone now, Sam informed me, before you used to have to hook it up. It was this whole process. It takes 90 seconds now. Yeah. But I'm afraid because <laughs> I, I know you have to, at some point, back up your phone on yeah. your, on your uh, computer. You have to then update your phone when ver various updates come out. What does jailbreaking do when you have to do that? It, you have to restore your phone. Right. That's it. 
to the last to, to the last backup. So your phone will go back to what it was at the last backup. Right before the jailbreak. Right before the jailbreak. And then you you can download it's just like it was. Then you update it. And then right. you can jailbreak it. And then it again. you jailbreak it again. But, but this used to be a pain in the ass because you used that to That already sounds it. like a pain in the ass. All you have to do is go to the website on your phone and slide your finger and it's jailbroken again. Yeah. It's That's beautiful. It. Two seconds. Should I do this? Two, oh, yeah. yes. Do, do it. it right now. Do it right now. Right now. Do it right All you now. Have to do, no, I'm right afraid. Now. Just do Fuck it. that. If you go to the web I, I got to back my phone up. All right, just go to the website <laughs> on your phone and just look at it. Shut it. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just, not gonna do this. Just do it. Just, just try do it. it. Just try it. Just do is it. Is it illegal? No, no not anymore. Not anymore. Because because Whoopty is saying Apple says it's illegal. It's no, not, it no. Just, no. Apple says it'll. It can still oh, void Travis, your warranty. Travis. Travis. They say it'll void your warranty. I, I was told I'm supposed to um, yeah, say Travis, who's talking. Yeah. Oh, like that's why I go. Oh, Danny. Oh, yes. Travis. Oh, Sam. Hi. It's like because the listeners mm -hmm. they don't know the different voices. Mm -hmm. This is what I heard in a meeting one day. Right. <laughs> so I decided, you know what? I'm going to take that to heart. Mm. And the one thing I'm going to listen to mm -hmm. as far as sitting in a meeting, I, I, I agreed to listen to one thing. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> and that's identifying who's talking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that was Travis saying that it voids the warranty. Yes. Now, what type of warranty do I have, Travis? You're very up-to-date and hip on well, the iPhone. <laughs> if I'm right, it probably has to do with, like, Apple Care. Like, if something happens to your phone and you bring it in yeah. to, like, a Genius Bar, you know? And yeah. if you jailbroke your phone, they'll say, well, that voided the warranty, so All right. we don't have to fix this. Question, yeah. question. What if my phone is jailbroken? Then I back it up to the previous unjailbroken yeah. and you're then fine. bring it in. If you, if you restore it, it unjailbreaks it, and then you're cool again. And they, they never tell. know? They don't no. know. They can't look and go, I'm seeing that you jailbroke this. No, no. it's just some schmucks who work in this. They don't know. Oh, no. don't call them that. No. I have, Except for the guy. I don't have call many him. good friends that work at the Apple stores that um, keep me from standing on very <laughs> long lines. <laughs> <laughs> they'll never know. They'll they're, never they're know. They're not going to say, oh, you jailbroke this. and then fit. No, they'll just be like, oh, look at this. It's got our... Apple operating See, software. But I just broke, broke mine. Right. See, that's it's cracked in the back. Right. Mine isn't jailbroken. It's just broken. You didn't have a finger <laughs> ring. You didn't have a finger ring, dude. You got to get the Bob you Kelly's and your finger, finger ring. ring. Yeah, I'm working. You have to get the uh, finger I wish, ring. I wish we were on the air when Bob said who sold it to him. <laughs> <laughs> he, he certainly didn't say a black gentleman on the street. <laughs> Bobby has other inventions too that I'm sure he'd love to tell everybody about. Yeah, I I do. Well, you know, the he, finger ring is a, a, a ring, and right. it's connected to a string, mm -hmm. and it goes on your phone. Mm -hmm. Uh, so you don't drop it. Right. You put your finger in the little ring. Right. And it's then you're tethered to your iPhone, so you don't drop it in the turret. Right. When you're taking a whiz, right. or um, uh, bump if someone into bumps somebody. into you, mm -hmm. yes, and, and it hits the ground. The finger ring. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or if you get surprised, like watch Bobby, like the, watch this. Anyway, so I'm talking. Hey, Bobby. Oh, oh wow. Oh. And then he would have dropped it, but the finger ring protected that. Oh God! Thank, Thank God I had the finger ring, yeah, dude. God, that was that better was acting than your Louis appearance. I was good last uh, night. I, I was actually really good. I gotta say it. You I really do have to say it. I was actually surprisingly good, and you know, it was good. It was very well edited. And, and FX picking Louis up for another this, season. Uh, yesterday, more episodes. Yeah, they just found out yesterday they're picking up for season Deuce. That's fantastic. That's crazy. That's great. That's Congratulations, great. Uh, Mr. CK. We we all love Louis CK. He's a funny motherfucker. It's such a great show. And, and I, uh, yeah, good show. It's a great show because it's not it, like every, you're in it. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's a great show because I'm in it. <laughs> oh, it's not like I'm paying my mortgage off. I, I got to go to fucking Red Lobster. Ooh, <laughs> it's not, fine dining. Yeah, it's not fucking huge money. It's not like it's not like a uh, you know a regular. Well, you get so, your face out there. You never no, know what's gonna happen. Fucking dude, it's the that greatest exposure. show. And and it's that that actually the the episode uh, the first one that I was in with the diner mm -hmm. scene. Yeah, they showed at the premiere and. Uh, that's what actually got me uh, the the little tiny spot I did on Curb yesterday. Oh shit, Jeff really? Gar yeah, Je I, I mean, I'm assuming Jeff Garland, who is a great guy, mm -hmm. he was there and he was like, "Yeah, it was really good, man, really good." And then I got called in and he was in the audition and you know he he came up yesterday. He just, I, you know, they just fucking. He was like, "Oh yeah, give it, you know, give it to this guy or whatever." He he definitely helped. Great what, guy. What was your part in uh, Curb? Uh, That's pretty cool. We had to yell at, uh, I don't know if I can tell you. Oh, hey, then, then go fuck yourself. I, I don't care then. 
What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> no, it's actually very funny. I'll just say Bill Buckner's in it, which is great. What? It's going to be a very fun. It's it, uh, it's very funny. They oh, will, well, okay. They won't give you the script. You don't get lines. I could kind of figure it out. <laughs> you literally, you, you go in for the audition, and it's one sentence. Yeah. That's all they give you. One sentence, and then you go in with Larry. And the producers and everybody, and you just act out. The, it's all improv. Yeah. And you just do it, and then you leave, and that's it. But they were fucking it's Jeff. A little Gaunt. scary. Uh, no, fuck no. that. It's so much, dude. You know how many times I fucking learned fourteen pages of text to go in and get thank you, like two seconds, thank you, yeah. bye, and never hear from them again. I was up for two days. All night walking to the uh, the worst part of doing an audition with lines and fucking learning all that shit and you when you leave you're still doing them. I'm in the elevator <laughs> and I'm still going. Yeah. So anyways, Kathy, I really like ah. It's over for, for days. It's it, over. You worked your ass off to learn all. You know how hard it is to memorize 14 pages of I'm text. Terrible at memorizing, dude. Things. It's a it's a motherfucker to go into an audition. Nothing. Nope. Just go in. Do this. You want to do this to this guy. Just in front of some guy sitting there looking at you. That doesn't even fucking phase me anymore. It's the lines. When you fuck You should just up, get up on all fours naked, pull your dick back behind you. Right. And do your lines Start that way. Start milking myself. Start milking yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be intimidating, though, just having some guy sitting there judging your performance without it in context of, you know... The set and another no, that, actor. And that's what you want is when you go in with producers and the guy, Larry David was in the room. How crazy is that? That's what you want because you're eliminating five steps. When you go into a room and it's a casting director with an assistant in front of a fucking camera, oh, you know you're never going to get seen. Call back. You're never going to get seen. Lucky. Ma Dude, there's a hundred guys on videotape and then there's guys that go right to producers like famous people that... You know, How'd you get that fucking thing then where you went right in front of Larry I David? I told you, the Louis show. Oh, He saw connection. me there, and I don't know. I mean, they just called me in. It was, you know, Jeff Garland is a really great guy. I think really Bob nice Kelly's guy. going on to bigger and better things. I hope so, because I suck at <laughs> radio. I don't want to wake up at <laughs> 6 in the morning and do this fucking show. No, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm fucking... I'm very excited to be here filling in on my with my new voice. That, that I'm is doing. good. That is good. Yeah, no, and, and again, Jimmy will be here at some point, but thank um, God. whatever. And also, I think Otto... Yeah, Otto's coming in later on in the, in the program, 8.30 or so. We'll have Otto come in yeah. uh, to hang out. Now, about the jailbroken phone, yes, since sir. we took a little tangent, Yes. Uh, what is so good about it? Like, why? Sell me on it. Okay. What is so good about the risk of voiding the warranty <laughs> no or, risk. Or, or wiping out everything I fucking have? First of all, you're a fucking gazillionaire. No, I'm not that fucking... All right, you're a thousandaire. Like Patrice puts it, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so you, you can buy a new phone. It's only 300 bucks. What's the yeah, risk? Yeah, but I don't want to lose everything on my phone. You won't. Is it backed up? You already backed it up, right? Yeah, but you know, you always add new shit, so you got to kind of back it up all the time. What have you added since you backed it up? A couple of apps, uh, you know, some fucking contacts you get, shit like that. You, you know, you, you, pictures, you, shit like that, pictures. All you have to do is when you go home today, back up your phone, plug it in and back it up. Well, I will, but, you know, that's, that's why it. I don't want to jailbreak it right now. You can still back up your phone when it's jailbroken. Yeah, yeah just go home and back it up. But I don't want to jailbreak it if it fucks up my phone and then I lose all my pictures you're, and you're everything. Not, that's that what I, we're that saying to you, that you're backing it up today and you'll have those. You'll just go back to that backup. Yeah. I'm, I'm not. Why? Not, I'm it, waiting. It won't, it won't screw up your phone. Dude, because, you, you know why? What? Because I have like new pictures on mm. my phone nude pictures new, new okay new pictures on my phone and if something happens to it yeah those aren't backed up yet yeah but i just said back go home today yeah i'll do i'll do that no but you can but you, you can want me still to do it you want me to jailbreak it right now you bob kelly did it in the office I just before did it. the show it's not gonna fuck Boom. up your photos it'll fuck up but my this phone. is the best part is that you can customize your phone to, you can have your phone when you open it, you know, the slide. Yeah. It's a fucking gun. Or a fingerprint, what? and then people yeah. will think it has to read your fingerprint. It doesn't really. You can slide it. It's, it's just, just a picture of it's a, a fingerprint. Oh. It's a gun slider, and when you slide it, it goes... Oh. Or you can have it that when you slide it, it goes... And but then, that, that, okay, not really selling me on the risk of well, fucking my life up. You're not gonna up. fuck your phone up. It could be a gun, Anthony. See the service I bars? Have a, I have guns. I don't need one on my phone. Like next to your service bars, it says AT and T, right? Yeah, that's normal. 
not Sam is what mine says. Yours says not Sam? That's right. People can, say, what service do you have? Just, no, not Sam. Don't worry about it. You it's can exclusive. customize your whole phone to make it say and look the, whatever way you want it to look. My shit looks like a vending machine. First of all, the way... <laughs> <laughs> yes, your, I see your apps That's and so stuff. Fresh. All, it looks like one of those vending machines. I can't have that. I'd eat my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really uh, feeling it, though, still. It, it sounds like they're just kind of some... Some graphics tricks. And all right, cool. I could look. You could see this. Big deal. What's the big selling point you can, of jailbreaking? You can you can unlock it too, and, and then you could tell anywhere. people that you jailbroke your phone, and then you could sound just as cool as Bobby and Sam. <laughs> is that is that the real thing here? No. It's like, yeah, jailbroke it, man. Next time I'm in a hotel yeah. with a laptop, and they say, "Oh, this is how much it costs for Wi-Fi," I'll say, "No, thank you. I'll just turn on my Wi-Fi 4.0." and use the 3G service on the phone as a Wi-Fi hotspot. So now your phone itself can become a Wi-Fi hotspot. That's right. Where if I have my laptop here and pull up networks that are all over the place, yes. it'll show, what, Sam's phone? Yeah. And then I click on that, and I will use your 3G. That's right. Right. Now what about the data transfer um, um, charge anything that is unlimited unlimited data plan. and and yeah. when you have that that app the 3g it tricks when you go to YouTube videos your phone knows it's on it's on uh, 3g okay on a cell line yeah so it will give you the shitty version of the YouTube video uh -huh. but now it's gonna trick it to think it's on Wi-Fi so you right. always get the best version oh, of YouTube. so you sit, it sits there buffering for fucking 20 minutes or you could do FaceTime over 3g now that Okay, all you right. You gotta be in good 3G or, service. But, or, uh, I mean, or you, know. you can use your phone outside of the country. Just pop a SIM card in it. Go and get a SIM card wherever you are. What, what am right. I fleeing? What, I got what, my what Wi-Fi on. On the lamb. <laughs> I, I'm, where am I going? Uh -huh. I got weird. my Wi-Fi on right now. You are just a now. dirty American. Exactly. I'm not going anywhere except I'm my fine. house. Fine, take me home. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Wow, that's whoever that's wants scary. to try to tap in. I mean, of course, I have my pass. It's password protected right now, but. Sam oh. Roberts iPhone is a Wi-Fi network in this right studio. now right now right now that's right so are you saying that I could take my phone or my computer mm -hmm. and use your connection mm -hmm. well sure why would I ever do that when I just have my phone in the first place <laughs> you're not getting on it, a Danny. computer See, I do I, everything on my phone. I don't even need a computer. When I go travel now, I don't bring my laptop. That's silly things. No, I bring a laptop. I do work. I need to. I'm a professional. Oh I need shit! To, you know, he just he's fucking cuts. faced you. Go to I wrestling to message boards. I could do that on my phone. You. Plug in the voice recorder. You know, pull Sam, my. Sam, TMZ is on your phone there. also. Oh my god! Wait a minute. Hold on. I want to go to Mike in Boston. He's got something. Just imperative oh. here that needs to be on the air. I love our callers. Mike from Boston, please. What? What's up, man? What's up, Bobby? Hi. Hi. What's going on, guys? Hey, listen, I'm just talking. You know, I just want to jump in. I have a uh, jailbroken iPhone. And I would have the phone even if it wasn't jailbroken. But the best part about the jailbreak is you can customize it and make it a little bit easier for yourself. Um, I have an app called InfiniDoc that allows me to put multiple apps on the dock on the bottom so I have to flip through all those pages. Boom. And I have a 3GS, and I have multitasking already involved with the 3.0 software, not the 4.0 software. And I'm more in, in interested in the, four point, the 4G phone. Do callers um, <laughs> really add anything to the show? <laughs> I, I just... I really he want said, to. Who are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks, Mike. No problem, boys. I just glad we got to the bottom of that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't. I, Anthony from Connecticut has something to add about jailbroken phones. Because, uh, but the biggest criticism about yesterday's show yes. was, mm -hmm. "Hey, Anthony, we want phone calls." Actually. People said, thank God you didn't take any phone calls. So that's why I'm taking them now, just to annoy those people. <laughs> Hi, Anthony from Connecticut. Hey, what do you got for the O&A show? Do they do, boys? Hmm? That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Christ. See, <laughs> see <laughs> this, I, I just... I'm proving a point. <laughs> I'm proving a fucking point. Uh, Dave from Connecticut. Dave... Uh, Dave, how you doing? What do you got for the show? I'm doing great, Anthony. How are you? Fine and dandy, Dave. Excellent. 
how about a Back to the Future theme for your iPhone? You jailbreak it, you can make it look like Back to the Future. Look at that. Back to the Future phone. Like, like an, theme, on the slider? Yeah. Instead of a little uh, thing that you just put, what if it's a DeLorean? That you just put your finger on, slide it across. Now your phone's unlocked, and there's a DeLorean that just moved. Mm-hmm. And what about that? But So it sounds to me like jailbreaking lets you Puerto Rican your phone out. <laughs> I mean, exactly. I don't want to get racial. This is like the this is like the the iPhone equivalent of like uh, hubcap spinners. Yeah, this is a Celica with gold spray painted <laughs> rims, and there is also a package called I think it's called Install Us or Install Us or something. Yeah. This one is illegal. But can you hang a CD off the phone? It allows you <laughs> to download any app in the actual app store for free. That's right. a, that that's, sounds, that's stealing. That's that stealing. sounds a little I illegal. <laughs> I don't think that's Apple fucking no, certified. That's that's illegal. I don't. How have about that. this? How about this? Well, you know your screen. How you have to slide through all those screens, no. even though they have folders now. Yeah, I love the folders. Okay, now you can push the home button, and it shrinks all your pages onto one screen, and then you can hit it. Wow! So that one screen, you don't have to scroll through anything. This doesn't sound like. I mean, the Wi-Fi thing. Maybe in certain circumstances. Yeah. I like the FaceTime through 3G, although I wonder what the quality is. Um, oh, you! I got this. You can use this. You can actually put your credit card and use this as a credit card. So you don't have to carry your wallet. You can just scan your iPhone. I saw over that it. that's going to be soon. I'm kidding. Not <laughs> that yet. Yeah, all right, whatever. But I did see that. that that's going to be soon. <laughs> yeah, did you see what fucking Citibank is doing? I saw the commercial for that motherfucking thing. Where if you have a check oh. that you want deposited it Son, in your account, I already have that. Shut it, what? Chase. Do what is it? Chase does it. Yeah. What is it? You just you, you don't have to it's go. There. You got a check, right? Maybe you got paid like a hundred dollars for some comedy gig that you did. I like oh, that. Oh, no. oh, oh shit! Wow. I like that. You, what a fuck! I like wow. that you're doing a commercial. <laughs> All you got to do is you take a picture of the front and back of your check, yeah. and then boom, it's deposited in your checking account. Oh, that's crazy. Isn't that fucking crazy? Now, 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 I was thinking when I saw that commercial, can't you in essence do this? Take a picture of the front and back of a check that you're sending to somebody, not the bank. You got to pay somebody and then you send it to them and then they take it and deposit it into the bank through their phone. Now you've just paid somebody like there's no need for paper, a uh, paper check to be traveling around anymore. You could just transfer it to another person who then can transfer it to the bank. I've had <clears throat> I've had the same checks since I opened my account. Like I, I don't think anybody really uses paper checks anymore in the first place. I do sometimes. <laughs> I know. I'm back but in, I think the only thing I actually pay with a check is my my rent check. I think. Where do you use a paper it. check? Um, you buying milk? No. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> buying milk. <laughs> I when, when uh, I have certain bills that have to be paid that aren't in my computer. And and I, I'd re instead of just it's oh. a one time deal. So you're not walking out with a checkbook to so go to the of, fucking mall. No, no, no. It's at home, just you know, filling out checks for a certain bills right. that I don't want to put on my phone, shit like that, just right? Because it's a one time deal, right? One time deal, Wade. Listen to, to me. Go see Bill Deal. Anthony, down at just... Northwest Federal. You ever get tired? <laughs> of Take the... a picture of your check. No, well, he's not at Northwest. Is he? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you get sick of this font on the iPhone? I just it hurts my eyes. Oh. Luckily, I got font swap, so it's no problem. Dude, I can totally. Can I get Comic Sans? Yeah, you could. What about Comic? Sans? What about Papyrus though? Let me tell you something. Any font you could imagine, it's available. Yeah, yeah. Helvetica. Yeah. Oh, Helvetica. You could get Zach Dingbats. Let's run through every Zap font. Ding <laughs> yeah. Ding Dingbats. Yeah. Anything. Oh, those are useless. You can change Unless all you're your fonts. Canceling people and on Palsock. In, in your emails too. So. Yeah. Anything you read is the font of your choosing. That's right. How about you don't just have to deal with letters? the font that the man chose for you. Oh, is that it? It makes you feel like you're just not fucking yeah. kowtowing to the man. Well, this is the thing that the, the Evo and all those other phones that you can customize your fucking phone and you can't do it. Apple makes you have everybody has the same icons. Everybody has the same text. Everybody has the same fucking iPhone. There's nothing personal about it now. Yes. I mean... <laughs> now you can change all that and make exactly. the phone that but you want and, and show your personality that, through your phone. That, <laughs> so you can literally have I do by, an upside-down cross on your phone. <laughs> my pictures. <laughs> through my pictures, I show my personality. <laughs> Degenerate. <laughs> the first app I got was that one that locks your pictures up <laughs> under a password. <laughs> because, wow. <laughs> show me one picture. I always want to see one photo on your phone. 
I see one Just picture. one photo that will fucking back up why you need a password protection. Okay. Let me um, go to my uh, little vault. Don't show me anything I have to lie in court about. Uh, no, 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 no. It's nothing like that. Silly. You silly. Where do I have it? Oh, it's under photography. <laughs> and uh, then there's the You're vault. You're taking a course at a community college there's after the, the show? Yes. <laughs> oh, God. It just No, cancel. I don't want a fucking network. I hate when the network pops up. You want to use my network? Sam no. Robert's iPhone? God <laughs> damn it, you motherfucker. Okay. Eh, uh. eh, eh, eh. All right. We'll go there. And now we'll we'll scroll down a little. Hold on. Oh, jeez. What a degenerate I am. This is terrible. Oh, God. You're really winning this Android argument for people. <laughs> no, no. I'm looking I'm looking through my pictures. And they're just... There's a million photos of just little some, girls. No, they're not, you fucking asshole. What are they? Women? Yeah. Are they women or girls? Yeah, no, no. That's a, This is one of my favorites. Yeah. Right? I fucking hate my life. Isn't that great? <laughs> I fucking hate Isn't that my a life. a good one? What? Did you take that? What? Did you take that? that no, should no, be... that was sent to me, though. Oh. I was going to say, that should be the iPhone camera ad. Oh. ad. oh, it's fantastic. Did you notice that every FaceTime commercial for the iPhone is literally fucking it's someone's gonna show it their cunt on the thing it's just what i know it's just, i saw like a black guy and his son and it's showing the black guy was showing his new baby to his well, grandfather I, yeah i noticed that all the facetime uh ads on tv are all about sexual uh, they, no they're not sexual they're just about having kids it's like oh like finding out that you're gonna be a father on on facetime yeah because it's two separate like giving birth like oh gonna be a dad yeah yeah gonna be completely be a dad. different ones. yeah but and if you look at some of that? them though it's like the girls are, he's like come on just show me and she's like i can't and okay it's 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 the beginning starts out like just show me i want to see it and then the girl be like all right and then she opens her mouth and she has fucking braces but it's like uh, maybe man, it's just my right. creepy mind i that think is you're like, beautiful thank you daddy don't call me that <laughs> <laughs> you got another one you're gonna show me no, no. That's it? Show you that one. I was just looking at something. <laughs> I'll show you later. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> it's his own cock pics. <laughs> yeah, it's Jimmy's balls from earlier. I saved it. You can never bring your iPhone to Apple. Oh, no, no I'd have to. No, because they, they can, they'll can. they crack that fucking oh, code in two me. seconds. Oh, believe me, they'll fucking crack it. They'll look in it. They'll fucking post everything online. That SS, they'll go right into your SSH and fucking what? look at. What the at, fuck is that? That's when you uh, can hook your, your, you can hook your iPhone up to your uh, computer and literally go inside of your iPhone yeah. and see everything. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it brings up a screen. I need that. And you can move shit around. You can't fuck, unless you know what you're doing, you don't fuck with that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I've done it. And you, it, we have uh, the option. We have the option of SSHing. Oh, well, good, good for you. Yeah. I, I don't, well, you know something? After all said and done here, you haven't sold me on jailbreaking my phone because. Why don't you just try it and then unjailbreak it later? Don't want to fuck around with it. Oh. I am a regular iPhone. You know guy. what? You've actually convinced me to unjailbreak my phone. <laughs> There's nothing going <laughs> I'm on taking there. It off. There's nothing going on there that is so exciting that I need to. Uh, this is what happens with jailbreaking is you do it and you go ballistic on fucking free crazy apps and you buy them all and then a month later you're gonna be like, eh, fuck this. Yeah. Just, we're, yeah. we're both something gonna be back to it. Right or... It's just something to fill the hole of loneliness. When That's you're, all it you're is. alone on a train or you're driving somewhere. It's just it's it's like literally like a game. Jailbreaking I, your iPhone is like a, a new game where you can just fucking change your font. Instead of slide to turn on, it says fuck off. But you do that with your regular phone that isn't jailbroken either. I noticed yesterday, I spent the entire day taking my phone in and out of my pocket. Like the second you put your phone away, you're like, boop, it comes right back out of your pocket and you're just doing something else with it. Well, if you had the finger, the finger thing. You and your finger thing. Thanks. Look at pull it out like a rip, <laughs> like a rip cord. It's also the second breaks. option. I hope it breaks. That's the second option of the Bob Kelly finger ring. <laughs> it's not the Bob Kelly finger That's ring. That's the apparently it's the Nigerian <laughs> down the streets finger ring that he's selling. Oh. <laughs> um, all right, enough about your fucking jailbroken iPhones. I uh, I want to take some calls. Okay. I want to take some calls. Matt from Jersey has something very interesting to uh, to say. Uh, m m Matt? Yes. Hi, how are you today? I'm great. How are you? Great, great. 
Hey, so uh, to the thing where the cell phone takes pictures of the checks now and they can send it out for deposit. Yeah. A lot of yeah. banks have been doing that. It's called remote capture. So, like, if you go into a bank and uh, make a deposit, all those deposit slips and checks are scanned and then sent to Fidelity or whoever processes them. And, like, say, God forbid, if you see that a check didn't get deposited in your account, you go right to the branch and all of your checks are there and they can rerun it. Yeah, you're talking about the banks scanning stuff, not you taking a picture with your camera phone and, right, and but, fucking sending it. But it's the same thing. The banks are just taking Yeah, pictures. I know the banks have been scanning shit for years. I know, you're I doing get, it at your house now. I get a fucking uh, a statement, and it shows all of my checks scanned. I don't get my physical checks back. <laughs> They're all scanned. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, we're talking about apples, and you're talking oranges, Matt. <laughs> You could Good day! Good day! You know, you can deposit a check at the ATM now. <laughs> you know, you, you don't even need it the envelope anymore. you don't anymore. even need your, your phone, uh, your camera on your phone. You can just go to Best Buy. You can get a, they actually have cameras. They have like cameras. cameras, like 8 megapixels. Dude, awesome. when I went to the bank, I brought my passbook, and they don't even type the amount of deposit anymore in your passbook. All right, ancient banking guy. See, that's a caller that's just like, what is he saying? He, he said he had something to add about the scanning thing. And then you go to it, and it's that. I love that you hate them. Oh, I hate them. <laughs> it's once in a fucking thousand calls that I have any use for these motherfuckers. <laughs> well, phones are lit. I mean, I know, that's there's got to be it. a wealth of, of just interesting. Oh, God. God, there's got to be some. Somebody has something. All good. right, someone does. Uh, uh, how about we go to Mark in Philly? Mark in Philly. Mark, how are you? How's Philly? Philly's doing well today, Anthony. How are you and Bobby doing without Opie? Great, having fun, hanging out. What? Uh, what do you got? Question for Tech Talk with Bobby. I heard you can now use any service. Not just AT and T. If you jailbreak your phone, is that correct? That is correct, but you need a SIM card from that provider. So you can't use Verizon. So yeah. how can you put a SIM card in your fucking iPhone? You get a fucking Verizon SIM card. There's a SIM card in there. There's a yeah, SIM card so now. Yeah. So now hold 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 the phone though. <laughs> uh, you, you have to now open up your fucking iPhone. No, you just it's not that hard. Yeah, you just it's, pop it out. You pop the SIM card out. Oh. What the fuck? You can you, you can dismantle a fifty cal and put it back together in thirty seconds, <laughs> and you're worried about fucking taking an iPhone apart. Yeah, because the second you, you take push it apart, this, you push with it with a fucking a paper clip. Oh my god! Now you're shoving paper clips in holes on the phone, and it then comes what is, with what a paper it clip. I hope springs and tubes come out. <laughs> <laughs> you push in here, the yeah. SIM card comes out. You put the other SIM Where's card the in. Where's SIM card come out? It comes out right this little, little see that slot, that out. tray. It comes out. You, you can put the SIM card in, and. You can take, you can actually cut, Shit. you can cut a SIM card, uh, a regular Verizon big SIM card. These are mini SIMs, but you can get a Verizon big SIM card and you can, you can literally cut it in a certain way to make it a mini one and then stick that in and you can have Verizon on your phone. What? The fuck what? Look at you, hacker. What? Bob, what? Bob, you what? can't have Verizon, you can't have Verizon on your iPhone. Dude, they don't know that. Dude. Why don't it, you mind your not, business, you compatible. fucking bearded lesbian? It's not compatible. Yeah. Thanks, Trav Mark. Travis is right on that one. I know, he's right, right. on that. I was lying. You can get T-Mobile. T-Mobile, that's it. Yeah, you can use T-Mobile. T-Mobile. Or T-Mobile. you can use Rogers or Orange. <laughs> I don't Yeah, care. I want to get a Rogers Dude, phone. you can get Rogers or Orange. You can't get that in the U.S. unless you jailbreak. I used my jailbroken phone in Iraq. What? Yeah. What? Who are you calling? <laughs> I call. You were able to call here from Iraq with Fuck that yeah. phone. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. How come people don't fucking? Dude, I was in Afghanistan in the fucking middle of the battlefield. They do. <laughs> I've never heard one of those calls. Dude, yeah. Because <laughs> liar, liar, pants. They don't record flame. them, but they do it. <laughs> I don't. Well, yeah. Somebody would record a battlefield fucking phone call. Dude, nah. I have one They'd right here. On I have fucking, a... It'd be up on YouTube or Dude, something. I have a battlefield phone call in here from someone who called me. I'll play it for you right now. Jesus Christ, dude. Will you? Settle down. Hang on. Let me push the button. All right. The battlefield phone call. Here we go. Maybe they're busy battling. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. Hey, who's this? Dude, help me, man. I shut the fuck up. Wow, this is close combat. 
How old are you? How old are you? Dude. I just like the fact that as Bobby is doing that, he's holding the phone up to the microphone. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, to make it more it is visually radio. appealing. Sound is coming. Make it more visually appealing I'm not to trying us. to fool the fucking <laughs> listeners. I'm trying to fool you in the studio. It didn't really work. <laughs> if it doesn't work with you, dummy, it's not going to work with them. I, I, enough about your goddamn jailbroken iPhones. It didn't sell me. Fucking jailbreak That's it. That's all I want to say. Just jailbreak it. Just didn't sell me. If you go to the website, you'll want to do it. No, you won't. Uh, all all I know is um, you have a big, I want to keep it a little. Cock. I want to keep. <laughs> I want to keep it a little. I want to. I want to go a little local right now, uh, but with a national twist to it. Whoa! Yeah, 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 yeah. As we all know, uh, at the Meadowlands, they had the auditions for American Idol, and this year, wow. Exactly like last year, and the year before, and the year before that, and the year before that. I love how the news stations pick up on it and just play the same fucking stuff. People singing poorly online, uh, the crying people, uh, the people that you know will never get in. But uh, I saw some on the news this morning and had to, had to request some of this singing from American Idol. So here are some of the people, I guess, that were standing on line, and the news loves trolling the line for people and getting them to sing. So here are some people auditioning yesterday for American Idol. Uncertainty about who will be on this year's judging panel didn't seem to phase the thousands of American Idol hopefuls. They still want to be on that spot. show. Of course they do. Well, they lined up outside the IZOD Center forward. in the Meadowlands. For the New York area auditions, our Fox 5's Ann Craig checked out some of the talent. Visions of me with you on the time. Oh. Every time I close my eyes, every time I close my eyes, I see my name in shining light. Did you ever know that you're my hero? Oh, shut the fuck up. Oh. Oh. They make it, it's, but I, I've watched that clip since American Idol started. It's the same clip. They grab people that can't sing and make them sing. That's and funny. it's just is it supposed to be funny? Yeah. And it's these these people that think they do they think they have a chance. They do. It's it's infuriating to watch. And I'm tired of it. I'm sick of the song. Ba -dam, ba -dam, ba -dam, ba -dam, ba -dam. I'm sick of fucking Seacrest. I could give a shit who they get to replace a uh, uh, the, the Simon might be uh, Steven Alan, Tyler. Ellen's Who gone cares? too. And Ellen's Cara leaving. Martin. All of them are gone. Except Here. no, Randy Jackson's staying. Oh, thank God. The dog. Dog. Dog pound in the house. <laughs> uh, by the way, Ellen is leaving, and and what they said is because she doesn't have it in her to criticize people and be mean to people and criticize their their shortcomings about uh, so their their singing and performing. When the, the truth of the matter is, the ratings dropped. She wasn't fucking pulling him in, and she's gone. She was horrible. It's like, yeah. She was horrible on that show. And I, I only saw clips. I like how they had to... I refuse to watch the show anymore. I, I mean, like it's they, had, they had to cover her neck. Like, after the first <laughs> episode, they just... They had Is to, she getting, like, the... She had a, They put a scarf around her. They started yeah. covering it up because it was on, on HD, her neck. She yeah. has a fucking 90-year-old woman neck. You know what happens? And this is why. When you're eating pussy, it stretches <laughs> your neck. Think of how bad your neck feels the next day. You ever eat pussy for like fucking like an hour? Uh, no. And, and no. <laughs> no, fuck them. <laughs> no, I've never done that. I'll, like, I I'll take a couple swipes and then I stick my cock in their mouth. You need a couple of swipes. <laughs> you need you need a neck brace the next day, but it'll stretch the skin out. So that's probably why she has that warbly turkey neck. You've never eaten pussy for that long? No, I've, I, I like, look, I, I hated eating pussy when I first started. It was fucking, It's an you acquired know, taste, like you a know fine me. fucking brandy. Oh my God, it was terrible. And yeah. then I finally got into eating pussy mm -hmm. 
uh, I started getting into liking eating pussy because I found, I didn't even know about the clitoris. I was just eating the like licking the hole, just the big. You know what I mean? My tongue, my chin was in it. I didn't know how to eat pussy. My whole face, my nose was on the clitoris, and my tongue. I'm trying to get inside and find her G spot with my tongue. Wow. Yeah. yeah I was just a mess. There's no one to really teach you that, is there? Well, yeah, actually, Jimmy Norton oh. fucking gave me a couple great tips. It got to the point where you were old enough where you knew Jimmy at the time? Well, no, I already I learned how to eat pussy before that, but Jimmy gave me some great... Jimmy's fucking... Got this little <laughs> tongue thing. He told me about this disgusting. little tongue thing that he does. Yeah. And it fucking works. Yeah, you have to, because you know, I, I, you know, the fucking clit is this crazy, crazy fucking nugget <laughs> that's on a chick's <laughs> pussy. That, and they're all different clits. I mean, some girls like the left side of their clit rubbed, and yeah, some yeah, girls it, like it, it hard. Some girls, you have to be very, like, you can't go from one clit to another clit and just use the same technique. You have to. You know, I you have to adjust. And you have adapt. to adjust, yeah. But yes. Jimmy had this little thing that works pretty much across the board. Of it's like a skeleton key for clips. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he <has> where to... <laughs> you kind of bury your nose on the bone, the the fucking twat bone, whatever that bone is. <laughs> the pubis. Yeah, the pubis. The where, pubis bone. Where, where the bush fat lies. Right, right, exactly. And then you uh, get the clip. And, and it doesn't hurt your jaw because that was my thing. Is I would I would take such big swipes, <laughs> like I was a fat kid eating ice cream, <laughs> and then I you know. But it's it, it, this actually saved my jaw muscle from going. You don't have to use your jaw. You know, it's more. Yeah. It's the tongue. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you just swipe it really soft and gentle, and then and then I always go sideways. I'll go up and down, and then I'll go. Don't break sideways. You can't break the rhythm though when they're ready. To blast yeah, off. I can't break Don't the rhythm break or the look rhythm. at him. <laughs> <laughs> or speak. <laughs> yeah, because if you, if you break the rhythm, uh, that, that fucks them up. Yeah. If they're ready to let loose, you got to keep the, 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 the little... you got to keep that going. Yeah. Because if didn't you know start that. going swirly, swirly, round and round mm. after going the back and forth... Right when she's ready to go, it'll be like, ah, oh, why'd you do that? Yeah, it's like most chicks. They need a constant rhythm. Suck at jerking off. Like they, fu it's very rare you why get a chick is that because you have to you have to be looking down at a cock and coming from this angle to be able to get a fucking good. And they don't understand that you you have to have you have to take that skin and you have to go over the helmet and back down the helmet. You can't, like, most girls would just jerk your shaft off, like, that you fucking, the base of your cock is, it, that does nothing. The helmet is where you get the the jismotic fluid action pumping, and you gotta, you gotta... It's like asparagus. The the tip is always better than the base. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, I, there should be a course on jerking off. I wish chicks would just learn how to jerk off. Like, I like when you get a blowjob and they do the, the twist, the two-handed twist. Oh, two-handy twisty. And uh, they go over the helmet. They kind of yeah, just yeah, come yeah, off yeah. the cock. But, and, but a straight handy. Um, it just suck. Very rare that you find uh, somebody that can... Give you the straight handy. Now it's either too hard yeah. or they don't go up over the helmet. Oh, I see a suitcase coming in. Oh, look who's here. It's Jimmy Norton. He's home. Doom to do. <laughs> Jimmy's here. Are you sleepy and cranky? Really? Oh no. <laughs> You're cranky? We were just talking about how um how you, you pretty much taught Bobby Kelly how to eat. No, pussy. no, no, no. Wait a second. He gave me good pointers. He advanced me to the. I'm. I was a purple belt. He he made me a brown belt. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. so you look ass too? Is that what that means? <laughs> a brown. I'm not tongue. a black belt. <laughs> I'm not a black belt with no. three brown stripes on it. Looks like a wallet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we'll call it belt to you, right? Oh, oh fuck. Jesus. We fuck. get insta chip. <laughs> oh, fuck. The show instantly gets better. <laughs> Jimmy, uh, why? What happened? Why are you? I'm cranky? just tired from flying. And oh. The plane was an hour late. It was an tired. hour. late. Late? Yeah, I should have been here a while. I want to read your tweets. Oh, that's terrible. There was nothing about the plane. No? With the fat pig that stepped on my foot getting <laughs> off the plane. Well, what happened? Big fat lady stepped on my foot with a flat ass. Trying to get her, uh, her little carry-on No, out. just she's... lumbering like a fucking fat ox. I hope she's dead. I hope she's in the airport dead. <laughs> that's the fun. All fat chicks do have... Why, do they... Why does the fat not go into their ass? 
It's just a fat oh, hips flat and just a flat, flat ass is one of the worst asses That's her. ever. It goes from oh, you got oh. a picture. It goes from the knee to the <laughs> fucking bra. She took a picture of her ass and she's wearing the definitive mom jeans. Yeah. Huh. Like those are the mom jeans where the ass is just flat non-existent. Oh, what a horrid I ass. know, you see her, her fucking side blubber, too? She's enraging. Yeah. She's enraging. Oh, well, yeah, look at this fucking, side look, fucking look, fat. Look at this fatso I had to sit next to on a fucking Embraer. Oh, look God, at that. That's, that's my bad. arm under his fat arm. Ugh. Ew. Look at that fucking mess. How annoying is that? What? Just don't fly. I believe he probably has a picture of you, too. <laughs> He's showing someone right now. But the funny thing is, I was trying to take the picture when Fatso was sleeping, and I had the flash and oh. the sound on. So I just, boom, <laughs> this guy went. He actually shook. He was like, "What the fuck was that?" Oh, shit. <laughs> so how were the uh, gigs? They were good. I just did something with David Tell for his show on Showtime. Ooh. We watch porn and talk about it. Um, yeah, yeah, we did. That the, sounds cool. It was good. Yeah, we did the tribute fun. to Seika. Dave's good. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Tribute to Seika. Yeah, she was lovely. In her day, she was uh, yeah. quite the quite the porn star. A little star. older now. She came out. She was there. A little yeah. older. Yeah, but she's still she has big fat tits. Yeah. Let's just suck them. Would you really, though? Yeah, I really would. <laughs> yeah. Just to do it. <laughs> just to, just do, to it. do it. Just to say I did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice. Just to suck her tits. Hey, Jimmy, nice. you taught me how to... I was telling him that you, you advanced my pussy eating techniques with that little... Oh, the tongue, yeah. What, how does it... How, yeah. That's it. How did you do it? I went. No, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. But I didn't. I didn't. You add the, the flick. See, I, Bob, what Bob would do is flop his tongue up and down, like told, paint the fence, but quicker. Yeah. Yeah. And what you got to do is kind of line it up under your tongue, so it's kind of like darts back and forth on the. Yeah, clutch. yeah, yeah. You need a little. Uh, yeah, I told him. I used to. I used to gentle. lick the big hole instead of the little one. That's I used to put crazy. my face in the pussy. And just, yeah. uh, and then my tongue would go in, uh, like a Saint Bernard drinking water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the giant nasty tongue just come up, away. Come up with a pool of green fucking <laughs> mooky stuff on my tongue and have to spit it out Jesus, every swipe. Bob. <laughs> it's horrible. Yeah. Who, are you, who are you with? Who has green shit in I their know. pussy? That's <laughs> really bad. Go visit the emergency room. No, maybe a cow is chewing grass and spitting in her box. <laughs> I'm tired, <laughs> dude. Fucking, I've been sucking. I never. I'm fucking wake up at six. This Ooh. is fucking unheard of. Have you been bombing all day? No, I'm not bombing. I'm just uh. fucking mediocre. Yesterday's show was so funny. I heard it was great. Oh my oh, god, blast, uh... I was fucking laughing. Well, we were talking about Lady Gaga and her uh, bullshit down there in Arizona oh, uh, that whole you know thing and Patrice Patrice just uh, you can't even describe what he was he, doing he was fucking doing the song but just making it but he was doing this thing this weird thing he was doing an intro to the song he was going bop bop scum doom doom bop scum gap 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 it was fucking ridiculous it was fucking the funniest thing i've ever really heard fucking funny man ah uh, fucking for a half hour they were doing this shit yeah DeRo uh. and the rosa was great too oh was he good we a, yeah we had a really good yeah, time rosa was funny and uh no this morning we've just been bullshitting about everything stupid fucking jailbroken iphone and yeah uh prostitution talked a little bit about uh uh massages and oh, yeah. uh, and the backwards milking uh, technique. <laughs> oh, you yeah. know when they yeah, like, it's, like it's an animal's tail and she's yeah. pulling on it. Yeah. You know the Asian when they go on, at the end they'll kind of reach under and you bring your you bring your butt up a little bit. But I usually get on all fours and arch my back like I'm about to take it in the ass. And I did it one time and I actually hurt my back. I pulled a muscle <laughs> in my back trying to get her to finger. At a, at a massage, he pulled the muscle. In his back. <laughs> I walked out just limping. That's wonderful. With a wet spot on my jeans. You try to make noise like when they're when they're going. Oh, there's a little video of it. That's yeah, nice. yeah, it's yeah, like that's happy typing right. girl. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a <laughs> nice milking that is. Isn't that great? God, that looks like it's fucking fun to do. Oh. Lucky girl. What, which... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, what the, a plain the Jane this one is. She's actually a close-up. She doesn't look like happy typing. Yeah, that's what I was saying Like uh, earlier when we were watching this. <laughs> I was like, yeah, she's kind of just the plain girl. Yeah. Knows how to give a fucking good handy. She should yeah. be having fucking pig's blood dumped on her. <laughs> <laughs> As she's the queen. Yeah, yes. fucking witch queen hands. of the prom. Uh, yeah, we're watching that, but uh, girls apparently don't give good handies. No. It's uh, like you can make yourself fucking get yourself off in two seconds if you need to by jacking, but girls just can't get that rhythm down, I guess. 
the stroke isn't right. It's like a fucking car with the when you shut it off and it keeps running. Yeah. <laughs> They can, just can't get the stroke going. Yeah, they got fucking eight rings on from Spencer's gifts. <laughs> fucking shredding your cock. <laughs> yeah, take the rings off. You don't need that pinch. They go really fast, and then they shift hands. It's like you were just starting to get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, it's it's a job. It's yeah. fucking, it, it's, it's a hand job. And uh, you really got to work. You got to put some elbow grease into it. You can't stop. But it's amazing how I you advance yourself. Like, I remember I used to have to jerk off with Vaseline or... All the, now well, I you get, wanted to more so than just the dry jack, but uh, but you could do the dry jack too, like right from the beginning, right? Oh um, no 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 not on myself. You can't dry jack. Well, I'm, well on who then? <laughs> <laughs> who were you? <laughs> kidding. <laughs> Fucking both of you guys didn't pick up. No, literal Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> I, I dry jack. Now I can fucking jerk off. With, I two fingers and my thumb. I can literally just two yeah. seconds and I'm done. Done. Yeah. But I have to. I still have to lock my legs. You know, it's like when I'm standing up. But yeah, what is it with leg and ass muscles that are know. essential with jerking off? I, I think it I, it I focuses it, no. you at the just when you need that <laughs> yeah, in your body. I you just tense up so you fucking you focus in on one thing. Christ's <laughs> legs were more relaxed during the crucifixion <laughs> than mine when I'm fucking shooting. <laughs> Oh, uh, my 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 girl always giggle because she knows I'm about to come. Because my body just just becomes Doesn't that wood. just take it right out of it though. You don't want to hear a giggle. No, yeah, no, I'm used to it. No, I hear giggles. I I, I don't know. I, I don't give a fuck. About I don't a need giggle. that. Like there's sometimes it's like. Could, Have you seen my cock? <laughs> no, <laughs> thank God. I've heard. <laughs> really. No, I, I haven't. I saw Jimmy's uh, balls, though. Uh, the, what a great Oh, you got the photo? What a great photo you sent me. Thank you. Holy shit. Just this fucking nutsack hanging down. <laughs> yeah, my bag looked good. <laughs> my bag is normally very small and tight and wasp nest-ish. It must have been warm because yeah, it was uh, very nest. taffy-like. That, that was my L.A. bag. <laughs> <laughs> my New York bag is decidedly smaller. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, well, Jimmy's here. Uh, we got Otto showing up wow. at, I guess, uh, well, 8.30? Yes. 8.30 or so? All right. We'll take a little breakage. Get some more phone calls, breakage. hopefully? And, oh, yeah, yeah, the call because they've just offered so much today. Have they been awful, the callers? Every one of them has <laughs> oh. sucked. <laughs> they offered nothing? <laughs> did, you just, did you just show them your bag? I yeah. Know, you know what, though? From a, from a glance, it looked like a pussy. From like yeah, the side, first, well, I thought when it was I a first pulled it up. I was like, oh, oh, and then I saw it was his bag. Oh, I didn't. I th look at this. I didn't mean to hit the fucking. Uh, this Three. is video. I didn't mean to hit video. Hold on, just look at how awful my face is. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> I, what is it? Wait, wait, hold on. He's got video, accidental video of him taking a picture of his nuts. Yeah, it's video. <laughs> See, look, look at how awful my fucking face looks. Like oh, you oh, you're... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, you look like a killer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking funny. You want to you want to pixelate your uh, pixelate your pud and uh, post that. That is hysterical. Your face looks really disturbing. I was trying to take a photo of my bag, and I just hit the wrong button. It's so intense. <laughs> I wasn't in a bad mood. I just I laughed about it later. <laughs> That's fucking great. Yeah. You look creepy. <laughs> who called so far? That was awful. Oh, whoever from whoever, <laughs> wherever. It's just reiterating what had already been said. I love that one. Yeah, Bobby was talking about the jailbreaking the phone. You know, I did that too, and it, it's cool. Thanks. Uh, I'm unjailbreaking my phone right now. Are you really? Fuck it, yeah. Why are you not Why? jailbreaking it? It's illegal now. It's fine. I'm unjailbreaking it. Why? Why? You're not answering why. I just want to go against Sam. You're just going to jailbreak it again when you get home. You know you're gonna just jailbreak it again. I just unjailbroke. How do you unjailbreak it? You, can't. you didn't. You gotta plug it into your computer and restore from a backup. He's lying. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. I'm glad Jimmy's home. He's back. <laughs> He's back with a vengeance. It's a plane yes. fart. Um, good news is a few job openings in the beer factory. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> yeah. Wow. Ooh, he was a little angry. I, I didn't really. Um, I don't know. Uh, I, the family's response was a little uh, cold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're kind of just defending. So it was all racially motivated. The guy racially motivated. Yeah, this is a guy in Connecticut uh, worked at a beer distributor, went in there, 
shot up uh, how many people was it like eight, eight, eight or dead nine something like that uh, and himself yeah shot himself uh, you don't see black guys doing that very often that's usually a white guy crime no nah, that's usually a white guy uh but he said it was racial because uh he had been a victim of racism in the workplace but there have been no complaints the union never heard about it his supervisors never heard about it, it was never brought to him and the family is like well let's not you know, rush to judgment. Let's look and see what the whole situation was. Situation was your crazy fucking relative burst into a place and shot a bunch of people he worked with. They had video of him stealing beer. And when they showed him yeah, the video, yeah. told him to quit or be fired, that's when he opened, he picked him up. Yeah, uh, yeah. There was a complaint of theft against him. And they were going to, uh, yeah, fire him. And he came in and, and decided to shoot his supervisor and a bunch of other people. Uh, and the family just, you know, well, I heard there were things drawn on the walls and the, shut the fuck up. Exactly. You got a lunatic fucking uh, uh, thieving asshole relative who decides to uh, shoot up at his workplace. Always just make excuses. Shut up. Take responsibility. Fucker. We'll get into that next. After these words. And now, now, the Opie and Anthony show on the virus. Serious XM. Oh, we're rocking. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Ah. Yeah. Oh, heaven and hell. Holy shit. Sounds fucking good. Yeah, it's a, it's a new one. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Opie and Anthony show. Uh, Jimmy's here. Jimmy's back. Yes, I from am. His uh, travels. Yay! His world travels. We are also joined by Robert Kelly. Yes, the lovely Robert Kelly, who was. Uh, oh yes, uh, Kenny wants to say something. Well, speaking of traveling, Jim has to go somewhere tomorrow too. Oh, where is Jim going tomorrow? I'll be in Tampa tomorrow through Sunday. Tampa at the Improv. Through Sunday then I'm back at, for a while. At the Tampa Improv. Not Sunday, Saturday. I mean Saturday. Oh, God. oh he got mad at you. Yeah. He's tired. <laughs> that... He says the same thing about you. <laughs> I'm just tired. <laughs> uh, and uh, also joined by the wonderful Otto. Oh, thank you. Thank you. From the comedy team of Otto and George. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad you said that because yes. you know, a lot of people don't know who I am. Just some schmuck with a stupid name that brought uh, it in here. Otto. Yeah, it's, I it's, kept an auto in. It's good to be back on. Yeah. I only, I only seem to get called when, when somebody's sick lately. Yeah, fucking, really? Yeah. <laughs> like a fucking doctor. <laughs> yeah, they, they call me when fucking, fucking Aunt uh, Opie is, is out. <laughs> Find a lump on your sternum so I can have a career. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Holy oh, shit. Fuck. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, auto's in. Where, where are you going to be? Uh, got to plug in anything I got there? Some yeah, Got I some just, shows. Yeah, I, I just, I've been juicing lately, you know, using a juice extractor and the fucking bowel movements that are coming out of me, man. That's what I hear from people that use that thing. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's great, it's great. And then you just shit like yeah, fucking. I just turned 50, and, you know, and then you got to get a call. They tell me I got to get a colonoscopy and everything. I'm, you know, I'm going to bring a fucking opening act for that. I'm not going to go on first, you know. <laughs> the fucking guy that opens for me, I have a fucking camera up his ass first. <laughs> yeah, that, I hope it's given by Caligula. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Caligula. <laughs> Yeah, um, so uh, this juice thing, man, I got the fucking Antichrist coming out of me with uh, with these fucking carrot and spinach shits. I feel I'm eating better, but I feel like shit. I feel like I'm dying. Does it like? I feel great when I eat gyros and stay up till three in the morning. You start fucking taking drink care beer. yourself, and you fucking feel it's like crap. Fucking, it's not. When does the payoff come back? Yeah, when, when is it supposed to actually work? I and feel horrible. W when you juice stuff like that, it's it's. I don't think it's made to be fucking juiced. If you want to eat a carrot, eat fucking carrots. It's well, at yeah, least yeah, got some kind some of fiber to it to, push to this hold the shit together, or you're just going to be pissing out your asshole. Yeah. I'm enjoying you two commiserating on how carrots aren't healthy for you. No, uh. they're very healthy, but not in juice <laughs> form. See, the shit that you're eating, I don't know. I mean, maybe this. it's what good. I don't know. I think when you start making money, you think you want to live forever. You're going to fucking die anyway. <laughs> I'm not going right? to get to spend it all. <laughs> Just fuck it. Eat like shit. I, and, and the last show I did in my 40s was a fucking horrible bomb. I, I had to go out to the Montauk 
fucking yacht club to perform for super blue blood rich people like not people like you that earned what you have which you know congratulations <laughs> thank you I sir. salute you know <laughs> I salute yeah but these fucking people hated me. I was working in a, in a giant, like a circus tent, oh, shit. and they were serving you know, lox, lobster Newberg and these fucking rich little dogs that they champagne! had running around. Yeah. Champagne cocktails. We got the sensation bubbles. High in the Sierra there was Mountains. There's one Italian in the band. <laughs> that was no heart attack. All right, go to the planet. <laughs> 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 You know the idiot, guy, drunk fool. What a the, fool he was. The guy, the guy that played Willie Chigi, Joe Joe Spinell. Yeah, you know him. Uh, he was Cheech. great. He used to come to Dangerfields. I, I uh, he invited me to a screening of a movie he did years ago called I the Jury. Armand Desante was in it. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I smoked pot with him. He was great. Oh he, really? Yeah. He got discovered. Cheech. Yeah. He got discovered driving a taxi. And uh, the director, Sam Peckinpah, saw his fucking hack license and said, you look like a murderer. You should be They're making this gangster movie. You should try out for it. He got cast in The Godfather. You look like a murderer. Yeah. That's he great. never stopped working. He never took an acting lesson in his life. He got discovered from his hack license. Wow. So he, he tried out for The Godfather, got cast, worked the rest of his life. He was in every movie in the 70s. Yeah, all Rocky. the uh, yeah. gangster movies. Yeah, yeah he was, was in, Rocky. Yeah, he was amazing, yeah. He, he, yeah, Joe Spe his real name his, is Spagnoli. Because his hack license yeah. looked like a fucking killer. Yeah, he had these fucking. He, had, he made this movie called Maniac. That was really graphic. Yeah. Very graphic movie. Well, is, is Pesci it? No, no, it's a different one. Um, what was it? Maniac? Oh, no, but he's just this guy going around New York fucking raping and killing women and fucking scalping and ripping their fucking Jesus scalps Christ. off. It's one of the bloodiest movies ever. Sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> so, so anyway, these rich that. people hated me. I mean, I... How just, long into it did you know that it was going to be bad? <laughs> I, I, I had a bad feeling the whole time I was there. Trish is like, let's enjoy ourselves. There's all this free food. You know, I had Trish there with me and... And I, I go, look, I, I can't enjoy myself before a show. I, I, you know, until I get the first laugh, I feel like a fucking trespassing here, you know? <laughs> like someone's going to go know, throw well, you out. <laughs> you know, I mean, I've been, I've been killing for fucking 30 years in clubs. When is my, my confidence going to kick in, you know? <laughs> fucking, I'm reading this book about Charlie Chaplin, who was the most successful comedian ever and his mm -hmm. image is still known and he, you know he, he worked fucking uh, 90 years ago and he he had this this chronic fear that that one day he would wake up and just everything that the work would stop working and that he would just one day not be funny he had that fear his whole life after all that really? success yeah i mean the guy was making three million dollars a year in 1914 right and at that bucks. time you could you could buy a mansion for like 25 grand he was yeah. making and and he still didn't feel like, you know what I mean? Like it makes secure. sense though. It's just because it happened uh, that many years ago, comics are just fucking insecure people. Yeah, if yeah, you want to be I secure, you have to become a doctor. I'm just, I, I, don't, I, don't I know. haven't I met haven't. one that isn't really. It, I just, just haven't. Rife with fear. Yeah. Wait, did, you, uh, did you have an opening act? Oh, at that place? No. No, no, I had a, no, I had a DJ, too. A DJ. Oh, it's great. Uh, and the, hostility, the hostility in me was building. And by the time I went up there, I was like, um, there was some fat fuck that had like a fucking hey, $25 hey, hey, million hey. Dollar yacht. Yes, I was, yeah, like, I was uh, borrowing uh, it. Yeah. Uh. I sailed the seas. <laughs> I, I was screaming at them about fucking two for one fillet of fish at McDonald's, you fucking rich cunts. Oh, I go shit. take your fucking pocket rat dogs and kick them in the fucking ocean. Uh, oh, I was, I was wishing fucking blood diseases on. Was, was that like, your opening that, line? That, that I'm supposed to be doing like, a, like entertaining them, you know? Yeah, they probably like, thought, oh, a cute oh, puppet. Jesus. Act. Otto sent me a very funny uh, raging bull text. Hold on, I, I think I still have it, um, but I got such a kick out of it. I was so, so depressing because it was the last show of my. That decade right, that just right. ended for me, it was oh. fucking, oh, it was awful. Wait, how, 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 you, how you doing? This is the text oh, I got from Otto. 11.37 p.m. Just did a yacht club where they all hated me and all that other bullshit. <laughs> all that other yeah. bullshit. And he spelled yacht. Uh, y a g h t. Is that, is that not right? Of course it's not right. No. I wouldn't have pointed it out if it was right. Fuck. What do you think I was congratulating you? I was educated in Staten Island. 
<laughs> I went to parochial school. <laughs> That's great. Hey, now wait a minute. Um, <laughs> did anybody see that uh, um, the uh, was Shatner interview with Bernard Getz that was on yesterday? No, nah, I didn't see He's that got a one. new show where he's interviewing all these fucking people that went through Ireland. Yeah, Shatner yeah, all of a sudden is the fucking guy to go to go to interview guy. Oh, uh, it's so great. By the way, uh, you, he, had, you had him as a guest, right? Insane. Yeah, uh, he's yeah. fucking nuts. He's the best. Yeah, we we did had him in and. Uh, he he apparently it was uh, gonna run for mayor in New York and, yeah. and he he had a pet squirrel and it ran away oh, and he's yeah, talking about vegetarianism thing. and how that is the key to, yeah. to uh, non violence. That's exactly what he said on the, on the Shatner thing. Meanwhile, Hitler was a vegetarian. He was, <laughs> yeah. Really? And it's like, oh, a vegetarians are very docile oh, and very non violent. Every and, uh, one of those guys that he shot later like, uh, like committed more and more of felonies. Course they except did. the one in the wheelchair because yeah, he, he, he couldn't he, rape anybody. Really. <laughs> but, he couldn't. Rape yeah, oh, uh, Daryl Kaby. Yeah, yeah. Just he, fucking they, hang his dick out and roll into yeah, bitches. <laughs> I know. They 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 asked him for five bucks. He shot all four of them, and then they then the guy sues him for forty million dollars, yeah. which is pretty stupid. Because when you ask him for five, he shoots you. <laughs> so now it's fucking up for forty million. Stupid fucking. I monkey. like. I like. <laughs> I like that he turned around and said, "Oh, you don't look that bad." Yeah, that's what and, got him in trouble. Shot him that's again. what got him in trouble. They were all lying there. He goes, you, "He goes, you still look okay," and then shot him again. Yeah, yeah. He goes, "Now you were starting to enjoy it. You, you were, we were no longer threatened at that point." Yeah, you yeah. The guy wasn't going to do anything. And then at they that point, immediately yeah. churned out another Death Wish. If, if you ever check out Death Wish Three, it's so fucking bad and slapped together. Because they, they go, Based we got to get a that, Death Wish out immediately. Because that, that was like a hot topic. The Subway Vigilante. Oh, yeah, Death Wish 3 is him, the yeah. worst and greatest movie ever made. Because Bronson was like, I didn't he didn't want to do it because his wife had cancer at the time. Jill Ireland, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, Jill Ireland was dying. And they go, look, we got, they go, we're going to do it with fucking James Colburn. They go, look, <laughs> we'll, we'll shoot it in five days. Just, you know, come to New York. We'll give you <laughs> 10 million bucks. And you got to see it. It's just... This, it's just they show the streets of New York are just running wild with savages. It, it makes no sense. It's I mean, just it makes no fucking now. sense. Great. I, and he, I, I he gets have this it. I don't gun. Remember it. He gets this gun. It's a, it's an it's called an auto mag. It's like it's a dirty Harry Magnum, but it's an automatic that has a clip that's like this big, <laughs> and he's just fucking blowing gigantic Bro, holes in people. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's great. Hey, that's my car. It's it's just a fucking great. Get away movie. from her. It's just a. And, and and there's all these like nice Jewish couples living in this building and fucking and like why don't they move? It's like it makes no <laughs> sense. Savage. Yeah. The first one was great uh, with the fucking that roving gang of the idiots. The first death wish is great because he it's he, he goes through a metamorphosis. He's, a, he's yeah, not yeah. a violent guy in the beginning. He vomits the first time he, he has a, an encounter when he hits the guy with the quarters. Yep. He becomes a violent person and he he's going look I'm 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 just going to shoot every scumbag I see and and hopefully I'll get the guys that killed my family yeah you know and in every other death wish after that there's like five five bad guys attack him he hunts him down and kills him so it's just a revenge piece but the original death wish yeah, yeah. he never encounters the guys that you know raped his family jeff goldblum no, he, never gets jeff goldblum. he just shoots anybody at, cunt. yeah oh yeah that's good <laughs> was that the one where they they raped the uh wife they they oh, kill they, the wife oh, no, they, no, they, no, no, no. the daughter beat the wife to death with a blackjack and a the kicker with a fucking yeah. heavy bullet. And then they the spray they... paint the girl's ass yeah. with red paint. Yeah. It, was it was a, a very, hot scene. <laughs> very violent scene. But very it was, disturbing. It was really sexy too. Like no, Danny yeah, Death, Death Wish Three is fucking. Death Wish Three. It's so funny if you watch that. He's just annoyed being there. Oh yeah. Charles Brunson, I'm annoyed. They slapped that together because I that was right after the Bernard Getz case happened. That was a huge story. <laughs> well, go, what road are they on there? He, he's that's the Helix. Like the Gowanus he, or something. I'm going to the Port Authority. Oh, yeah. yeah. Could be. I got that smell of urine. <laughs> <laughs> I have to shoot somebody. Yeah, it's fucking funny I as dig. shit. I dig to get out. I yeah. dig. Yeah. Death, Death Wish 3. Death Wish he, 3, it's, it's when he has carpeting installed and they don't cut it right. <laughs> he goes out and blows their fucking heads yes, off. Yes, he, he kills the tacker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bronson was great though. He was underrated. He just he would take any any movie for a million bucks. Give yeah. me a million. Give Jill three hundred thousand. We're, we're there. He didn't. I don't think he read scripts. You know. He was yeah. great. He was good. And what was the one where the fucking guy with the best ass in movie history is running down the street? Warren. Oh. He's killing people naked. Oh yeah. Oh, Checking off. Use ten, this ten foot. to midnight. Ten to midnight. Checking off. 
But in the six, he was in every was movie yeah. in the sixties, every important film, The Great Escape. Great Escape was yeah, great movie. Uh, like Magnificent that. Seven, yeah. Battle of the Bulge, Once oh. Upon you know, uh, Once Roots. Upon a Time in the West. It was fucking Bronson was good. <laughs> Roots. Once Upon a Time in the West, he was harmonica, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that was, was East, oh, they wanted Eastwood for that. That was very the first good. spaghetti, very good. first very spaghetti good. western, right? No, well, no, no, it was it was supposed to be Eastwood, but he got tired of it by then. It was the two facts. It wasn't the first spaghetti western. That was what you were eating when you watched it. <laughs> That's the one where <laughs> that was the one where uh, Fonda was a bad guy. Yeah, that was, was right. Right. He shot a kid. Right? Yeah, he goes. Well, now that you told him my name. He they shot a fucking nine-year-old kid. Oh, yeah, he was a nine-year-old ginger in the first fucking scene. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah, yeah it's vicious. But, yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, I'm fucking Henry Fonda. Once Upon a Time in the West? Yeah. Great was that before, like, Fistful of Dollars, Good, no, the Bad, and the Ugly? After, was, right, that, after, was Spaghetti Westerns. It was, after once, it was after Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, so you had the best budget. They said it was actually the best of, of the um, Leone movies. It was. But uh, Eastwood, by then, was like, uh, I, that's it, I'm, I gotta do a Hollywood film. He, he couldn't stand it anymore. Yeah, he had to go guy, hang around with fucking orangutan. Tangs. Yeah, <laughs> like an asshole. Yeah, that was the second highest grossing movie of that year. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about another movie. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I, any um, which way but loose you were talking about. Yeah, oh, yeah, right. okay. yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But anyway, about rich, like I, I just don't think rich people need comedy. It's a blue, you know, blue collar. You know, the people that came through the virus tours were like, you know, working. Yeah. Cla they, they, those are the people that need comedy. Rich people don't need com I don't. They understand. don't need laughter. They have a wonderful life. They wake up laughing. And they, these aren't people that <laughs> earned the it. They, the bank. they were too young to have earned it themselves. Uh, they, they, these people, yeah. they fucking inherited it. it. It angers me. You know. I mean, I, I know Jim's parents. It, they're fucking working class people. Jim, Jim's uh, is fucking whatever he has, he earned, and he fucking he deserves it. When know? I was growing up, if I wanted toys, my mother had to sell her pussy. <laughs> 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 What's your toy? <laughs> I, I, know I know both of Jim's parents are very, Terrible. very wonderful people. <laughs> I liked it. Um, hey, what was the? What was your? Do you remember what your opening joke was? I uh, um. Was it this one you've used before, or was it just like did you try something off the? No, nah, I did something. Like it's not. It's nice to play a room that you could land, you know, land a helicopter and something about it being too right. big. You know, comedy clubs should be with a low ceiling. Yeah, I don't want to tell what did the opening the line get. What did, did it get any kind of laugh? They were all sitting back. They were all fucking stuffed from crab legs and prime rib and an open bar for fucking 10 hours. <laughs> oh, fucking shit. all sunbaked and fucking rich. Oh, I want <laughs> sunbaked uh, and rich. Every detail of the story makes me happy. Uh, it sounds so fun. And the richest guy there, you know, you know that scene Scarface when he's going to the fat guy in the yeah. nightclub? He goes, he's got more cash than anybody in there. He's a real hossa. So the, <laughs> the guy who hired me, he goes, that guy there, he goes, He's got the fucking thirty-five million dollar yacht out there, You're like a James Bond villain, you know. And I, just, <laughs> yeah, and just all fat with a big Hawaiian shirt. It's like, so what? It's fucking gonna. He's a fucking heart attack waiting to happen. <laughs> I wanted to just fucking gut him like the fucking shark in Jaws. I had so much rage in me. How much time did you do? Wow. How much time were you supposed you to do? do? How much time? I don't, I don't really know how much time I did, but but their demeanors were a lot different afterwards. Oh, really? Yeah. Before before the thing, it was like, oh, can we get you to do it? It's so wonderful. Day. Oh, yeah, we're big on a fans. And then after the show, they just gave me the check and couldn't even look what at me. What the fuck is wrong with them? Do they know it, look, you? I, 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 I know bomb. I know when I don't give a good performance. I know when it's my fault. This was an inappropriate booking. Yeah, why the yeah, fuck why do you need a comedian? And why do you put me on after they eat? You know, yeah, what, yeah. what is it? They're Jews. They're not going to leave until they get their sponge cake. <laughs> put, you know, put me on when they're still hungry and lean. They're fat, fucking, overfed, rich cunts. I fucking hate them. <laughs> do you yeah, know, you know, I couldn't wait to get back to a fucking shitty bar gig, which is my... Pretty much my entire career, and just perform for real people. You know oh, that, that, that you know that that no, I I, I could have beat the shit out of ninety percent of the guys <laughs> there, and I'm a small guy with 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 almost no fighting experience. You know, but I they were gone. just those. I had so much rage, blood, I could have fucking I could have killed them. Long Island, East End of Long Island, just motherfuckers. The they, just the way they wouldn't even give me, you know, fucking uh, a fake laugh or anything. You know, just I just 
Just humor me, mother. It was a horrible drive out there, man. Uh, it takes yeah. forever. Oh, to leave Midtown to go to fucking Montauk on a Friday was the a highway fucking stops. Oh, At one God. point, the highway just ends, and you're on uh, like a fucking windy road. We crawled the Long Island Expressway the entire way, and then you got to get on this fucking other shitty road where they sell, you know, vegetables and shit on the side of the yeah, road yeah. where everybody's fucking taking their time. It turns into Pennsylvania. If I didn't have, if I didn't have to perform Long there, really yeah. Does. If I didn't have to perform form that night it would have been a wonderful wonderful time it was, it was a beautiful place you know the staff was really cold and you know but uh boy i feel like a fucking circus monkey <laughs> i was really depressed i mean physically depressed yeah for about four days after that i was wow. really i was really like not suicidal but i just i couldn't snap I out of it not. jesus I, I, how long after that was your 50th th this um like just a couple of days after that after so you but, had that on top I, of it. I, I mean, how, how I, made more, I made more out of it than I should have. I, you know, everybody's going, hey, man, you, you kill all the time. So what? You bomb. But it's like, ah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I did all this stuff. That, <laughs> shit, all that all this stuff fucked, that usually man. cheers me up, like going for a walk or just playing with my dog or putting on a movie like the, that makes me laugh all the time, like Big Lebowski. Nothing worked. Nothing wow. fucking could cheer me up. And it was the sun was shining. I go get some sun. That'll cheer you up. I was just fucking. It was in a funk, man. Jesus. You think it was the combo of like of fifty? Because how, how'd you deal with that? Were you freaking out a little bit? Oh, about the well, the, the get no. It's like you know, I outlived JFK by 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 uh, by um four, what was he forty five four years, you know. So and a brain. And I was yeah. Thinking, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's true. Although he did better in Dallas than you did in Montauk. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. But that, that wasn't, uh, was not wasn't good. freaking you out or anything? The, uh, the 50 wasn't. No, no, it's yeah. no, it's good. You know, I mean, I, I lost like I lost a lot of friends that didn't even make it to like 40. Yeah. You know, and I was the one that everybody thought would die because of my drug problem and shit. And why? And and uh, and this guy, this guy Ray Garvey, who you knew, yeah, right? Yeah, sure, man. Ray Garvey could snap anybody in half. He was a fucking powerful guy. That's cop. He died of cancer. That mm -hmm. fucking that scared the shit out of me. If this guy could die, that means I, that means anybody could. This guy was fucking. He was powerful. strong, wasn't he? He was a powerful fuck. Man. Really? He 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 gave me a pat on the back once. I I thought I had to go to the emergency room. It's good to see oh, you. Yeah, it's good to see you. Around. <laughs> yeah, Garvey, rest in peace. He was a fucking funny guy, man. He used to. <clears throat> We used to go bar hopping in Brooklyn, and he would fucking make, he would go, he would run the light, and I go, what are you doing? I got the badge. He was a cop at the time. <laughs> I got the badge. I go, you're yeah. running a red light. What if we get hit by a cement truck? What's the badge going to do? Is that going to get you out of a wheelchair? I go, you're out of control, man. I got the badge. I'm on a job. You uh, drive like a fucking old lady. And then he used to shoot canned hams behind Pips and Sheepshead Bay <laughs> with cars going by. Uh, cars going by, boom! Yeah, I got a fucking... bitch. Yeah, he was a fucking sick oh, fuck. Oh, that's hysterical. He I was love great, though. That. He was in a lot, bunch of Woody Allen movies and shit. Oh, yeah. Right, Woody yeah. liked him. Woody liked him a lot. Oh, shit. But uh, Ray, Ray was a pisser. He had stomach cancer. The worst kind. Yeah. Fucking, he, he suffered badly. Yeah. Didn't they find it late, though? Like, he wasn't, like, I don't think he was a doctor kind of guy. I think they found it when he was, like, stage three or four. Like, he was in bad shape think, when they I found it. I think when he got the job at the Borgata, I think that's when he got sick. Because he was probably fucking eating steak, like, like five times a day and shit. Raw red meat. He told me meat. he never ate uh, fruits or vegetables his, his entire life. His, his, you know, he just, just fucking meat in his colon. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, the last thing they did to try and point. fix him was they actually cut him open and poured fucking, what is that stuff? Key, um, Drano? Not Drano. Fucking not chemotherapy. Or oh, what yeah, yeah. The, the chemo Radiation stuff. shit. Really? They poured it right onto the, it was like the last resort. Oh, my man. Yeah. But he, he fucking, was awake for that? Well, yeah, I, I don't know if he was awake for it. Torture yeah. that. No, but yeah, they could numb you. <laughs> yeah, they numb you. They cutting <laughs> open your stomach still, and pouring still radiation. Has, yeah. He still has it. his fucking jeans yeah. and sneakers on. I and guess pouring that's radiation. a local, like the dentist. <laughs> yeah. No, but I'm saying <laughs> Edward Kennedy. Just... Edward, Edward Kennedy was awake when they drilled into his head. Really? Yeah, they, Ted Kennedy. I'm sorry. For yeah. some, wow. for some uh, brain operations, you have to be awake for it because they they ask you questions. They numb your fucking. Was that the way? Were they pouring shit in your brain? Why did they? Why did they have to see if you? They have to make sure they're not. 
affecting your motor functions. Yeah, or sometimes it's to see if you are affecting a certain thing that's like, if you have a tremor or something like that uh -huh. and they want to calm it down, they poke at your fucking brain uh -huh. with some shit until it stops, and then they just bam, zap that part of your fucking brain. Sick shit. Who does fucking that? Fucking archaic. Brain surgeons. Oh, <laughs> I guess. I hope. They don't know. Uh, the, the guy down at fucking Jiffy Lube. <laughs> they fucking drill a hole. In. But apparently, your, your brain doesn't have. Doctors are very overrated, man. They don't know what the fuck. They don't even. You want to even know what, they what, do. What, what, what the uh, common cold? They don't know how the how how the n central nervous system works. Did we're, no. we're tinker toys to them. They you know they know how to yeah. stitch an arm. If you get an arm cut off, they can do that. They're they're kind of like mechanics. They don't know. They don't give a. And the other thing is, they don't really care about you. You know what? If, what if Saturday Night Live is on and you're screaming for morphine in the next room and they want to see, you know, their favorite host? They don't give a fuck. Yeah, they're gonna. They don't they're, love you. They'll wait. Yeah, get they're the, not as soon family. As you get to a hospital. Get the fuck up. If you can walk, walk out of there. They're not gonna help you. <laughs> Fuck that, man. But not all doctors are good either. Like, no. this shitty. I, my first yeah, knee doctor like did a else. shoulder operation on my knee from uh, 1992 yeah, that they stopped doing. And then when I went to the next guy, which is Asian guy who did the Jets, he, he was almost filed a suit against this guy. He was like, well, he, they, we haven't done this in fucking eight years. There's just some yeah, horrible. shitty hospitals with gum <laughs> under the operating table and fucking... <laughs> They don't my, love you. My yeah. doctor, Dr. Vinnie Boom Boss, told me. Yeah, you don't know. Like, you, you, you'd like to think they know what they're doing and shit, but they just. But I they, think they, they also just don't, they don't care about you. And they're, no. they're, and they're terrified of doing the wrong thing. Yeah. They're, they're paralyzed with fear about doing the wrong thing. So, 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 so they'll get sued. So they, they do nothing. You know, and they, they wait for the next doctor to come in. You know, oh, we're not going to do anything. We, you know. Yeah, pass it they, on to him. They're paralyzed and then, and then with if fear. a doctor fucks up. Uh, they're not going to say that that doctor fucked up. It's like it's like the you know nobody wa nobody wants to go to medical line. school anymore because there's too much litigation and shit. Yeah, you, they're constantly being sued. Yeah, for drugs. Well, yeah, some of them legitimately because they yeah. are fucking pieces of shit. <laughs> yeah, other ones. Bah, who yeah, knows? hey, there's no noble hey, fucking. Hey, read the aristocrats. See me in that. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get enough of this yacht game. Yeah, I know. I love it. Yacht nothing game. like if you if Otto would have said how was it, I destroyed. I would have never had another question about <laughs> no, it. No, no. But it's a, with a comic, you know, it's like you want to hear about bad gigs. They're more fun for us to hear about. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Every <laughs> horrible moment is is a fucking is a, is a novel to me. How long? How, do, how long did you stay after they? Uh, after you know, if you I had done? another comic with me, but the fact that Trish is like, a, you know, wants to, you know, do, do this roadside shit and look for jelly the next day. You know, you I, stayed out there. No, no, we we stayed overnight, and then the next day we drove back. But I, you know, I wanted to fucking either murder somebody, <laughs> shoot heroin, or shoot myself with a bullet. <laughs> and she wanted to buy jam and fucking now. Oh, nectarine stand. <laughs> you didn't want to get nectarines. <laughs> she, you know, she's been around me a long Island. time, and she doesn't still doesn't understand that comedy is a very hard job, and it's it's not physically hard. She, you know, she goes, well, you get to like she's I'm I'm, I'm bitching about when I got up this morning. Get up. Well, she goes, you got you so you got to get up at six o'clock twice a year, you pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's funny that she's she's happily nectarine shopping while fucking cranky auto sits in the car. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You know, they're squeezing nectarines, oh, trying yeah. to find the right one. Yeah. And he's uh. just fucking mumbling into the fucking rearview mirror alone. Rich, yeah. rich cunts. Yeah. Yeah. Goddamn rich fucking cunts. 50 years and I'm bombing in a yacht club. Yeah. She's fucking picking out fruit like Brando before he yeah. gets shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't uh, know. This, uh, um, this took place a long time ago. Every time I Jack Nicholson story, no. <clears throat> I was at... Um, <laughs> Well, well, this is when I was a street performer in Central Park, and I was my, well, my first girlfriend. Her name was Martha. And she worked at Bloomingdale's. I, I mean, I used to go. I I would do a few shows in the park, and then I go see her. So I was um I was she, she worked on like the second or third floor, and I'm staying there. You know, she's talking to a customer, and I hear behind me, "Honey, can we get out of here now? These fucking lamps are giving me a headache." <laughs> and I go, "Ah, oh, that's a good Nicholson." I turn around. And fucking Jack Nicholson is standing there with Angelica Houston, and she's like lamp shopping and dragging him through the store like any other pussy whip boyfriend. <laughs> oh, and this is right after like The Shining came out, and I was like, holy shit, fucking Jack Nicholson was like, 
I got. I was like buzzing the rest of the day just to have been in this like in a few feet. But from him. there he is, like any other schlep. Like any other guy being this dragged fucking... to the store. But it, but he was he's he was just exactly like he is in the movies, like cranky with sunglasses. It was great. These <laughs> fucking lamps are giving me a headache. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing worse than being dragged yeah. off to yeah. that fucking. Oh, what what's up, uh, Chip? He should say he should have done like an impression to him and said, "I'm just gonna break your bulbs in or something like that for the shining." <laughs> shit. shit, very good. Chip. Stinks. I fucking hate Chip. <laughs> I fucking can't stand Chip. Hey, you know Chip's corny, right? You know he was. He was yeah, on I sat behind that cunt judge on the plane. The that English guy, British douchebag. Yeah, he, he got pretty far though. He went like to the third fucking sector and shit. Um. You guys should have him up here as a guest. He's got a lot of good stories, man. Yeah, yeah I love Chips. He fucking he met Steve McQueen. He was in he was a jazz drummer. He knew Pesci and them when they were in a, a musical group. Oh, Frank Vincent, I think. He, he tried out for the Yankees. He's got like a life. Jesus story. He's got Christ! A, he's got a life, a really cool what life kind story. Of life story is this? <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, I mean, it ends up with you know him being a, a comedian, but he's, he's <laughs> I think bad though. Fuck. Yeah, try after the fucking Yankees. That sucks that uh, that America's got talent. They're, no, you don't get paid unless you get the million. He, they gave him twenty five dollars a day, f fucking food per diem. That's it. Yeah. What am I, a squirrel? You got. <laughs> you gotta love these fucking shows. They, they no overhead. Howie they Mandel was great. Howie Mandel got everybody. him though. You know, Howie yeah. Mandel would definitely fucking got him. Yeah. He got what he was doing. He's he's a comic. You know, my my respect for him went way up. I always thought he was a little fucking douche with a balloon on his head, but. Yeah, you know, because he could, you know, anybody that helps a friend of mine, fucking, he's all right with me now. A little loyalty. Yeah, he needs some loyalty he in his a business. Needs a lot of loyalty First. in this goddamn business. It's not, it's not the business. It's like, you know, what else is life made up of? You know, you gotta have some friends. Very important. Yeah, you know what I think we should do, uh, Jim? Um, <laughs> fucking milk Just each other. All, all, uh, what is milk? All, all no. learn from that life lesson. I you should got, have no, friends. No, I got this. What? <laughs> Oh, when was think... the last time you had a bomb? I mean, when when oh, you, dude. Perf I, mean, I had. Well, I'll tell you. Do you bomb intentionally just because you're no. so tired of the? No, <laughs> no. Because come on, when you when you do a show now, it's O and A fans. You're a fucking rock star when you my get on stage. I haven't bombed as a headliner in a while. My last like death bomb, where yeah. I couldn't get out of it. Death yeah. bomb was when I was warming up for Leno stuff. Oh. I had like a seven ten minute clean set that I was working on, right. and I went into a small room. And I, I bombed, it was like one of those bombs where you're like... But one of those coffee houses in L.A., like? No, it was in New York, oh. but it, it, it was, I mean, it wasn't a lot of people, but it was still a fucking horrible, like, I can't get out of this. Did like, you do that set on Leno, in spite of that? Yeah, but not, it was like a few, a week later or whatever, but I was trying to time it out, and but it was like one of those bombs that you couldn't get out of. It was like, it was a putrid bomb. I was like, I was like <laughs> shaken up by it. Like, after I walked out of there, I was like... Wow, well, that was like wow. doubting, doubting everything Jesus, I'm, you've I'm, ever done. I'm in the business five weeks. There's, 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 there's a difference every between. Time it, uh, did you did you see anybody else go on that night? Would they yeah, they were doing the guy before me did fine. Yeah, it was me. There's wow. a difference between. Like, I know what he's he's getting paid probably good money. Yeah, yeah. To uh, you know, I've I've bombed. I, I was hired for an Indian wedding. That's an inappropriate like, booking. You didn't rich, bomb. rich fucking Indians yeah. downtown. Fuck it was. That. Just fucking millionaires, and they had me come out and, and you do comedy. You you agreed to that just for the money. You so have you, don't, you get the money, you but you also like you. but you also they what happened with him all, happens all the time where there's one guy that goes to the seller all the time and says you got to get this guy. Oh. He's and he sells you on everybody yeah, else, yeah, yeah. but he sells you to like five or six people, not. 80% of the people, 20% of the people are like, yeah. But then, he, but then yeah. when you're doing your show, he won't laugh because he, you know, he doesn't want to look bad in front of his friends. You know, fast. Oh, so he different. hangs out to dry, too. Yeah, I, actually, yeah. I actually had one of those bombings so bad. Same shit. Wouldn't even look at me after yeah. the show. This, this twat let you, yeah. her kid pick me out of a tape. And she was, <laughs> I, and she was like, my kid said you were the one. <laughs> I, I lost the check. I was so nervous and shell-shocked. I lost the check. Uh, it was for thousands. Yeah. I lost it at the gig. So I finally made it out of there. It was over. I'm walking home. It's like fucking... 20 below January, New York City. Was that the Indian um, wedding place? No. Oh. Oh. This was a Christmas party gig I did. Oh, and man. I fucking had to go back and get the fucking... I had to go back high 
And she was like, what the fuck? What? Uh, and I was like, I lost the check. And now I had to go back in the room uh, and look, go all, all the spots I were looking for this uh, check. Horrible story. And then I finally realized, just mail it to me. Fuck it. Uh, but I was nervous that they would say, fuck you. She was mad that you came back? Yeah, I just ruined her she, fucking she didn't ruined want to see you Indian again. party. I ruined it. It's fuck. ruined. <laughs> That's oh, happened to me so many times. Everybody. It's the worst. You had one O and A fan that was like, "You're gonna kill." Yeah. And they have no concept of comedy. Yeah. yeah. They have no. They just mm -hmm. think we can just jump anywhere and the, da -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. the, the yachts out there was sick, man. They was yeah. like, you know. And, Fucking James Bond villain kind of money. Yeah, giant oh. fucking boat. If you oh, did good, you would have been shit. on one of those. Whores, yeah. Hanging out. yeah. Bikini clad whores. Yeah. Fucking a Pacino be handing you an envelope with a fucking card in it that said <laughs> a friend of ours of the hundred. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, is that horrible uh, that scene? The the remaking Brusco. Arthur now and where Trish works in a Brill building. Oh, what the fuck? fuck? I just I just watched that movie. It's still maybe great. Two nights I just ago. watched the original movie. Fucking yeah, Fuck. it was really funny, man. You forget how funny Dudley Moore is in that goddamn oh. movie. God damn, du it was great, 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 great You're comedy. A <laughs> All of his little mannerisms and shit. Great, and, great and just, comedy. Yeah, don't you perfect. hate Perry's wife? Yeah, uh, don't you? it's a, such a performance. Go in there, Perry. It's a real performance. Oh, you're a hedge. Hey, how is Montreal? <laughs> he tucks in the baby that's not there. Yeah. Jim, you did uh, the Montreal thing this year. Yeah, it was the nasty show was good. Bobby did it. We did it together. Pretty, yeah. pretty grueling, right? Three. three. Yeah, I've done it before, and is I always that, say no to it. That uh, club soda thing. Club soda. Yeah, it's like fucking sixteen shows in a week. It's a lot of work. But then that, I went back. I, I flew show home. In town, man. It is, but it means nothing. It, it just makes money for Nobody's the festival, there. but it doesn't help what a us. Shitty career neighborhood. I saw two it is a shitty neighborhood. You're right. Beat the shit out of each other <laughs> in the alleyway. It's entertaining. Like, I mean, ba ba this guy bashed this guy's fucking skull in, and he was back twenty minutes later drinking at that shitty bar. What yeah. a shithole neighborhood. That's a shit neighborhood. You're right. Ugh. Well, they actually <laughs> took away a lot. I was there three years ago, and it was a lot worse. They had all the really? porn, and yeah, they had all the strip. They, they did? Took, yeah, they. Took all those buildings down, all the strip clubs oh. and all the fucking. They have like one cock shop left. <laughs> That's, <laughs> it. <laughs> That's it. You walk into the street, it's like cafe, cafe, window of dicks, <laughs> and then a cafe, and then poutine. Who else is on the show with you guys? Geraldo hosted. Voss. Voss, me, Bobby, and, and a girl named Tiffany Haddish. And I think that was the whole show. That was it. Oh, yeah, five so weeks. only one Canadian, or you? They always have to get one. No, no Canadian. Canadian. No Canadians. She's Not black. Canadian. She was a black girl, and from and, LA. And us from no Washington. Yeah. So all Americans. Wow. Yeah. My, uh, yeah. They fucking really treat their their own like shit. The Canadians. <laughs> yeah. They have a self hatred problem. I think they do. They yeah, should. It's an inferiority complex because the, you know, I, I the done United that show States a million. Right I did it here. with Dennis Leary the first time. We went through customs with fucking Mary Tyler Moore. Was she was like at the, on the gala show that year. Me and me and Dennis Leary got. Um, we both had had arrests. Mine was for marijuana, smoking pot in the car, and he had like a couple of DUIs. But they sat us down like we were fucking criminals in a room and said, "We were we were arrested. We want you to admit it. Tell us what you did. Tell you don't fuck up here. We don't fucking." I go. I got who can't yeah. smoke some fucking pot in a car when I was nineteen. So what? Treat me like fucking Dillinger. <laughs> Go, they really were grilling you like like they, like they you really, just they committed acted a like crime. I was and fucking Dillinger, man. You know, you, 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 what do you think? You're a different country. If somebody fucks with you, who do you think's gonna come and kick their <laughs> ass? You better be fucking nice to Americans. You fuck. <laughs> I hate those people. <laughs> the uh, <laughs> Jimmy, did you see the whole thing with uh, Lady Gaga and and that Arizona? Bullshit? I heard that she made some. Some nonsensical point about it was it. a ridiculous oh, you uh, got, and point. You got to see Death Wish three all the way through. You'll <laughs> fucking laugh. <laughs> the, the, what, sorry, what, sorry. No, sorry. sorry. What, what? Shut up. <laughs> okay, oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we are on our way to bingo parlor. Shut up. Oh, oh, okay, <laughs> sir. Oh, sorry. Okay, okay sir. <laughs> what got me about the whole thing is uh, they were talking about how she said she was still going to do the show because some people said she shouldn't do the show in Arizona. And she was still going to do the show, yet she gets up there and starts talking about Arizona, how shitty their policy is on the immigration thing. Uh, and, and then she said, you know, what are a bunch of stupid rock stars going to do to stop, you know, this legislation? So I figured I'd do the show. And then you think, like, didn't musicians pretty much end apartheid by not fucking playing in Sun City? 
and South Africa, they just wouldn't fucking go down there and really kind of brought that whole thing to light. Did they? I don't know. It's like, yeah, that was like a huge thing during uh, apartheid. And she's just like, oh, yeah, I, well, I have this point. And, and fucking uh, uh, Arizona sucks and this legislation sucks and the Mexicans should be able to come up here. But uh, now nah, I'm still going to fucking sell the T-shirts and play the gig and fucking take the money. I hate those guys who do one, sh like, one thing to try and help the world. Fucking... Cut yeah, a it's... check, you know. <laughs> yeah, just no, you know what though? Shut up. A lot of yeah. businesses wouldn't. A lot of major companies stopped doing business with South Africa because, it was, like, colleges were protesting. A lot of gas companies wouldn't. Like, but that's I, what I think what finally stopped it. No, I, I don't think any one thing stopped it. But that really brought like worldwide attention to it when they did that whole fucking. So they did like a "We Are the World" thing for fucking apartheid. They did like a song. Did not they do a stupid fucking song about that? I remember Bono being involved, <laughs> of course. Yeah. Fucking walking around saying it's horrible. Uh, now, now you know. Now look at South Africa. <laughs> okay, you want to be in charge here? Go is ahead. it pretty bad over Have there? Have fun. Whoa! I mean, it, they, they've been <laughs> fighting for like years and years and years, right? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. The, the, the white majority um, gave up. Uh, Even the white sharks are fucking gone. They, they, phew, the white majority, uh, <laughs> minority. I'm sorry. Wow. Yeah, that was bad. Hello. Uh -huh. I fucking oh, wow. skid right over that. The <laughs> fucking Because you, you didn't say great white sharks. You said even the white sharks are gone. Uh -huh. Yeah. Wow. I, I thought maybe just some fucking white people. And it was shark no week. Idea. Yes. Yes, oh. it is. <laughs> the the <laughs> white <fucking> minority <laughs> down there uh, gave up power. Oh. And the black majority took over. Right. And uh, I don't Friedman think anyone wants there. to play down there anymore. <laughs> yeah. It's like District 9, right? Yeah, it really is <laughs> a not, good a, movie. not a nice place. The the prone. Yeah, the uh, That guy put was such an unlikely uh, lead Fantastic. in a film. You know, it was, if you ever see that movie, it's fucking great. Because, like, one second he, he's like, he does the right thing and he's like, he's great. And then he's, then he's like, like bad and it's like you don't know which, which way yeah he, he was in he, here one no day way. and i was talking was to him about that it's like uh, what an amazing film I, I i said like name dropper uh, well yeah. I, I it was a guest of the program and uh, i asked him uh if that character was supposed to be so fucking goofy at the beginning of the movie because yeah. it turns out he's kind of like some badass at the end yeah uh and he said he was supposed to be even goofier than that. Really? And they kind of tamed it down. Because he's such an hysterical. unlikely lead in a film. It was just very... going like, oh, look at the little one. Come here. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. Mr. Sweetie Man. Yeah, you Sweetie Man. With the kid. <laughs> you little bro. fucker. You little <laughs> fucker. I knew you fucking pros were smart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's fucking great. The though, fucking man. cat food. Oh, Funny God. Ass movie. It's, uh, yeah, I didn't know where the fuck that was going. That had me from the second it started. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not a big science fiction fan at all. Really? I no. thought I'd be pegged for, like, kind of sci-fi. Well, yeah, like, 2001 I loved. I, I didn't give a shit about any of the Star Wars. Yeah. I could not get into that. Ba it was like, I don't know. It was too stupid for me. Yeah, well, when it came out, I was into it, but I was well, kind of young. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah I um, guess so it was a like, child eh. thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, now you watch them, and it's just like, oh, God, this could yeah. have been so good, but... No, I always like I always, always like urban crime films that that, that genre, con, good I love that comedy shit. or urban you know stuff like Godfather, Goodfellas. Yeah, I like I like I a uh, very narrow taste in films. Good crime shit, and then uh, also post-apocalyptic stuff. I like that you zombie yeah. shit. Oh, zombie yeah. shit! I'm zombie very big on great. anything yeah. with a zombie, except <laughs> I don't like when they make them into comedies. That bothers me. Yeah, and yeah. it also bothers me when zombies move too quickly. Really? Well, we've had this argument many, many times. No, Zombies are fucked up, and the thing with zombies is they can't outrun you. They just there's so many of them that they eventually scratch their way in and eat your and eat you and get you. But when they when they start moving like vamp vampires, they're not. It's not a zombie movie. Well, anymore. I don't like fast fast zombies, but I like. I like a zombie you like that when, can a, that start of scene when they lunge at, at you. Okay, yeah, but when yeah. they when they can fucking run fast, that's not a zombie movie. I like, I like the, they're I like all the... Kenyan zombies. They run very quickly. <laughs> now, George, now George like... Romero set that set down the, the the book of rules on what zombies are. <laughs> but... there, there were rules to you know there should be rules to monsters. You know you do, you know you you kill Dracula with a stake through the heart or you know, the the Wolfman. You need a silver bullet. There should be rules. Yeah, don't don't to don't change them fuck up. Fuck my but zombie if, if you movies. Remember the first First night of the Living Dead. We yeah. were talking about this the other day uh, when Barbara's in the in the cemetery. The first zombie. And then she gets out. That first zombie is kind of coming after her car. He's and holding he's got a little, ass a he's little. Got a little jog on. All he's right. got his jog on a little bit, which is odd because every other zombie after that was just kind of 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, but that, but he was uh Romero rewrote those zombie rules a, t a bunch of times throughout his films though. Like I, yeah. I don't like the fact that that you know zombies could remember their past lives and that you know well, little bits and pieces of it like in Day of the Dead when Bub knows to shave with the razor. I hate oh, the okay. Bub one. Oh, where he, hated where he that. teaches him how to use the Walkman. Yeah, come on. I don't man. like the one with Bub. And they shouldn't be able to use That was tools. Romero's like, fa that was Romero's favorite he said. Yeah, wow, but, that's yeah, fucked like, up. There was, uh, there was some good gore in that, though, man. When that guy gets ripped right in half and he sees his sure. own lower body being dragged away. That's yeah, pretty twisted. Nice. Did you ever play Call of Duty with the zombies? Where they just come out, they just, they keep coming. I fucking hated zombies until I did that. But he's right. When they just, it's not they're fast. It's There's a fucking yeah. million of them. Yeah, but that's, but yeah. I liked, see, the fast zombies like were. Like the Ving Rhames remake. I, I enjoyed that, it, but man, yeah. I enjoy. I mean, I loved watching them, but I go, it's not zombies. There's something else. They're, they're just fast zombies. Fast dead people. <laughs> fast <laughs> dead people. Or 28 Days Later was yeah, another one. Yeah, but, but that was a virus, so. But they're they moved. All good. They're all good shit. They move fast. But I yeah. love that shit. It's fucking, yeah. you know, survival. Yeah. What was that vampire movie where they were in Alaska and they had, what was it? Oh, yeah. 30 Days, 30 days, 30 days, 30 days of Night. night. That oh, was right, a right. fucking good vampire yeah, movie. The yeah. sun went down that for pretty good. fucking a month. I can't believe no one's ever thought of that. I know. It's like, like fucking Alaska's dark for a month. That's what I thought. It's like it could be out all the time. Bunch of vampires shoveling their driveways. <laughs> oh, yeah. It stinks. <laughs> There's a zombie movie made uh, by an Italian director called, just called Zombie. Yeah, Did you ever see yeah, that awesome. one? awesome. Lucio. Uh, oh, yeah. Fucking sheet. great. Yeah. There's a yeah. zombie fights a shark underwater and fucking eats the shark. <laughs> he fights a shark. This, this violent shit, really violent shit in that. Uh, and, and it's funny that we were just talking about Romero, yeah. but because he kind of stole a, a piece of that film for for his later he did? shit. Where, uh, uh, what was that awful one with John Leguizamo? I don't even want to oh, think about it. Land yeah. of the Dead. Oh, yeah, Land of the Dead. Where they, the zombies yeah. travel to the... Uh, Dennis Hopper was in it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they travel to the island by walking underwater. Oh, and they that walk was kinda, on the bottom of the, the, yeah. the fucking... Yeah. Oh, is that right? Is yeah, that, where that, was kinda, that was kind of lifted from, oh, okay. from Zombie, I think. Yeah, the Italians made some good, good shit. They, when they used to have Chiller Theater when I was a kid, Chiller. I would watch that. They, there would always be a lot of nudity and big titted women <laughs> in those, in those, those Italian horror films. I liked the old uh, uh, black and white ones they show on Creature Feature or Chiller Theater. That was where... more of the um, the Universal uh, Lon Chaney. Yeah, you know, yeah, those are great. But they would have like they were black and white, but they would have those damsels in distress with the fucking tits just. Yeah. Hanging out of the top yeah. of their dress, screaming as like the wasn't, wasn't creature double feature all like mostly Asian though. No creature feature sometimes showed like Godzilla movies, but yeah, uh, yeah. they'd also show some you know uh, some of the classics like yeah. fucking. Uh, well, the two even... great Italian uh, monster guys with Dario and Angento yeah. did the Suspiria or something like that. Yeah, and then, Suspiria, and then this other yeah. guy Mario Suspiria. Mario Bava who like invented the whole genre. In like the early '60s, very gory shit. There was t there were times is that when I was a kid, I got up from in front of the TV and ran away yeah. with my friends, just like l screaming. Uh, House on Haunted Hill was one of them. Oh, that fucking woman coming Dude, out with her fucking hands out. That was her. so that, creepy. That's still man. a disturbing image. That now. was Vincent yeah. Price. That's and, fucked up. And it's a you fucked know what? up image. Because she was floating. Yeah. She like it wasn't a yeah, walking she, she, thing. And she's not like trying to hurt anybody she's just in the room and she's like just skates by and yeah you go, and what she's the like fuck? got these arthritic hands yeah. held up and all crinkled that was and some scary shit up, and she just drifted at yeah. you and, and we were just like wow yeah, had to run out of there that's a disturbing image the other one was the last man on earth with vincent price yeah where uh the, the well, woman's that was the knocking first... and she's going, let me in. Last Man on Earth in. was the first version of the Omega uh, I Am Man Legend. Kind of I Am Legend. I Am Legend. Yeah. 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 And he was supposed to burn his wife because she had the plague. Yeah. And he didn't burn her. He buried her. Oh, and yeah. And she came back to fucking life. <laughs> and, and she's going, let me in. And he the opens Vincent the door. And, cool. and she fucking grabs him. I, um, the Tingler, that, that had some yeah, fucking yeah, the fucked tingler. up shit in it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the fucking lady floating, because I think I remember that. Was, wasn't, there, wasn't there a lady floating in the movie Black Sabbath 2 with Boris Karloff? Oh yeah, yeah. It yeah. was right. Oh, there was a very that was a very scary trilogy. Black Black yes. Sabbath. There was like three stories. Yes, a headless yeah. horseman or something. Yeah. But I want that woman yeah, floating was terrifying. About. Fucking those movies. That's yeah, a, that's a Mario Baba. That's a they use that, good they shit. They use that clip in a commercial now. That fucking clip from that the the underwater shot. Yeah, it's in yeah, a commercial. Yeah, it's in a Windows Seven commercial. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah, what Windows. year is that movie from? 
it's like the early 70s, but there's, there's one scene where this girl's like hiding in a closet and the zombie like oh, yeah. <laughs> breaks through the closet and and he's pulling her eye towards this shard of wood. Oh, yeah, and the fucking yeah. Eye, the fucking thing goes through her eye and like rips through her temple and you see the whole thing happen. And it's like, and there's a big chunk of wood going like through her it eye. It was a close up, <laughs> like oh yeah, and you see the eyeball the, and the fucking it was. And this big splintery could, piece of wood just goes right through. It and could you see not it, like, have, compress it could and not have been gorier. It. Yeah, really disgusting. Yeah. Oh yeah, there you go. The, uh, <laughs> Danny finds thing. everything. This is awesome. Watch this. It's, and, and it's you, very cheap. And it's cheap, but it's, it's cheap so model. like. It's but the so, thought of that actually happening. Yeah, to that's you what it is. Bad. It's not so much the effect as yeah. it is the thought of that happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty it cheap, goes right? Yeah, that looks the really George has the mirror. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy's ruining someone's puppet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My eye has got a piece of wood in it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> kind of fucking sick though. Yeah. Uh, Christ, you want to take a little breather and uh, yeah, we'll be, make uh, love. Back, I'm at Wisecrackers uh, at the Ramada Inn in Allentown, P PA, this weekend, 9 p.m. show. Wisecrackers. Wise. Crackers. Wisecrackers. JFK's in a casket, <laughs> and I'm at Wisecrackers in Ramada Inn. Who do you feel worse for? Um, I'm going to be at the Off the Hook Comedy Club on Marco Island. Marco Island. Yeah, it's an island. That sounds nice. They're Marco. How you get there? It's uh, you have to take a boat or take, a train, take a ferry yep. or a sub submarine. There's ah. submarine ferries. Oh, like uh, Lost. Cool. August nineteenth to the twenty second, Captain Brian. You ever play off the hooks? You've been there, off the hooks. I I don't think I have. You sure? Yeah, pretty you, sure. You'd like it. I it's good. remember that. It's With all right. the captain. Yeah. It's good on on season. Off season, there's like two people on the fucking yeah. island. Is it, you need a passport to get there? You need no. It's in Florida. It's in Florida. Yeah, okay. you take a fucking like a hundred dollar jet blue flight and you're there. It's a good thing you said that. I had no clue. I was. Picturing some place off of fucking Marco Montauk, Island. Plum Island. <laughs> Plum yeah, Island. Remember Plum fucking, Island? You're yeah. playing the Plum Island fucking, <laughs> fucking animal disease. Yeah, <laughs> under SWAT team surveillance, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be playing uh, Fire Island and uh, milking guys. Cherry Grove. Ugh, I'll know? be at the yeah, empty I Tampa know. Improv this weekend. <laughs> you're at it's the Tampa yes. empty. Why? No. Why? Because it's a big cavernous room and it's gonna be empty. It's actually three nah. floors. I know. And they they have like it'll a, be empty. It's like where Lincoln got shot. <laughs> and it's got two Ford stages. Theater. Yeah, it's a it's a gorgeous room, but it's a fucking yes, it big one. It's yep. a big one. And it's an Ebor City, which is fucking after ten o'clock on a Friday or Saturday, you, you have to be escorted back to your house by the police. Really? Oh, okay. uh, they got fucking the cops there like wear like just the badge and no shirt and just tight jeans with a fucking gun. <laughs> nice. It's all like bad boys. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. Good. Yeah, be careful. Yeah. Alright, we'll uh be about right back. Don't go anywhere. Hey. We now return to the worldwide broadcast of the Obi and Anthony show. Uh, okay. On the virus. On the virus. Serious XM. Yeah, I like that. I think like to come on with him. We've been together for a while. We've got a lot of good cold stories. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hi, everyone. Uh, Obi and Anthony show. Ah. Uh, Obi's still sick. Sickly. Sickly. So we're here. Got Otto and Bob Kelly. Yeah. And of Tired. course, Jimmy Norton. Yes. Jimmy Norton. Back from the left coast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, well, you know what I wanted to do? Suck my cock? No, yeah. I wanted to, um, to take a phone call. Oh, yay! Oh, yeah. You know what? I great. really did. Uh, let's check out... Um, uh, ECW Zombie from Staten Island. <laughs> All right, I love the phones. Hi, sir. First is just the quality of the call. It's yeah. great. What the, is he the, doing? The mechanical, logistic. Fuck you. Thing. Uh, uh, Fuck your, your mother. Does your phone work, sir? Oh, your mother's content. That's great. That's good. Listen to, let, let's just listen to this for a minute. Go ahead. That's great. I just want to listen to this. I'm fascinated by it. Does he know he's on the fucking air? No. Oh, no. Ah, goodbye. Uh, how about, oh, well, you know who's always good? 
Footer. Let's go to Footer. Hi, Footer. Yo, what's up, boys? I, I'm just holding on to listen. I knew you weren't going to take calls, but if I do have to add anything to the show, I'm just going to say E Rock's a big fat pig, and I'm punching out. Later, boys. Oh. Okay. Wow. That was, that was good. Give him a tape. That's a prime example <laughs> of the shit. You hate the callers? I fucking hate the callers. Let's try the next one. Let's not let. Uh... Every bad apple spoil the think, bunch. Think yeah. All right, let's go. Uh, Mark in Philly. Mark. Hey, Anthony. I'm just relaxing by the pool, listening on hold. Right. Congratulations. Congratulations, Mark. You've won a DVD. You won a <laughs> Blu-ray DVD of Kick-Ass. And yeah, just keep talking over what I'm fucking saying. <laughs> you got mad. You love it. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Stay on hold because you won. Okay. You get a copy of uh, Kick Ass on Blu ray. What is Kick Ass? It's, it's a, a great movie. Nicholas Cage boy. Nicholas Cage and a little girl that curses. Uh, Travis, get his address. Courtesy of Lionsgate <laughs> yeah. Home Video, which is one of D Boy's favorite uh, movie companies. Lionsgate, Kick Ass. And you won because you uh, were. One of the worst fucking callers of the day. We said off the air that the first caller who's horrendous is going to win a DVD. Now, the first guy would yeah. have won, but he didn't pick up the phone. Footer hung up. Yeah. You happen to stay on long enough. So yeah. we got to get your uh, address. Yeah, so hold on, and uh, we'll get your address and send that right out to you. He lives in Philly. Is that any of the wisecrackers at the Ramada Inn? Oh, it might. In Allentown, PA, <laughs> both nights, That's 9 very p.m.? close. It very might close. be. 866 424 2411 for tickets. Ottoandgeorge.com, Ramada Inn. You fucking I'll beat the gym and the other joint. Yeah, I'll be at. The, yeah. Uh, how about Chris from Florida? Let's talk to Chris. Hi, Chris. <laughs> hey, um, Jimmy, I heard you're in Tampa at the improv. You got five shows. I was looking for your recommendation as to which show I should go to. Who gives a fuck which show he goes to? Just bring a lot of people. It's a cavernous room. Well, which, sometimes you get a bonus on I'll Thursday which to show, sell out uh, nothing on Saturday. Whichever show you're available for when you're not watching the the, the Blu-ray you've just won. Yes, you, <laughs> you want a Blu-ray copy of Cop Out. On Blu-ray, directed by, of course, Kevin Smith. It's got Bruce Willis, Tracy Morgan, and Jim Norton's in there. Right. It's courtesy of Warner Home Video. And you, my friend Chris from Florida, have won that DVD for sucking ass <laughs> as a caller on this fucking program. What show so is hold out? on. Hold on while we get your information. <laughs> there it is. Do you want to know the weather that weekend, too? How the fuck is you know which show is going to be good? It's, I can't. This has got to be a good Explain caller. Explain to you fucking idiot. how I hate the callers. Hold yeah. on now. Bobby said there might be a good caller. There's got to be a one Bobby's good trying name. to take lemons and make lemonade. Atta boy, oh. Bob. <laughs> Is there a way to take another call while two people are on hold? Oh, yeah. All right. Now let's go to um, maybe, uh, I guess, uh, Norm in Queens. <laughs> Hi, Norm. <laughs> Norm. Norm in Queens. Maybe it's Anthony, not Anthony, can you hear me? Anthony, can you hear me? Uh, uh, y yes, sir. Yes, <laughs> yes. What's yeah, up? Hey, Ant yeah, I'm new to the show. Uh, this is the first time I ever called in. Um, I was, you know about jailbreaking your uh, phone? Um, I was going to say that the reason why you do it, not to get those uh, shitty cheap apps, but you can do it in order to unlock certain things that AT&T makes it so you can't do. For instance, um, uh, tethering. Uh, if you wanted to use your phone as a modem for your computer wirelessly through the brute the Bluetooth connection, you could do that. And I remember, you, could, uh, uh, you could use your laptop talking uh, about on the this. Um, huh? Yeah, we are here this go. morning. I was, I was I, trying um, to call this morning. But, yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> thank God. Um, you made it through now, though. Yeah, uh, I know. <laughs> oh, and um, another thing. Um, and another thing? Uh, How about you yeah. win a copy <laughs> of Kick Ass on Blu ray, my friend. That's right, really? kick ass on Blu ray, courtesy of Lionsgate Home Video. And that copy is going to you, sir. Hang on while we get your information. That's right, kick ass, because your call sucked ass. Yes. <laughs> oh, shut right up. Right in the middle of it. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> All right, let's go to, uh, oh, Kurt Love from Brooklyn, of course. Hey, Kurt Love. I'm looking at his name over here. I see it over here. Kurt Love, how you doing? 
Good, good morning, Opie. When is Anthony going to be back? I heard he was sick or something. <laughs> this guy's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fucking... I'm not dealing with a bit. This is not a bit. Uh, we got Norm, we got that, we got... Let's yeah, random, right. let, me, let me randomly pick one. I can't see what they want to talk about. Right. I, I don't have a board in front point. of me. Yep. So let me just take a guess. Uh, all the phones are lit. I'm going to guess... It's five! Right. Pick up five! Five. Hi, sir. You're on the air. Who's this and where are you from? Uh, Dan from Columbus. Dan. Hi, Dan. <laughs> Dan from Columbus. Uh, what do you want to add to the Opie and Anthony program this morning? Um, honestly, guys, I've been listening for 10 years, and I just wanted to say that I love you guys. Well, you know what I want to say, sir? What's that? You're going to get a copy of Cop Out on Blu-ray. Cop Out on Blu-ray, directed by Kevin Smith, starring Bruce Willis, Tracy Morgan, and, of course, the lovely and talented Jim Norton. Uh, courtesy of Warner Home Video, you got that because your call sucked a fucking cock. That's right. Taking your call was a cop out to the entertainment world. <laughs> we copped out. <laughs> what do you want them to do? Like anything. <laughs> Contribute. Anything no of substance. So praise is not yeah. good. No, no, no. Praise is boring bullshit. Yeah, How about a thought that would get us to go like, wow, you know, that could start a conversation. Kick, kick, yeah, okay. We converse with him. He says something. We go back. A, a, a debate. Something other than you guys. I was just on hold. I saw I love you guys punching out. I was out. compelled to dial it. Oh yeah. Just fucking useless. There's got to be so no, no, we're seven. Let's go to seven. Yeah, I will something. try seven. Uh, yeah. hello, hello, who's this, and where are you from, sir? This is Evan from New Hampshire. Evan oh, this... from the great state of New Hampshire. Just give him the CD. Live free. Uh, <laughs> or... <laughs> Just give it to him. Just give it to him. <laughs> uh, Evan, anything you'd like to add to the program? I just wanted to see if you guys saw the video, My PP, -pee, on YouTube. And what is that? YouTube, it's silly. No, I know what YouTube is. What's the video? It's about my PP. -pee. See, he's trying to call and be bad on purpose. No, no, do it. I don't no, buy do that. Do God, hanging up. I don't fucking like the uh, on purpose try to be a exactly. bad guy. Just be yourself. It. It's awful. Yeah, it's it was, horrible enough. You don't have to try so hard. Yeah, but you guys, you guys are professional entertainers. You're speaking to commoners. You, exactly. You can't expect anything from them. I know, but so, they expect us to expect things but from you them. Do you have you have to take calls legally or something? No, no, no. Oh. That's why I never take calls. But but I, I've re I've read some things uh, which I don't really. Put any credence Does in, the suicide like, rate of the listeners go up if you don't <laughs> yeah. call them? It's like, why? You know, I wonder why Anthony doesn't take calls. Uh. I'm just actually just trying to make a point. Yeah. Yeah. It's. I think it's blatantly obvious why oh. I don't plunk All the phones kidding down. aside, let's take a good call. Let's not. Let's stop right. fudging around. Excuse right. my French. Uh, Someone has something to say. Number two. Let's go number two. All right, line two. Oh, your mother's uh, cutting Hello. Out. Who is this and where are you from, <laughs> sir? Slippy in Florida. Hey, what's up, buddy? All right, what do you got for the uh, show today? I, I got, I got two words for you, Anthony. Yeah. Choo choo. What? Choo -choo. Oh, come on! You guys don't remember the choo choo bit? No. What the fuck are you talking about? What? Oh my god! Seriously? What are you talking about? God, explain it. Um, you guys had on the uh, when you were doing the guys being murdered by trains uh, last week. And. Choo -choo. And we remember, stupid. <laughs> I said it. Of course we remember. Anthony said dummy. it. And I pointed it out. It We're the two guys. Yeah. What the fuck do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Hope his phone was cut off. Oh yes, by a choo choo. By a fucking choo choo, <laughs> severing his fucking head head from his body body. <laughs> 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 uh, I hope he was fucking chained up by like a fucking villain in the 1920s. All <laughs> uh, right, there, there has to be. Um... Sometimes you leave them on hold too long, they get nervous. So you should pick a fresh call. All right. Sometimes when they're on hold too long, they're listening, they get fucked up and number nervous. Five. Number right. five is new, right? We'll go to number five. Go. Hey, this is RJ from uh, North Carolina. Hey, man. Hey, uh, I went and saw Jimmy in Atlanta on Saturday night, and he killed. Yeah? So, what, do you want to go on the air and talk about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, hold on a second. 
Oh. RJ. Hey, uh, went and saw Jimmy Saturday night. He killed. Hold on, hold on. You're not on yet. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I just want to let you know uh, you're up next. Okay. All right, hold on. RJ from North Carolina, how you doing, man? Hey, how you doing? I went uh, went and saw Jimmy uh, Saturday night in Atlanta. Uh, we're not ready. Hold on, we're, we're, recording. we're not ready yet. We're, record we're recording this for a later break, dude. I'm sorry. And uh, we didn't have it running. Sorry. Okay. Fuck, man. Shit. Keep the energy up, though, okay? All right. All right, I'm sorry, man. All right. Three, two, one. RJ from North Carolina, what's up, man? Hey, uh, I just wanted to uh, call in. Shut the minutes. fuck up! Are you honestly fucking this stupid? Are you this fucking stupid? <laughs> Holy shit! Do you listen to the show and know we just take calls and don't record them? You dumb motherfucker! I didn't, but, but Anthony, I didn't even hear what he was gonna say. He said Jimmy killed. <laughs> God, God, what an asshole! RJ, <laughs> oh. uh, RJ, what were you gonna say? He's, For real? He hung up. Oh. That's sheer embarrassment. Jeez. Kill yourself. Jump uh, off a bridge. But RJ, waste a fucking life. A real jerk off. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, damn it! Thank you. Cheswick, stay off my side. <laughs> but sometimes they hang up on me, Mr. Hardy. I don't Please. want your phone topics or your phone topics. Keep the energy level up. <laughs> but he did. Shut it. He, he did. did. He came back. Hey, hey. hey. I saw Jimmy. And, okay, okay, I'll wait. Uh, I'll wait because I'm an uh, idiot. Oh, yikes. There's got to be somebody. There has to be. You, you can't. I mean, they get the bit now. They know what the hell's going on. There Someone is Why are you guys uh, promoting that? Um, that uh, other movie that Jim's not in. Oh, uh, Kick-Ass? They're yeah. doing a promotion. Uh, oh. Yeah, Lionsgate uh, Home Video has been kind enough to give us a couple of copies. I oh. guess they're gone. Did we give out We gave out two Kick-Ass and uh, I think two okay, cop-out? I think we got one more cop-out left. Mmm. Mmm. All right, let's go to... Did you go see that in the movies, Jim, when it was out? Cop I liked out? it. Was it good? No, I didn't see cop-out. I saw that one. You didn't, you didn't go to see it in the I movies? I saw cop-out at Kevin's house. You know how it is. Oh, yeah? yeah. <laughs> you know how it is. Just a private screening yeah. at Kevin's house. That's cool. Before there was any music or anything in it. The music makes Oh, so you saw movie. a rough cut. Real rough, yeah. Yeah, the music makes the movie. Who's in it? Who's this? Uh, let's go to line numero... Um, ah, shit. I don't do know. nine. Let's... Nine. nine. Go on, okay, All go right. to nine. Go to nine. Uh, Spags in Allentown. How you doing? Oh, this fucking, fucking guy. awesome, dude. I'm awesome. I got nothing. This is the best part. I got nothing for the show. And I don't even want to give nothing, because it's worthless. Please come to Wisecrackers. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I've been to that place. It sucks. It won't suck this Jesus. week. And I'm there, man. You're in fucking Allentown. You in. fucking suck. Oh, I'm there, dude. I'm there. Yeah, please, yeah, bring, bring some of your yeah, fucking yeah, drunken bring friends. I Jimmy Norton in Atlanta the other night, and he ruled. You did not. Shut up. <laughs> You get, I'm not even giving this guy a cop out. Fuck. Uh, no, 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 right no. He tried that you reverse suck. fucking psychology. I know. Exactly. I know. All right. Uh, how about line? Uh, oh, Brian in uh, Arkansas, I guess, wants to uh, say something. Brian! You Jew motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> you ever call my show again, I'll kill you, you Jew motherfucker. <laughs> I just wanted to call up and say that I am an extreme right wing conservative Christian. And I wanted to thank you, gentlemen, for giving me something to laugh at every day that I could not laugh at in public ever. What does right wing ever. Christian a mean to you, Abortions? <laughs> well, no, 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 not quite that far right wing. But, you know, you all. You hate the niggers and the Jews, don't you? You hate the. <laughs> no, no, no. So, the milking Jew judges and the nigger police up in New York way. And Mil the Guinea DAs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the faggots, milking yeah. faggots God with my mouth. Damn Christ killers and yeah. porch monkeys. <laughs> I am a staunch conservative Republican Christian, and I don't like abortions. Yeah, yeah. asshole is a goddamn exit. Yeah, D Deliverance is not a Eve, documentary. Not Adam and Steve. <laughs> get it? Get it? Homosexual. God yes. hates fags. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds pretty familiar. So. Yeah, <laughs> down in Arkansas. 
<laughs> every day because I try and repeat a joke of yours and everyone looks at me like I'm a horrible individual. Stop doing it in church. Yeah. <laughs> He's exactly. in church all the time. <laughs> yeah. Fucking b b making yes. bombs for abortion clinics. Yes. Yeah, you fucking loony. Excuse me, Pastor. Do you ever hear a queef? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Then Jimmy goes, she shit on my chest. You get it? <laughs> Well, thank you, yeah. sir. Go, thank you. Go yeah, molest some what, children. What was your favorite Smokey and the Bandit movie? Was he off the air? Some yeah. bitch. <laughs> some bitch. The one where he drives the Trans Am. Oh, right, yeah. Awesome. Right. Gentlemen, have a great day. I appreciate yeah. it. Thank I just you, want to Brian. Say, thank you for all thank you, you do, guys. Thank Actually, you. Gage. Yeah. Gage is from Arkansas. My favorite porn star, Gage. Yeah. For the kid oh, who got killed in fucking <laughs> Pet Cemetery. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is that your Mine favorite? Mine too. <laughs> <laughs> little flattened ice <laughs> with a truck tire on it. <laughs> Jesus. Stupid little Gage. Exactly. <laughs> and the stupid parents not watching. Oh, that, Gage. that great trucker. <laughs> um, <laughs> fucking squash that little fucking kid. I want to. Um, I want to say congratulations. I have a congratulations shout out. I'm doing a shout out Ooh. of congratulations to a friend of mine. I'm not going to say who it is or anything, but I have a lot of friends in uh, law enforcement mm -hmm. uh, who got to experience his first tasering of somebody. Oh, that was a fun over uh, over the weekend. Uh, very very happy first tasering. Uh, some Irish guy from Southie, Boston fucking head, oh, and uh, just being belligerent out in front of a bar. Guy decides it's going to take a few fucking uh, shots at uh, one of the officers uh -huh. when he's got one hand behind his back with the cuff on it, trying to get the other cuff on. Wham! He comes around, slams one of the cops. Uh, they try to subdue him, slams the cop two more times. <laughs> this officer backs off a few feet, pulls the taser out for the first time. Bam! And the guy had like a jersey on that was pulled over his head a little bit from the other cop. So it both barbs went into bare skin. He looked like one of those blow-up things in front of a car place. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. Apparently, he just tensed up yeah. and fell right over uh, and just laid there for, for a few. Do Very cops compliant. tried that on themselves just to know about Yeah, how... there have been cops that, that do that. A lot, want... I think a lot of them That's what they all have to on themselves. They yeah. have to get like, maced. It's like get... one of those oh. things where they, they get oh. tased. I don't know if it's mandatory in every it's state. It's a lot anything, of voltage, but, isn't it? Yeah, it's a hell of a lot of voltage. And just let, laid the guy. I got out. one this big that's on a nine volt battery that will fucking drop you. Mm. Never mind a gun. And the rumor has it he tried to get up again. Really? And uh, he gave him another shot while he was laying on the ground because he tried to get up again. Sure he did. A yeah. bo he was from he Boston. He tried to get he up. Try again. He tried to breathe. <laughs> You gotta respect a guy from Saudi taking a swing at a cop with one handcuff oh, on. Oh, fucking uh, Irish <laughs> Saudi <laughs> drunk. Wow. Fuck you, <laughs> fuck you, <laughs> officer. Fuck you, you, you know, know my father, fucking, you fucking cocksucker. You fucking piece of shit cocksucker. Bad fucking dude, fucking hit me, kid. I don't yeah. give a fuck. And uh, You're because not of the a fucking cop. Because of the altercation, there had been a fuckload of You know, his girlfriend outside. was just going, Sully, shut the fuck shut up! Shut up, they're gonna tase you, you dumb cocksucker. <laughs> it, it hurts wicked bad, fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> you. Dude, bad. they're tasing Sully down the street right now. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck, I told that cocksucker <laughs> to shut his fucking he pie hole. He's clock in Arizona, he's fucking <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, yeah, why don't you go up there and have some tea parties or something? <laughs> oh, fuck. I wish I had a taser right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh... Do you, do, does, does he the have to like, do you. a lot of paperwork after that? I mean, like, it all it's, depends. It's not like firing a gun, right? Hold like, on, do you have a no. DVD for Worst Question Award? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> How long do they plug I mean, it in the, for? The <laughs> Boo. <laughs> like, uh, was, it, was it daytime or yeah, nighttime? Nighttime. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, it, uh, uh, whoever fires the taser, that person's boss has to do all the paperwork. Oh, so crazy. you don't—you never want the guy below you to fire the taser because then you got to do the paperwork. But uh, if you fire uh, it, then the guy above you has got to do the paperwork. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's seems. I, to be I've how developed it a nervous twitch from Norton attacking me. Oh, oh shit! I'm not attacking you. I'm just giving you little kisses. <laughs> it was Whoa. just, it was just kisses. It was just funny though, because there's a great, a great tasing shit the pants story. Yeah. Oh. How many pages of paperwork would that be? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, but I came all over this girl's face. Really? What did she have for lunch? <laughs> I don't know. With the eggs poached. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the groceries? Yeah. Uh, David from Israel. Wow. What? We, we've talked to David from Israel, I think, right, David? 
Wasn't he an intern? A couple of times, and you poked on me, and that was fine. Boy! Stop using Otto's word. Otto just said poked on me, and you stole yeah. it and used it for yourself. Of course he did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, David, how is Israel? Where are you? We forgot. Tel Aviv, where are you? Jerusalem. Jerusalem? Why don't you leave? Yeah. Yeah, hop on a bus. Why don't I leave? Because the money here is better than in the U.S. right now. That's where I'm living here. Of course. Yeah. Better be I'm better. Jewish. What do you expect? Take your testicles out of the top drawer and <laughs> speak like a man. <laughs> we don't like your breathy woman's voice. Yeah. It's what bothering do you, everyone. What do yeah. you do? What do you do for a living over there? Yeah. Telecommunications. Tele uh, telecommunications. Aren't you worried about being blown to bits? The last time that I saw Bonnie here was eleven years ago. The people, when you call, do they always say, hello, 50-year-old lady from Long Island? Oh, <laughs> uh, no, they just say, hello, ma'am, it annoys me. And, in fact, I think it was when you guys first came on XM, Anthony ripped on me for about 10 minutes for my voice. Yeah, God, yeah, it is a very God, if you're voice. up there, send a missile through the window and kill this fucking hermaphrodite. <laughs> Please, if you're up there, send a missile. <laughs> How old are you? How old are you, dude? Freaking. 28. You're 28? Mm. Yep. Oh, Do you have like a patchy beard that doesn't connect? <laughs> uh, no, not really. Are you, are you of Jewish descent? Yeah, I'm Jewish. You have payas? Nope. You believe in Jesus? They don't pay a nobody. <laughs> <laughs> you wear a yarmulke? Me, you have a yarmulke on yeah, right now? Yeah, I do. Oh, you do. Does everybody yeah. in Israel just walk around with a yarmulke? No, just the religious people do. Hey, what's the little, on Everybody the Hasidic uh, was... Jews, what are those little ropes hanging off them, their, their, their belt, those little catfish things? <laughs> what, are the, what is that? What, the things with the strings? Yeah, what are the little strings for? If you pull that, does a prize come out? <laughs> what, what's on that? Is that the wallet? No. Is that how many wallets they have? That's so good. God can bungee jump. So what, <laughs> what is that? Uh, Two Jews walk into a bar. They own it. <laughs> I had a question for uh, Jimmy. What's, oh. the <laughs> What's the strings? Tell me the strings, you mother <laughs> death fucker! You, What's you motherfucker, strings? you! Don't make me pop your fucking, you fucking cocksucker! What are those fucking hey. strings for? Wait, Henry, you. what kind of fucking people are they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are the strings? Um, yeah. What are the strings? You got wearing a fucking ascot, you're smoking with a fucking cigarette holder. <laughs> Pull and the I'm strings! I'm out of control. <laughs> like Pull the you strings! Got fucking strings hanging out of your head. <laughs> you <laughs> chew, motherfucker. <laughs> He really like, thinks who the fuck he is, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> what, a fucking parachute cord, yeah. you cocksucker? <laughs> huh? <laughs> you you star of David, yeah. shoot out. You only exist because of me. <laughs> <laughs> My David. David? Yeah, Jimmy, I had a quick question. What the fuck are the <laughs> strings? You got no question. You got answers. I'm in a bad spot here. I'm in a bad spot here, Frankie. I really <laughs> fucked up with this board. <laughs> That's a Jewish guy. He sounds like a broad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, suitcase keeps getting smaller and smaller. Yeah. I just want to know. All right, is, Jed, is, what's the strings? I just want to know. Is Bobby fucking a Jews question? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's no good. It's bad for business. Yeah. Yeah. Bad, bad for business. They found a head in the desert. Keep an eye I know. on him. <laughs> Keep an eye on him. He makes money. Yeah. Keep an eye oh, on yeah. him. <laughs> yeah. Love that guy. Making money for us, yeah. It's making money for us. The strings, <laughs> the strings, David. What's the strings? Yes. You're a good girl, David. It's, it's, it's some religious thingy that back in the day if you had a... Charlie M! <laughs> you make me pop... <laughs> you make me pull the strings off your belt for Charlie M. <laughs> you talk like a woman on the phone for Charlie M. <laughs> so what are the strings? You know you're a degenerate. Now you're gonna take this money and you're gonna go buy new strings. Yeah, your fucking lights are off. Your wife had to call me. Hey, Spider, yeah, but it was really Spider, you. I thought it was strings. your wife. Yeah, let, let me find out you gambled it. I'll fucking leave you where I find you. Sorry, sir. Go ahead. What are you saying? Okay. So the tutu, it's a religious garment. It's a garment that has four corners. It has to have some kind of strings on it. I don't know everything about it. So that's why. They Dude, what the fuck? I can't get reimbursed. I got you on all these trips. Just coming out of my own fucking pocket. <laughs> back and forth, back and dude, forth. Dude, you got strings, dude, and then this guy smoked my cigarettes, dude. He's got so if it has four corners. You ha I need strings. Ugh. The fuck does that Who mean? Who came up with that? What fucking pair of pants has I four corners? Something that was passed down from a long time ago. You want a shit kicker? Yeah. <laughs> Get you. Yeah. All right, Jimmy. Yes, sir. 
I always hear you shitting yourself on the radio. I saw you uh, in the Stress Factory <sighs> about eight months ago, and you killed. I was just curious why you constantly shit on yourself and think you're nothing when you have a crowd, a packed out crowd, and you're killing everybody that liked you. Thank you, sir. Oh, boy. Um, yeah. Well, sir, low self-esteem is not based on how many people are in the audience. Oh. My self-esteem was based on a lot of other things. See, full house does not compensate for lost direction in the middle of sex. <laughs> now put that in your fucking strings and smoke it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. Uh, thank you, David. Thank you, David. Uh, let's go to Ed in Ohio. Frankis! <laughs> All right, a little Frankis? Frankis? Uh, Ed from Ohio. How are you, sir? I'm good. Morning, boys. How are you doing? Hi. I, uh, I, got, yes, I, was, I listen to the show every day. Mm -hmm. uh, and yesterday kind of hurt me when Anthony, you guys were talking to the intern and you didn't, you don't for Chase for, yep. for giving him hell about yep. being 30 something years old, going back to school. And I'm not, you, right. uh, and if you forget that, uh, Anthony, you yeah. weren't a spring chicken when your career was handed to you on a silver plate. Yep. What? Go oh. fuck your mother's asshole. Oh, your mother's Ed. good now. Let me tell you something, <laughs> Ed. Let me tell you something, Ed. Yeah, I didn't fucking go, sit there and go to school at fucking 31. Not that that's a bad thing if you want to, but I didn't want to fucking do it. And if somebody else wants to, I'm going to make fun of it. Because it, it, him, a 31-year-old guy in college looks silly. <laughs> he really that's does. what I said. That's what I meant. I didn't forget where I came from. And no career was handed to me, but fuck. I fucking earned it. I was able to fucking perform. I was able to perform. We put you on the fucking radio, motherfucker. See if you can hit number one, you cunt. You I did. You call in the OP show doing a couple funny voices. Yep. Time, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I called a show and, and gave entertainment, dummy. I didn't call up with fucking nothing. Do you understand you, uh, that? You glum cunt. <laughs> Is yeah. that what Mel called her? <laughs> you never, uh, you, you didn't have to pay no dues. Do you know what I mean? Well, that, I didn't have true. to pay those sure, dues. Sure, he's right, though. He is right. We we pay I've been doing we this pay shit. Autos paid dues. I've been doing this shit for many, many years. As long as your mother's been fucking a whore. She's been a fucking whore. <laughs> I couldn't even spit that out. I wouldn't doubt that one bit. Shut up, Ed. You live in Ohio, blow me. Yeah. Anyway, on another note, Bob, Bobby Kelly saw you in Columbus a couple weeks ago. You were very funny. Thank you, brother. I appreciate what it. Thanks for this guy. Him. Just paying my Nasty dues, man. Nasty and then he's complimenting the Bobby. The guy's an asshole. Jerk off. <laughs> Hand it to me on a rocks. silver platter. No, it's a gone. gold platter, my friend. It's all gold now. Yeah. That's yeah, right. You know, but it was paid for by the listeners. Yep. Don't forget that. Shut, Shut up. up! It was not. It was paid for with my wonderful talent. Take it easy, Ed. Don't take no shit off nobody. <laughs> Don't fuck your mother. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's didn't right. mean that. Fuck your father. <laughs> I'm crawl up, pull his dick between his legs backwards, and milk your father. Exactly. <laughs> milk, him, milk him into your mouth. <laughs> while, he pin, while he pinches his nipples, this is fucking harder. Use your two thumbs and stroke his vein. <laughs> what would you do if you walked in and saw your dad with his dick between his legs being a girl? Oh, God, the image. <laughs> My girlfriend hates when I do vagina boy. When I put my dick back and I tell her to lick my pussy. Oh, you tuck and then... I make her lick the little fatty pubis. No, you too. don't. Oh, yes, I do. And does she? She hates it, but she'll do it just so I pop my dick back out. <laughs> <laughs> I do that, but I don't trim my bush fat, so I look like my aunt. <laughs> it's just, fat. just a fat gut, like a bunt. With a big bush? <laughs> yeah, I have a fucking bunt. Is your aunt fat? Yeah, all, my, all aunts are fat. <laughs> you can't tuck if you're fat. It just looks silly. You can tuck, but you have you have just a little bit sticking out, just the, the top of the shaft. They can't get it all back. Looks like you got camel toe, because the fat's going around your dick shaft. Or a triangle clit. backwards. <laughs> triangle clit. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I, fucking, I don't even know what that is. I don't know. Uh, well, the phones worked out really well. They were good. I like that. We should next maybe read some instant feedback and see the humor that's coming in off of that. You Let's see. We have any good ones? Dan? Uh, let's see. I won't be ignored, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> this dude's voice sounds like Seinfeld's fake voice when he pretends to be Rafe when trying to find out the tractor story from his one girlfriend. Oh. 
Okay. Good. Brilliant. Oh, That's a good one. I was hoping it was Sandy Kane they tased. <laughs> Holy shit. That creature's still living? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. She she really got How pissed she last exist? time she was I mean, here. Did, did she does comedy? She's doing uh, the naked cowgirl now, which she's being sued for by the naked cowboy. Oh, boy. She goes into Times Square, wears a cowboy hat, and... Um, and uh, bikini bottom the and pasties. The Fantastics closed, but she's still fucking working. <laughs> the Fantastics. <laughs> and uh, and she has people take pictures with her, and they give her money, like they do the Naked Cowboy. Uh, but the, but she's got oh. like an injunction now against her. She's not allowed to do it, but she's doing it anyway. Uh, so we had her come in and talk to the Naked Cowboy on uh, the phone. Oh, okay. And they got into it a little bit. They and then do. she got all pissed. She wanted to get paid for the appearance. And then somebody, perhaps might have misplaced her hat, her little cowboy hat that she wears out there. So she got very angry, left some nasty fucking voicemails. Wow. Nasty. Travis has the voicemail. Travis, could you play uh, an example of the voicemail? Because, uh, listen to this. This woman is fucking I had to insane. work a weekend with her in Albany at the oh. Comedy Works. Oh. oh, that must have been a nightmare. Disgusting. She come in your mouth? No, nah, she uh, left, uh, fucking left cunt hairs on the stool. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, chi yeah, chips went up there and went... <laughs> blowing the cunt hairs into the audience. Remember the time we got snowbound up there in it's fucking disgusting. Albany? We were snowbound at the oh fucking my Days Inn. God, that's right. Boog, how, remember Boog Powell was there? How long were we up there for? I love some of the names we were, Otto comes up Boog with. Boog Powell was a fuck. You know, you were yeah, the one who spotted player. him. We were, we were snowbound from like. It started snowing on Friday. They canceled the second show. We were trapped there till like Monday. Oh shit! I the, vaguely the remember that. The snow was halfway up the side of the hotel. Was, was it like Albany eight, or Buffalo? It was the Albany room. The uh, comedy works. I like that room. That room's good. Yeah, you, you were snuggle? definitely with me. Did you just snuggle with each other for the whole week? Oh yeah, yeah. It was, it was like The Shining. It was an empty, <laughs> freaky hotel. The cook just cuddling. Yeah, yeah. Boog Pal was there, and then and then after like three days of eating and drinking for free, he wanted to charge the cook for an autograph. I thought he was a fucking jerk off. After really? That. Yeah. <laughs> The cook wanted his autograph. He goes, yeah, 50 bucks or some shit. For an autograph? Oh, yeah. Probably wanted them to sign a ball. Fucking tool. He, but he, he, was, he was up there for a, an autograph convention. It. But come on, he ate for free for three fucking yeah. days. Motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, Travis. Look, clunk you down stupid. That, Jim? Nope. <laughs> oh, well. Clunk down stupid Sandy Kane. Let me hear you this. You know, Steve, it's uh, Tuesday night. I just came in. You know, that, being Britney Spears and all that bullshit... I left my fucking hat up at the studio, and it's Tuesday night. We did it Monday morning, and I'm, I'm first realizing that I don't have my fucking hat. Because, you know, it just, it really threw me. I couldn't, of course, I couldn't do that Dutch interview. They were all out there, and I had to stand them up. Uh, and my fucking hat, which I need to work, is gone. And you probably, you stupid interns, your Sam Roberts and your Danny, probably stole it they had my stuff all over the floor i mean my blue wig they had all my stuff fucking on the floor disgusting and 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 then they probably stole the hat uh somebody should, could have called and said you you left your hat here you know i need that to work to make a living you know and you guys have absolutely no feelings for me you're no better than the naked cowboy, and you're worse. <laughs> you know, Disgust. I did that with backwards for you. Yeah. I did that, um, and I, I didn't make money on Monday, you know, before you stupid makeup artist. She got <laughs> shit all in my eyes. My eyes were burning all day. She threw my, away my eyelashes. I had to go today, buy new eyelashes, and I don't have my fucking hat. Now, how would you like it, Steve, if, if people treated you like you, tr you treat me? I don't have my fucking hat. Now, I hope you have it up there, because I want to pick it up. Now, if you'd be so good to call me tomorrow, not too early. I'm going to try to go out to work. Don't have my hat to work with. Uh, be considerate enough to give me a call and tell me uh, when I can pick my hat up, if Sam or Danny haven't stolen it. Thank you. You know my number. You know, you know what I'm noticing about that call yeah. is that when she's leaving that message, she says that uh, she was in Monday and it's Tuesday night and she's just realizing that she doesn't have her hat. So yeah. she didn't even know what the deal was with the hat. She just basically forgot it here, assumed that we were going to fuck with it. Yeah. 
yeah. then left a nasty message because she forgot her dumb hat. And and if she didn't leave the ma nasty message, we wouldn't have fucked with it. But because of that call, that hat went down to the fucking Is rifle range. Is that the range. only one? <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking big important hat. Went down to the rifle range and uh, got <laughs> quite a few holes put in it. <laughs> Poor Sandy. Yuck. You want Disgusting. the other voicemails, or you want to stop? Nah, that's good. That right. kind of explained it all right, right yeah. about there, uh, didn't it? Well, I thought she was threatening didn't people's it? lives, didn't it? I don't know what, uh, what the. Uh, I'm trying to look for um, the sheet with the thing on it, with all the stuff. What sheet? What? Is there any fun stuff that we should probably um, mm. uh, listen to? Let's see. Oh, oh you want audio fun? stuff? We got audio yeah, stuff. why not? Uh, you want the They Be Raping Everybody auto-tune? Yes! No, I, I, I don't know if I want that. What is that? You remember that news story from the other day where that, that weird black guy, that he was kind of effeminine? And oh, yeah. he was saying that they'd be raping everybody up in yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was oh, the, uh, the... The same, the same guys that uh, did the uh, Double Rainbow Double guy Rainbow? auto tune. Did the, they be raped? But yeah, well, that's it's the auto tune the news uh, fellas. I want to hear that. Oh, we get to okay. it. It's a quick one. We'll hear that. It's no big deal. But yeah, that was a good. That was a really good uh, story. Ooh. It's all over the place. Everybody knows this guy. Take a listen. Well, obviously we have a rapist in Lincoln Park. He's climbing in your windows. He's snatching your people up, trying to rape them. So y'all need to hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your husband, cause they're raping everybody out here. You don't have to come and confess. We're looking for you. We gon' find you. We gon' find you. So you can run and tell. I'm hey, not digging it. Hey, no. no. hey. oh, I'm not digging it. It's just stupid. <laughs> Yeah, it's shit. so hit and miss with the internet. You never know what's going to be awesome. I, I know. It's and it's usually miss. Send it to fucking Z100. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? It's all over the place. It should be. It's, it's doing on better. The floor. It's doing better than Double Rainbow guy. <laughs> the, didn't Weird Al Yankovic <laughs> fucking do a, a parody of that? <laughs> Did he? Yeah, <laughs> Weird Al. Yankovic. He's funny. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? White and nerdy. I like the original story. No, no, yeah, I, that's what that was. It yeah, was just a, a news story that they auto, you know, what auto tune. Yeah, right. white and nerdy. Some people like that. Some people, you know, I like the double rainbow one. That was good. That one, uh, I couldn't really understand what the guy was saying. Like yeah. double rainbow, the guy's very concise. That guy, you couldn't understand him even not auto tune. All right, well, fuck you then. Talk no, no, it. nothing, nothing <laughs> personal, Danny. We yeah. Do, if you if you want, um, we could do maggot found in teen's eye. I got okay. one. We oh. don't drink. We don't smoke. Nor fuck. Nor fuck. <laughs> I have no idea what that was. I like it. What's happening what's, now? Uh, what's up? Well, you know, last time Bobby was in... Um, I just got that. <laughs> we were talking about that Monsters Inside Me yeah. show. And uh, I guess the news is picking up on it and how creepy it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, they're starting to do some reports on it. And uh, I guess this is one of the episodes. I don't know if it aired or if it's coming up or whatever, but apparently there was a maggot oh, in, in, some, in some kid's eye. Why couldn't they get it out with drugs? Yeah, what... Oh, you, you weren't there for that, right, James? You have to get when they're talking about this, no. you, you should see that fly yeah. video where they take like a, a fly larva out of some chicks. It's head. so fucking it really sick. Is, it made, it really it made Bobby puke. If you go to Belize, these flies lay they literally lay eggs on your head, and then the 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 maggots are under your skin, just feeding. And they grow, and you can feel them and hear them in your head. You hear them scraping on your skull. And the only way to get them out is by closing the hole and suffocating them. And then you pull them out because the the hole is how they breathe. Oh wow! And how then, long does it take for them to die? Seven years. They, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You 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 you, uh, you just put it takes a couple days. They pulled it out with a tweezer and a fucking oh! at the end of it was pus. Oh! It pu came out of the hole. It went like, and then out of the hole dribbled like cream pie. Yeah. This fucking green pus <laughs> came fucking dripping out. I see it. But you don't you don't oh, you don't know oh, it's, it, so it's big. You can't see how big it's. The tail is thin and small. It looks like a little worm. When you pull it out, <clears throat> it just gets bigger and bigger where it's been feeding and, and on your yeah fucking yeah. So the last juices. bit of it is just this like she she was going ow. What's oh. it supposed to do? Fly out when it's done? It's a fly larva. No, yeah, it, it fucking turns it, into a fly and fucking flies out of your head. So why why kill it? Just leave it there until it goes no, away. I th no, I think it, I, <laughs> you sick fuck. Fly, take it off. Because you I can't love to see sleep. that. You hear it going. I love to see that fat Andrew Zimmerman eat one of those on bizarre oh, God food. Damn it, I can't look. Oh, wait, it's secreting waste. It's shitting out of his head. No, Leave it there, the cat will get it. <laughs> <laughs> That's pus. Fucking I can't look. Secreting waste. The fly taking a dump out of your head. Pus? Really fucking.
is disgusting. Hush is disgusting. It, it, it's it's one. Uh, there you go. There you go. God. See, it's little, little, little. No, little. no, no. I'm not gonna watch oh, wow, it. Yeah. I can't watch it. What? Is, uh, how does watch Bobby how watch it, this? Watch how big it gets. No. Oh, it's long. Where's yeah. that in someone's fucking head? It's in their head. Look at that. Ew. It's in your fucking head. Would they eat at Arby's? <laughs> oh, how big! Look at the trail. Of... God, God, uh -huh. fucking damn it! <laughs> Is that thing dead or alive? That's uh, alive. No, it's dead. It has to be dead to pull it out. Yeah, if it's alive, alive, they're alive. They, like, they, they grip. They grip on. They the, hang on the inside of yeah, your head. Yeah, they they hang on. So you have to kill it by covering the the hole. He has another one there too in his arm. This guy's got flies all over him. Why doesn't he fucking relax? <laughs> Quit putting jelly on his arms before bed. <laughs> this guy's been spreading jelly on himself. I yeah. to keep the flies away. Squeeze some lemon juice. Oh, in he's there. got the next two. This guy's fucking. He's fucking covered in fly lard. Guy, people fly McGillicuddy. <laughs> people tape and fucking watch everything now. Yeah, there's nothing you oh! can't see. There you go. Look at that one. Where's that coming out of? The uh, oh, the po the Lansing boils. Is that his name? Yeah. And and shit. <laughs> oh. oh God, I can't watch that. Get that fucking ah oh, god! They fucking drop flies all over this fucking guy. It's so nauseating. It's like a fly city. Oh god! That's a long baby. Wow! Wait, you make me pop that larva out of your head, <laughs> yeah. you Charlie M. Exactly. <laughs> There's you let a fly lay an egg for Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> <laughs> That's huge. <laughs> what is that thing? It's a fucking. It's a fucking fly baby. But flies are way smaller than that. Not yeah. inside when they're. Why is he paying brain? it with a dime? You put a dime next to it. What's he giving the fucking larva a dime? What is Go that? Start a life for yourself. <laughs> what is that? Canadian? It's worthless. <laughs> oh yeah, that God. is disgusting. This guy's got flies all in him. Shit. Yeah, oh, fucked up. I, I I can't. But yeah, anything you think you can see, you can out. see. You could totally see yeah. it on uh, online. Yeah, wait, oh, it's hold on, there's another me. one. Ah, shit. Oh, look, that. another one. Look at all the pus. Oh, What's Jesus. with the pus? Enough they, with the pus. Oh, wait, the they pus. pop up to oh, breathe God. and they die? Then the, they breathe out of the hole. And then but they, wait, what do they put? Fucking uh, Vaseline on it? They put, uh, you can put a uh, wax on it or this, a piece uh, of tape. But wait, if it drips, does it hurt? Yeah. Yeah, you can't pull it out. It won't leave. It's, it's attached in there. It's you know, Obama's there. been to the oil spill in New Mexico three times. This summer, he, yeah. you know, it's summertime. Even he wants to be darker. What do you think of that joke? <laughs> you think they, they're too good with that? <laughs> summertime, he wants to be darker too. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. I, I can't okay. write for shit. <laughs> if I don't say cunt, they don't get a laugh. <laughs> no, I'm fucking <laughs> cunt in there. Your mother's cunt. <laughs> Uh, I got this uh, joke. I've been I, trying out on stage. I'll go up there and I'll go look at fucking, this oil spill. Why don't you just put your car in the ocean? Get all the oil bla you need. Fucking black people Beautiful. get. Chip. Fucking black people get really uh, rigid when I bring up the president. Now they, they go, okay. What oh, is really? It? Like where's oh, he like going they're with ready, this? They're ready to fight. It's like yeah. he's my president. Too. Fuck you. He's white and black. Yeah. Fuck you. Now nah, you know. Has your the, life changed one fucking iota because it's a spook in the White House? Oh, Don't Jesus. give a shit. Jesus. You have a horn. Hey, hey. <laughs> uh, I need this job. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I don't have a dump button. No, sorry. Sorry. I have um. <laughs> yeah. Person of color. Exactly. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was oh, that was geez. frightening. Wow. Well, um, like the old days. Nah, just. That is a yeah, you know, kind of a no, no. <laughs> sensitive, touchy issue. Uh, congrats to Louis, <laughs> Louis C.K. Yeah, Louis C.K. Season two. Season two, huh? Yeah. And what uh, that show that's on FX? Or something? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I seen it. It's pretty good. And uh, Bobby is uh, on that show. I was on last night. Yeah. Was on last night. Was one of the. Yeah, I'm on next week too. Just a small little piece. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, look at yeah. you. Yeah. What did you shoot it? Recovery seller. I thought, no, all, just all over New York. It's, oh. You take a cab. It's literally fucking the best gig ever. You take a cab. He makes you do it a bunch of times, and that's it. You're there's done. Like no budget, right? He, he, no it budget. Looks, it looks no like a very budget. inexpensive show. Yeah, it's, you get, it's, not, there's nothing, it's not like a regular, you know, where you, you get cast. I mean, he literally just calls people up and says you want to do it, which yeah. is great. You don't have to mm. fucking, you know, audition, audition, audition. You know, Jim had to fucking audition for uh, Lucky Louie, and randomly, he's lucky... He went on tape in New York, 
randomly Louis saw Jim on the tape. Usually they don't even fucking what, look at those things. You didn't know Louis C.K. before that? Oh, no, I he knew him. That's the reason I did the audition. I never would do an audition on tape. I just did that one because I'm like, oh, it's Louis, my buddy. Yeah. yeah. Usually they just run, they fast forward through those fucking tapes. Do you remember that, tapes. Bobby, when I was at your house and uh, I was at Bobby's apartment get ready to do that audition? No. Ooh. And he actually saw Jimmy. He's like, oh shit, they were fast forward. They saw Jimmy. Oh, let me watch it. And then Jimmy got the part. Wow. So. See, see how that works? It's wonderful. Yeah, so. And, uh, yeah, he's, he got picked up for another season. Yep, another season, right. which is great. And he yeah. puts a lot of motherfuckers to work, too. A lot of motherfuckers. A lot of uh, New York actors and yeah, well, comedians. A little, yeah, a little more cool. Jimmy. Oh, he was on the fucking best episode ever. A little, a little more. Well, he will be. There'll be another time. Yeah. On another one. Yes. I do, too. Yeah, like I'm sure it'll happen. All right. I did the uh, Joy Behar show because How of was uh, that? Jimmy. I'm sure you did it was well. actually because of Jimmy. Why? Jimmy, Jim, That's what Jimmy this said really is, nice though? things about me. You went out oh, by yourself, them, yeah. yourself or with Opie, too? I just went on. I just went on there. Every time I saw you on Letterman, you were the only one to talk. Opie didn't say a fucking thing. It's a weird situation. Like yeah. the, Because, first of all, the seating, you know? Because the way the, the, the camera's looking at but you. But you're like the John Lennon. I mean, you did all the talking. He, he I, seemed, ha, I, I get I He get was very... like, oh, look, this camera's like a dopey little uh, fucking blonde-haired guy. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you were a chatty Kathy. Yeah, you, 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 you took get, control. It was here's great. Here's what happens. The the way the, the graphic is, yeah, I'll and tell the you way what you look at it, it says Opie and Anthony. So Opie's got to be the left. i got to be to the right. Oh. Here's what happens. it's Anthony and Opie. Oh. So I'm sitting, hold on, I'm sitting next to the host. Yeah. So I, I'm kind of close to the host talking. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then when I get on, I all I'm thinking is, I I gotta like keep this going. Yeah. Like like make if, it count. If there's if there's a fucking minute or a minute, a fucking second of silence, yeah, it's something that could have been thrown in. Were you nervous? Were you very? Were you yes. very nervous? Was, were you nervous? <laughs> oh my god, I was standing in the wings waiting to go on. Did you have so much out. microphone time, but very little camera time? So yeah, that was yeah. like being shoved out. And so it's like middle. shove out, sit down, and just bam, 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 let it go. Very hard to get used to. Because even though, like, when you do a TV show like that, even though it's taped, and it airs later, it's still live because whatever you do is what they're going to air. That's what yeah. they're going to air. It's still basically, what, yeah. you know, if you fuck up, they're going to show it. If and the audience boring, is there, you, don't, you know, you're fucking, yeah, you know, it's you li I consider that live because yeah. when I did my set, it's like, if I go, uh, da, 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 you know, they don't they're going to see my set. I find that as long as you don't, oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry, if you don't curse, you just touched right. Bobby's balls. Well, yeah, he he literally touched the top of my cock. <laughs> so wh who was on with you? Uh, I don't know. It was two women. Joy One was blonde, and uh, I think a comedian, but I don't, I'm, I'm not sure of her name. You Did you bring your gun with you? And then uh, I never really discuss where and when I carry oh, okay. my uh, weaponry with me. It would be nice to um, know you could kill everybody in the room, especially that show. <laughs> Holy shit! Just if, if you felt like it, you could just blow everyone's head <laughs> off sitting there on the couch. <laughs> I don't think Otto could get a license. <laughs> Joy Behar, you still look all right. Bam! Oh, Another one. Shit. Can't think she's funny. Oh, Holy shit! Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> if that show was on and I couldn't find my clicker and I had a handgun, I would blow my fucking brains out rather than continue to watch that. <laughs> if it was a gun, clicker, can't find the clicker, bang! My life would be all over. I wouldn't have to be at Wisecrackers at the Ramada Inn. In Allentown this weekend. Holy oh, and they shit. gave away my fucking hotel room. They they said there's some fucking bowling convention going on, so I got to drive back and forth to Allentown. Wait, said, who gave what? away your room? The hotel? The fucking Scott Bruce. He 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 goes. I, Is that uh, the one we had the trouble with? That I, I'll never work that fucking room again. That's the first never. thing he says to me. I have some bad news. Uh, there's no rooms in town. There's some bowling fucking convention. What? I went. I'm, I, I'll drive back, but give me fuck. I want. I want to be compensated for the inconvenience. Yeah, we what? had. A, I had a very bad experience in that place. You did. You yes. worked there. Club in Reddick. What? Oh, uh, wasn't that one? Yeah, I'm oh, doing different, Allentown. Different one. He's okay. got a couple of different ones. That's he, he ain't a bad guy, but fucking, you know. I was looking forward to, you know, staying and fucking watching HBO. And play, I would never accept day. no room. There's, <laughs> there's got to be a nearby town that could put you in a room in. It's unacceptable. I, I had so little work in July, and I got to get on stage because I haven't performed since that bomb in Montauk. Oh, you got to get back on the horse, as they it's say. It's unacceptable. Until I hear my next laugh, I feel like a fuck. I still feel like a, a piece of shit. It's, it's got to I bet if you I called the hotel what... right now in that area, if you called them, there'd be a room available. Really? You should call a few hotels. Yep. Yep. I bet if you called right now a few hotels, there's guaranteed a room in that fucking... Where, guaranteed. Where is, where is it? Reading? No, it's Allentown, Allentown. PA, yeah. 
So there's got to be, look around the towns right around it, like maybe 10 or 15 minutes away. You get Could you have one of the interns do it just so I can fuck with Scott Bruce and call him yeah. a liar? I'll fucking, I'll, I'll right cancel now. the gig. I got money in the bank. I don't give a fuck. There you go. Yeah. A few bucks in the bank. Easy come, easy go. I used to do it. I had it shit. and I went with it. Uh, yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, no room is unacceptable. Shit. It's not a long drive, though, oh, from no. where I live, though. It's not terrible, you know? It's not, it's not over two hours. I make them give me a room. When I do Caroline's. Oh. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. Oh, you do? Very, you could, bro. Now they would tell me to go close. fuck myself. They would? <laughs> oh, they'd piss on me. Louis Friend, it would spit in my face. I got a room when I did Letterman. That was, yeah. was a snowstorm, but that was great, though. Okay. I demand a room. Yeah. When I do it, a comedy cellar. <laughs> <laughs> Some, sometimes, if you do live out of town, you do got to get a room, though. Yeah. Because I, I, like yesterday, of course, see, Joe I, Bay, see, I, I, I didn't even drive. I, 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 I wasn't going to drive. I don't scabs anymore. What the hotel was you supposed to stay in? Dying to rip the scab Ow! off. Ow! But I, I, don't, I won't do it now, see? What'd you do? Because oh. I'm, I'm older and maturer now. You're mature. You won't I'm rip mature. that off? I want to rip this fucking thing off my what, arm. What Ow. hotel? The uh, Ramada. Ramada Inn. Oh, yeah? Let's fuck Hello, it. mother. <laughs> Here I am at Camp Ramada. It's a, it's a Ramada, so it's pretty good. That song always made me laugh. <laughs> oh, hello, mother. Hello, father. Yeah. I'm here at Camp Granada. Here I am at Camp Granada. Yeah. Ugh. They say we'll go outside if it stops raining. People laughed. Shut up. Was, he he did go. a lot go, more than that. He oh, had like, shit. Now you touched the I nerve. I got a box set of Alan Sherman. He was funny. You can't put him on the radio without telling him. Oh, shit. Oh. I just saw Danny pan his. I've never seen his hand flip out like. But that. you know why I don't have a dump Hi. button because, fucking, yeah, Eastside right Dave, right. who's here once a <laughs> week now on Saturday, spilled water again in the fucking uh, uh, controls. So I don't have a mic, and I don't have a fucking dump button. I know. So Travis has a dump button. He can't use that area anymore then, because that can get us fucking. Oh, all right. I know. Oh, when you do, yeah, but I'm I'm the one that goes like you know, uh, uh, and dumb. Well, the problem is, is that I, you know, there's not one over here by this main board. So, like, let's say, um, let's you, say I say heck. Let's say oh, Travis geez. is previewing something, you know, and, and he doesn't, and he's not hearing the live. Oh, oh I didn't know. Dumb. Does that actually function? I didn't know. All right, I'll, I'll reach over. I'll yeah, smash that fucking thing. You were fucking waving at me like fuck. You were hailing a cabin. Pool. Well, because well, you're ready to you put can't, somebody can't on, put the someone on the air unless knowledge. they know. That's illegal. Who are you talking to? I didn't know that. Who are you yeah. talking to? Hello. That's almost as bad Who as calling it? a president. Yeah, a yeah, name. that's wicked illegal. Who are you talking to? Oh, the lady in uh, the whole Vermont. Hey, you cunt! Take that cock out. <laughs> She's on hold. Yeah. Fuck. He's calling up. He's going. Uh, I need a room. I saw a snail on the edge of a straight razor. It's <laughs> <laughs> my dream. Hey, Colonel Kurtz. It's my nightmare. <laughs> Looking motherfucker. <laughs> I smell a little yeah. bug. Yeah. I need a room. Uh, a few see? clicks up the Nung River <laughs> pile <laughs> of tiny inoculated arms. They want they wanted Steve McQueen to play the um the really? Martin Sheen role. That, that oh. would have been great. Yeah, was that, he, uh, Martin he, Sheen was good though, man. Martin Sheen was good, but Steve McQueen that would have been interesting. Been he was yeah. a little uh, wow, well, I don't know. Yeah, a little too well known at that point. Who, too well known to play that? Yeah, like what? Like Brando's not well known? No, no, the Brando part, but, yeah. but the, the Martin Sheen part was like he was you just needed, some young. You needed some fucking... more authenticity. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, that might have taken it. me out of it a little bit. Yeah, hey, Steve McQueen was fucking. Just I saw that at the Zig Film opening man. day. I was really very anticipated film. Yeah, it was, it was like his. You know, he hadn't done anything since Godfather Two. It was fucking amazing. Yeah. That one. They uh, show. They showed the whole film with no credits. They didn't show Paramount presents. They didn't show brand. Nobody's no no credits at the beginning or the end. They just ran the movie just, um, to make yeah. it feel like you you, you were at you, you saw war. Yeah, like and it was there. It was one of those like groundbreaking movies because yeah. uh, it it, it kind of changed the war movie, especially oh, the Vietnam fuck, war on movie on a big screen. Yeah. That was unbelievable because it, it showed how fucked up shit was. Yeah, before that everything was kind of cool. In, oh yeah, in war movies, everything. The Americans were always good guys. Yeah, it's, yeah John yeah. Wayne. You'd yeah, shoot him, and the German would fall down and. And that right. one was just kind of like, wow, this is kind of fucked up. And then Brando shows up fat, so that's why they only filmed his head. <laughs> he, he was supposed to be this tough Marine 40-year guy living in the jungle, uh, living off the land. And he shows up like 600 pounds it's with nut, nutty buddy butters and <laughs> pockets, you know. <laughs> 
And Coppola was really pissed, so that's why they filmed him in the shadows and only his head. He was like, I loved it, though. I thought it worked. I, I, it, even did, the, it, it did work. I mean, Brando's interesting at, at any weight, but it wasn't the, he wasn't the guy that he was supposed to be. Mm -hmm. He was supposed to be lean and mean in that. Okay, thank you. I'll call you right back. <laughs> Bobby's just Hi, bye -bye. making a business proposal. Well, yeah, they, you say, have, they have 15 rooms available. You the reason, you me? The oh, reason why you're not getting a room is because it's $219 a night. Oh so, hell! So, so fucking Scott you just Bruce lied to me. Well, there's, I, what happened was he's probably, he's probably got a deal at the hotel for like you know sixty or eighty bucks, yeah. and yeah. and then they uh, they uh, they say, I don't know. I no, would just, I would just, just do it. Him. I would ask him about do it. Do the gig and then just say, look, I you know you have they had fifty. Yeah, she said she has fifteen rooms. But, but you know, they might have canceled his room rate for that week because of the ball. Yeah, they might have said they might have fucked him out of the room. But just don't, don't put him on the radio if you're yeah. calling. No, I'd go just because of the uh, the chicks that'll probably be Dude, around I'd, for that ball. How far thing. is the gig? Is it under an hour? Under two hours? Yeah, it's under two hours. Yeah, go. On. Yeah, yeah sure. Two yeah. there, two back, two there, two back. It's only eight hours. <laughs> yeah, why would you need a bed? Yeah, why would you want to put your little sweet head down? Yeah. Even, you, even if there's a room 15 minutes away, what are a couple of adjoining towns? You can get yeah, a room a couple of towns. I don't give a shit about the room. What the fuck is this? No, he's, but you, he's pissed that he's fucking being bullshit. Otto too. feels like he wasn't dealt with fairly. No. That's would buy yeah, so I first time, And also, this guy's had comedy work for 25 years. Suddenly, he wants to book me? It's like, oh, thanks for the steady work. When I left him a message, he goes, well, you implied that I have uh, didn't, you, you, hold on. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what it probably happened, you ready? It's livid. Hold, hold on. I want to see what, I ran out of thoughts. I'm so oh, tired. Oh, no, poor Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy's sleepy. I'm tired. Yeah. Wow. Wow. And what are you fucking, like, hey, flying out again? Here. Tomorrow afternoon. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm doing you know, we're, we're plugging the shit out of the show. They called. Hold on, don't leave the room. We want to hear this. They well. called. The, they called the fucking Ramada in. They said they got 15 rooms available there. Hmm. 15. They called the Ramada in in Allentown. They said they have 15 to grandpa? rooms available. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Can you hear me, Grandpa? <laughs> I know. I don't give a shit. We're just fucking. We're fucking with you. That's all. No, but that's the truth. They they have fifteen rooms available. If 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 it's if it's some, I just you know I just want to be compensated for the inconvenience of driving back. Make sure your son you know has some extra money for you know the drive back and forth. Otto does not get that room. It'll make him a big star. It's perfect yeah, know, for him. Bowling, it's the, got coffee maker story. and a little kitchenette. But don't call me back as a money here. <laughs> It'll are make him feel comfy job? and cozy. <laughs> You don't, well, you can, if you get satellite. <laughs> what do you want on the internet? What? Well, what? If you wanted to hear the show www.getmearoommotherfucker.com. www.getmearoommotherfucker. I don't know, I'll be an Anthony, I guess. Uh, yeah, search right, for we it, it'll turn up somewhere. We've got a lot of good plugs in so far. He should get you a room in a nearby town. Some fucking guy called who lives in Allentown. I said, you better fucking show up, douche. <laughs> Scott, Scott Bruce, he's a good guy. Yeah, get him a 15 room. Fifteen fucking rooms. Get him a fucking room. <laughs> you deserve a room. Right, like man. a gentleman, he's got to do a gig done, like buddy. a gentleman. You're fucking thirty-five years in this business, you yeah. deserve a room. Yeah. yeah. Like a piece of what shit. Am I, over here. Come on, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. You know something? Is that, he's the big guy, right? The big Italian guy. No, no. What are you doing? Not at all. He's adjusting his dick. My schmeckle. He's adjusting his dick. Dicks have to be adjusted every so often. Is that the guy from the comedy works? Right. No, no, you're thinking of Tom Nicky, yeah. Uh, no, Tommy Scott Bruce. Alvarez. Yes. Older, I like Tom. He's a good guy. I like him. Tom's a good, good dude. Yeah. Oh, um, older guy, gray hair. He's all right, though. Nice guy. Yeah. Why don't we um, get our respective plugs in? Fuck yeah. And uh, that way I oh, can I'm in, go. I'm in Atlantic City with Jim Florentine at the end of August at the oh. showboat. The showboat with August Florentine. August 30th or 29th, something like that. We're doing the showboat. It's a good gig. I don't website. even know. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, yeah, Levy, me, Jim, Florentine. Me, me and Otto and George. Relax. It's a good time. Yeah, We're going to have a good time. Truthfully, get there early. <laughs> I'm sponsored by Wishbone Blue Cheese now. <laughs> Jimmy? I'm Tampa Improv tomorrow, Friday, Saturday. Friday, be Saturday. there or be square. That's hip.
Are you yeah. burnt out from oh. flying? And tra- I flew the red so eye, and I'm I'm exhausted. I mean, I, I mean, in general, are you, t- are you tired of traveling and making oh, piles of cash? I make good <laughs> money, but it's not it's not piles of cash. But I mean. Uh, yeah, I was in Atlanta, and then how's uh, merch selling these days? With the uh, some uh, are good, the you, stuff they have is not. You know, this is well, what sells best of your merch? Would it be T-shirts or DVDs? The new T-shirts are selling pretty well. Black? Books. Are they all black? No, these are white. They're, they're white. Two Uncle Paul shirts and one Chip shirt. I had this conversation. <laughs> P- people don't buy T-shirts unless they're black. They're buying the white ones though. Cause the people, the P- people they don't want they don't want fucking any color but black. It's oh, weird. okay, yeah. Yeah, and all of our fans are fat. They think it's slimming. <laughs> yes, yeah. it is very slimming for our but fans. But is your merchandise good? Even in the, in the economy's shit now? <laughs> no, it does. La- it doesn't do as well in bad economy. Really? I, mean, it does I can okay, throw but... out all the mediums I bought. I can toss them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sell one done. No, now the double no, X a medium doesn't yeah. fit anybody. A child. It well, fits. the girls, girls, hot oh. chicks. Oh yeah, but of, no hot chicks. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, put a medium on them. <laughs> They'll look cute. Yeah, get in there. Make you cry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Get in there and put some Desinex on there. Desinex <laughs> covers up the sore spots. Uh, Bobby, Bobby, where where the fuck are you going to be? August 19th through the 20th, Off the Hook Comedy Club, Marco Island in Florida. Florida. Right. You can go to Captain, I'm not even giving the, I can't even say it, Captain. Well, fuck, I'll read it for you. Captain. Off the Hook Comedy Club. Yeah. Go, call 239-389-6900. And I'm going to be in the funny bone in Richmond, Virginia, where I got fucking allergies last time and I fucking almost killed myself. August 26th through the 29th, hanging out with Buzz, the karaoke king. But Bob will be off the hook. Off the hook. I didn't think you'd ever quit hook. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) All right, look. Look. On that fucking note. All All my dates are on my website, Otto and George. Yeah. All his dates are on my website too, robertkellylive.com. Yeah, thank you. I keep them there. <laughs> right. Thank you, Travis. Uh, um, thank you, Daniel. And uh, we will see you right here tomorrow.